Greetings, everyone, from Santa Monica, California. We are live with the Face It Pro Series Apex Legends. $50,000 on the line for everyone's favorite battle royale, seemingly. It's, it's pretty popular. Pretty popular game, but we're back here. We're watching these pros each and every week. Uh, welcome back. My name is Axel Toss, and I'm joined by Nathanius. And we have a special guest here, Nick Cleope from Team Liquid. Of course, Hi. if you couldn't tell based on the hat, really cool hat. And this is where I try to get merch. But not right now, not right now. All right. Nick, later, later. Uh, Nick, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, talk about your involvement with Team Liquid. Sure. Um, I'm Nicholas Cleope. I am the Apex team manager, and I'm also the talent manager for all of Team Liquid within all of uh, North America. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, and this is very exciting because Team Liquid's actually in the house right now. The yeah. Team Liquid Apex Legends team, yep. they won the past two weeks of this show, so they're doing pretty good, and they've been improving all the way uh, along. So yep. excited to talk to you more about this team, but let's go ahead and look uh, at our list of teams, I believe. Oh, oh no, we have our format first. Let's, let's see how yeah. this all works. Basically, we have eight weeks of action. This is week seven. Next week is, la is the last week, which is kind of sad, but $50,000 on the line, $5,000 per week, and then an additional $10,000 awarded to the highest ranked team at the end. And there you see the points on the right. And this will bring us to our list of teams. These are all the teams competing. And you're like, okay, Apex Legends, new game. We'll probably get a lot of, you know, rise up teams like the Nathanius Battle Cruisers. Or yeah, the, the, you know, the caustic means, right? Exactly. The, the caustic track. But no, we have literally every major org in existence pretty much has a team. It's, it's crazy. You know, Team Liquid obviously is there. Yep. Fnatic, G2, Dignitas, 100 Thieves, Cloud9, T1, the, the Korean team. This is one of the leagues that actually involves orgs from all around yeah, the world, they, truly. Yeah. Uh, and so, on European teams, and then Fireburners, uh, Fire Beavers, the surprise, I think, uh, coming out of nowhere through qualifiers, and they are in contention uh, in our top three teams. But this brings us to our standings. Uh, speaking of which, so they're actually their number one, Fire Beavers. They, <laughs> they qualified to get to this point, and here they are, number one, going into the second final. But not by too far yeah. anymore. I mean, season two, things have kind of been a little bit crazy in the last few weeks, and we're, you know, I, I think. Uh, for some strange reason, I feel like we'll be talking about Team Liquid a lot today. <laughs> and they they skyrocketed up in those standings. They had an absolutely fantastic last couple of weeks. I think two weeks ago, their victory was the highest points that we've had, period, uh, for any team that has won in the entire Pro Series. And they've certainly been showing that they have the potential. If they can keep that performance up for the last two weeks, Possibly steal away that first place spot. That extra 10 grand looks pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's Rogue, Jish, and Callie, and Eric, I got, or uh, uh, Nick, sorry, I got to ask you here, you know, how did this team come together? Can, can you talk a little bit about these guys? Um, yeah, so a lot of these guys have a very deep um, history in H1Z1 uh, in the Pro League. Uh, I believe Callie and uh, Jish were H1Z1. Uh, I'm sorry, Rogue and Jish were H1Z1, Kali was more Overwatch. Um, but they all have like a really deep background with the BR. It just made sense, um, especially after um, Blackout kind of just fizzled out. It was a really easy transition for us to like get into Apex because we already had this killer roster. Yeah, it's really cool the dynamic this team has. And uh, it kind of shows itself in their play and how well they've been doing in, in the past few weeks. But we actually had a chance to, uh, Jasmine had the chance to talk to these guys. Let's uh, take a look at that. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Team Liquid. They were uh, last week's winners uh, in our tournament. So congratulations, guys. Congratulations on coming in first. You guys killed it last week. Uh, it was pretty epic. You guys were about 15 plus points ahead of second place. So you guys were very dominant throughout last week. What do you guys feel that's helped you throughout this series? Because it's been a huge turnaround, I feel like, within these past two weeks that you guys have just been coming up top. So what's been working for you guys? Um, just staying consistent. The new patch kind of helped us. Uh, new map changes kind of help our team comp, Octane, Pathfinder, Wraith. Allows us to move around the map a lot better. Finding kills is a lot easier. Respawning people is a lot easier. And just the overall game got pretty easy because ranked mode's out now. So there's not a lot of like super heavy, like competitive people that aren't in the tournament trying to kill us. And it's just all like kind of new players, people that aren't as competitive as us. And it's just easier all across the board. Pub stomping is definitely fun. Um, so do you guys feel that maybe with after the patch, uh, with the alternator rounds and kind of nerfing that, do you guys feel that that helped a little bit? Or do you feel that you guys just have been sticking to, you know what's good, sticking to the R99, sticking to the wingman? What do you guys, what's your thoughts on that? Um, the alternator is still really good, but um, R99, 301, Peacekeeper, it's like the mainstays, I think. 
so that's what you guys that's your bread and butter you guys for sure will always use that but what if you guys see an alternator do you immediately go to pick that up or do you you know stick to the r99 what if you have the alternator without any hop up do you guys are just like nope i'm gonna go look for the r99 or i'm gonna look for the carbine or what do you guys do in that situation um pretty much i'll just if i have the disruptor rounds i'll look for the alternator but if i don't then I'm grabbing like an R99 until then because the disruptor rounds is like what I'm looking for. And if I don't find that, then I'm not going to waste my time. Right. 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 Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like most of the time from what we've been noticing is a lot of players don't pick it up until it's, you know, on a death box and so forth. So you guys having you guys have background in H1, a lot of battle royale games. Right. So one thing that as just a normal player, with RNG, how do you guys deal with that? When you guys land and you guys have the worst luck on loot, you guys have white armor with a Mozambique and a P20 or you know something that's like a G7. What do you guys do in situations like that? Um, kind of just make the best of it. You can't really change the RNG once you get it. You can't change what kind of loot you get off drop. You can't restart the games because every game matters. So just kind of making do with what you got Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. That's just how it goes sometimes. But uh, just trying to stay as consistent as possible, go for the win as, uh, as much as you can. Yeah. So then I have one more question for you guys. This is for each one of you to answer. What is the worst loot that you have gotten upon landing? Uh, no armor and probably like a P20 with like, I don't know, just, just that probably. Just I mean... Yeah. No extra ammo. No heals, no extra ammo, nothing different. Not even a white armor. Yeah, probably the worst case scenario. What about you, Callie? Um, no armor, a three stack of heavy ammo with no gun next to it, and that's it. Just noth absolutely nothing off drop. NG? By far the worst is a thermite grenade and syringes in a pill. <laughs> that is, yeah, I've had plenty of those situations where it's only arc stars, thermites, and attachments. So I'm right there with you guys. But I'll let you get to it and we are looking forward to seeing you guys, you know, go out there and you know killing it out there today. Back to you. Thank you, Jasmine. I would say like extended mag, <laughs> standard stock, sniper stock, standard stock. That's my worst. <laughs> <laughs> I once landed on a turbocharger, three stacks of energy ammo, a thermite grenade, no gun, See? and then immediately died. <laughs> I think, I mean, I always, 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 at least once a day, drop with like an arc star and that's it. But, you know, I'll carry that out. Yeah, with man. That. I it's like an arc star. I like a thermite. <laughs> I mean, at least one one of them said thermite. Like, I, I'm, I'm happy if I'm landing on a thermite. I'm man. just like saying, that, there's a lot worse out there. When you're a part of the caustic trap gang, you always start with three traps. So you at least got that. Worst case scenario, <laughs> you've got three things that can kill everybody. All right. Um, let us know your worst drop uh, in the chat there. Uh, all right. Uh, there, there you see the socials, by the way. Face it Apex on Twitter. Uh, get involved with the conversation. Hashtag Face it Apex. I think we're moments away from getting into the action. Again, Team Liquid coming into this week. They've oh, yeah. won twice in a row. They had our highest scoring total. I think 485 was the number. Yeah. Crazy number. Like, they're looking. What, what are these guys looking for? What are they trying to drop right now? Uh, at least Team Liquid. So, I. Over the past few weeks, I've been gathering all the information of like what the other teams have been scoring, and we have a threshold like hit limit that we want each each game to hit. And if we hit those every single game, according to the numbers, we're gonna win. That's kind of been true for the past two weeks. If we can keep it going this week, you know, we got that three peat. There's been a bit of variance with all of it, right? And uh, I think it's interesting for them to mention as well that because uh, we can't really control as much the variance of the ranked and the, the tournament format, We're not trying to change it around too much since they are just playing the regular open uh, Apex games, is that some of the more competitive players will be playing in those ranked feeds and they won't be running into them as much, which kind of increases that potential to get the extra kills. But I think the ones that we've uh, we've been seeing like do very well. It's like if you can kind of get to that 30 mark seems to be like the sweet spot because we expect the best teams here to they be winning every map. Yeah. Um, they drop 30s all the time. Yeah. Uh, I think when yeah. they're playing, you know, not not necessarily in ranked as you mentioned, but that is the element of the strategy here. You're trying to get a, as many kills as possible uh, in these matches. 
and they were talking about it in the interview regarding their uh, their their comp with reason Octane, Pathfinder, and Wraith. That that's what they're going with. They're they're really focusing on the speed, getting around the map, being able to respawn really quickly, and that's very important in a format like this. And uh, you know, communication has a big is, is has a lot to do with that as well. Making right. sure those callouts are happening. If you're hearing a respawn in the distance, yep. like even if you're just finishing up a fight, you're you're off to that next one because you you need to get those fights. The worst thing that can happen is you're hearing the fights happen and you're not involved with them. Like these yeah. guys want to be third partying. So can you talk about their communication? a little bit uh, and, and how important that is yeah for them. so communication is something we've been working on you week in and week out uh, it's honestly probably the biggest thing um, especially when you get towards like the mid game you want to like call out um, who you're going against because you don't want to completely wipe a team because you want to you know have right. them res and get more points um, so communication has been a big thing that we've been working on in our practice um, blocks and I think it's been working out very well, um, over, especially over the past two weeks. You've seen us throughout week in, week out, um, slowly improve within the standings every single week. And now that I think we've hit that sweet spot, I think we're solid. Yeah, yeah, with the momentum that you guys have been building, that's the reason why you've gotten up to the <laughs> point where we can have you in the conversation as to who is going to be getting the $10,000 at the end of next week. And it's kind of crazy because if you, if you pop off like to have Ben, so far, that's uh, it's a very real possibility. Of yeah. course, it won't be easy since we do expect Fire Beavers to continue to do well. Um, yeah. But it is interesting because some of the other teams that we've been talking up for the duration of the series haven't been doing as hot as Team Liquid in Season 2 of Apex. Um, for me, what stands out is like TSM had a really rough week last week. Um, they had a really good kill average in their games, but I think they, they had like two games where they just kind of... They kind of like lost early. They didn't get those high finishes. And one of the things that they were talking about being a problem was like uh, trying to split off players like Albert Laley to, to go out and do that. And they thought it was harder because of stuff like the disruptor rounds and how aggressive it can get. Yeah. But um, that's that, that, something I'm interested in seeing is if the teams are going to try and spread themselves out more now that we've had a few weeks in the new season. Yeah. And um, Nick, I actually want to go to you on that a little yep. bit uh, in regards to, you know, Jish, he's, he's playing Pathfinder yep. and He's dope with Pathfinder. Like, <laughs> there's some really fun stuff that's happening. He's he's racked up some crazy crazy kills. But we talk about that mobility. Um, uh, can you talk about that with with the team and and uh, Jish, what, what what role does that fulfill for for the team? Uh, him playing that role specifically. So, when a when Apex was still getting out, I was, at Cali was actually on uh, Pathfinder a lot. And um, I mean, Jish will never admit this. I don't know if it's true, but I I, I think that he learned a lot. From watching Cali and getting advice from him, the whole mobility aspect is, like you guys have said, uh, like everyone knows, is a huge deal. Uh, getting around the map, finding those kills, getting that information, um, and him playing Pathfinder, as long as he doesn't like grapple into a, a team of three, it's it's absolutely uh, essential. And, and I actually know that uh, Cali was looking at Watson, uh, uh, from what I remember, like leading up to. Uh, season two, and now we, we see. I, I believe he's playing Octane. Um, yeah. But can you can you talk about that? I guess uh, any insight on that on uh, on Cali's thoughts uh. towards <laughs> Watson, or, or or I guess his decision to go with Octane. I mean, Octane is just an absolutely killer uh, legend. For, and for those who didn't know, I've Jasmine I, I have, may as have retired as well, but I, I have gone on record to say <laughs> that I have retired Bloodhound. All the Bloodhound mains I, are gone. I play Octane. Aww. I play Octane all the time now. So it, it, let's, mean, we can talk yeah. about Octane. Octane is probably one of the more the, one of those mobile um, after after Pathfinder. Yeah. Running around the map, you're always stimming. You know, you as long as you have you know ten syringes, you're always going to be at full health. Um, there are these like very, really unique mechanics that um, Cali has found that uh, some people might, you know, haven't noticed yet. Um, that could really contribute if you watch Cali stream. Make sure you um, check him out on twitch.tv slash Cali. Um, you might find those little tips and tricks that gives him the edge in a 1v1 or a 2v1. Yeah, James Bardoff, not, he hasn't been here uh, super recently, <laughs> but uh, he... He took a little bit of the credit there. He he had that top donator spot for a week on on Cali stream. We were we were talking about that. <laughs> We've been keeping eyes on it. Um, but I I think for I think the Octane makes a lot of sense, especially with the pub stomp format since it's not in the ranked. Because I think uh, the there's already a sort of separation in terms of the meta between like the regular games that people are playing and like yeah. the higher end of ranked, where that Watson is really really important when you're playing for placement only and not really as much on the kills, since the uh, the the 12 uh, rank points from that and. Her her pylon is gnarly. 
Yeah. But I can see, I think for this format, the Octane probably yeah. just fits a bit better because it is more about the mobility and getting around the map to get those kills. Exactly. I think that's a really good point. Really optimizing that speed. Uh, yeah. Finding the enemies and then also, again, uh, the assistance with re respawning. We're getting started pretty soon, guys. Again, today we're going to be focusing on Team Liquid, joined by Nick Cleope, uh, manager of the Team Liquid Apex team. And we were talking earlier, I, I want to ask you a little bit more about uh, right. the headquarters that you guys got <laughs> yeah. going on. Not far from where we are here no. in, in Santa Monica. Less than a 10 minute drive. So talk about that that place real quick. And, and I guess <laughs> maybe any involvement that uh, these guys have had there. I'm sure they've, they've practiced there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the Alienware training facility here in Santa Monica um, is essentially just the one all need all, like the office for, you know, a gaming team. Um, cur they currently, it currently, um, is home of our League of Legends, our uh, League of Legends Academy team, our CSGO team, and our Clash Royale team. Uh, but during, you know, there's still, it's still a big facility. There's still plenty of space uh, for whenever, like, the Apex guys need to come down. You know, we'll have a boot camp set, uh, set up ready for them, and we can just practice it up. Actually, um, Cal, uh, not Cali, um, Casper, Flanker, and Nastical are, um, Three of our other players are boot camping there for X Games, and they'll be down here next week. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, you know? it's really cool to like as as the the esports scene and industry has grown, that we have like these hub points now because a lot of the competition stuff does happen down here when live events end up happening. And yep. we did chat a little bit about that. Um, do do we know? Do these guys have a, a crazy amount of LAN experience? How how comfortable do we expect them to be playing on like different setups here, for example? For these guys, the, I think these guys are probably towards the higher up with LAN experience. Okay. Um, they have the H1 Pro League experience, um, and I think that really gives them like they're fully comfortable. They know what to expect within you know this kind of scene. Um, so I I don't think it will be uh, much of a disadvantage as you know maybe other teams that have come. Yeah you know, and experiences for the first time. Nice. Wow. Well, Some of the guys we had here were, were, were pretty young about it and they hadn't gone <laughs> yeah. out and had to do that too much. And <laughs> even just coming here, like, because uh, so we've, we've got Team Liquid playing in the studio today, is, you know, you're, you're using a different computer, the desk height's different, the chair's yep. different, right? You can, of course, you'll bring your, your normal gear, but, you know, even something as simple as, like, oh, the monitor is not at the normal height or whatever. <laughs> um it's, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of yeah. things that pro gamers can get upset about when it comes to their, their <laughs> I mean, gear setup. A lot of pros from like from Flash and StarCraft to a lot of Counter Strike pros. They'll they bring, bring rulers. They'll bring out the ruler to make sure the distance really? is perfect and like oh, the, wow. the height and the distance their keyboard is from the end, so that they're they have you know yeah. the idea matching exactly you know as much as possible your how how you play from yeah. home. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah wow. we got it. We got to get the rulers out for these guys because they're here in the house. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite was table height because it's like that really is one of the things that on hey, the stage man. you're not going to be able to adjust that. Yeah, yeah. but are you going to have the leg room that you're used to? You know, got to be able to. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. It's so a, we'll see how these that affects these guys again. Team Liquid coming into this week, they won the last two weeks. They scored the most amount of points. I think again, four four eighty five is the is the record, unofficially. <laughs> uh, of of our of our series here, where each and every week we have all the best Apex Legends teams in action, and here we go. All all these teams are playing at once. They're all playing in public lobbies. This is not ranked, uh, but again, the idea is as many kills as possible in 12 matches. We're counting their placing. We're, we're counting their kills, and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun, as it's effectively uh, just a race. All ev everyone at once. Who can get the most kills and, and place the best? Team Liquid, yeah. the team to beat. And worth noting, um, there is there is a quote-unquote time limit for it. It's set to, to be basically a four-hour tournament. But uh, the players have generally been kind of reaching that 12-game that mark, around the three, three-and-a-half-hour yeah. mark. So we should expect to see uh, any of the teams that are doing well, a, a good bit of playing for that, that farming on the respawns and whatnot. Um, and usually... The team that wins, we, we see them win every single game, uh, unless one or two of those flubs happen, which I'll be keeping my eyes out on because that was definitely one of the biggest things hurting TSM because of their, they've been, they were, you know, they're talking about how they were spreading their team out so much. And yeah. uh, T1 also just not having the, that dominating performance that we expected the last two weeks either. And, and we're already kind of seeing it where 
they drop right away. Like we're we're at Thunderdome here. This was in the very beginning of the plane path, and that, that's part of that strategy. You drop quickly, and then you find the nearest this bad guy to go start control. taking him out, and then you make your way across the map. Basically, the ocean is kind of behind you, so you know where everyone else is. That's why they're they're dropping on the border of the map here. And Nathaniel, she just pointed out something again in regards to the Pathfinder, and 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 the ability to kind of split off. Where we have seen that, where maybe you have to make that decision. You hear two different fights in different places. All right, two guys go that way, one guy goes this way, and Jish, I guess with him being Pathfinder, uh, maybe he has the most ability to do that. So, um, uh, Nick, could you could you comment on that a little bit? Like, w w would we expect to see Jish kind of run off on his own, or, or what? What? How? How is that kind of calculated here? Yeah. So Jish will 100% be like the, uh, well, the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder is somebody who you know take is the scout of the entire thing. He's gonna find those people. Oh, looks like a uh, Cali's getting fight right now. A little skirmish. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll get back to that question as we see a fight unfold here on Skulltown. And this is very important, you know, they, they're at th Thunderdome, no one was there, so they go straight to Skulltown, and it looks like they're going to find some action. And that's a Disruptor round alternator, as they had, uh, we, we did see them pick that up very quickly, so Rogue's got that firepower, and also Rock and the EVA 8, so we see the, the carnage begins to, to officially kick off week 7 of the Face It Apex Pro Series. Yeah, week 7 of 8, 7 of 8, this is the time to really show up. Team Liquid, I, I believe they're number three in our standings coming into this week, so th they pretty much need two number ones, almost. Two more to yeah. to try to get number one overall in the series. It's within reach for them. 100% within reach, where I think we're only 80 points down. If we can continue to get those, you know, 40 pumps, uh, 40 points, you know, first place, 40 pumps, uh, points above any other team, that 100K is, in, uh, that 10K is in the back. Yeah. I mean, even... Even if even as close as they're getting right now, even if they're not able to get it, they still had such a monumental improvement, um, which which has been the most fun thing about having a series this long is seeing how everybody has improved over week to week. Um, I know one of the other teams they were talking about that struggled really a lot was a very young team, uh, Immortals, uh, and they did not have a very good start, and they're still a bit down in the ranks, but they're one of those teams that have not been finishing. They didn't. They didn't have a that very bad finish in the last week so kind of following these trends has been it's been fun it's been exciting because because apex competitively is still very new and of course it's going to be lots and lots of changes um from from this to the next thing and oh yeah goodness knows what's going to happen in the next season <laughs> with how much they changed in season two can't wait do you think they'll do like some mid mid season changes? You know the Leviathans are going to move again, right? <laughs> like yeah. like something's going to they're going to rotate or they're going to something's going to happen there. Well, they talked about in like one of the blogs, right? As that we the, see uh, Liquid tracking down another team. Yeah, that go, this go ranked season was supposed to kind of coincide with the um, with like the battle pass season, and I think that is even only running until like September, right? So there's there's the potential for whatever is coming next to not be too far behind that, and. I'm very interested to see what they what, what ends up happening next where they go with that. CC so comes in, triggers that caustic gas. Where's my boy? Where's my thick this boy guy caustic? Guy the, the peacekeeper. That's a little scary. Oh, no, gonna take no fear. No fear. Dances on him <laughs> with that R99. So as we see uh, Liquid finish off another fight here, going from Skull Town and then just proceeding uh, north up the map, listening for gunshots, looking for bad guys. Let's see, has, has Kali seen someone? Oh, yep, they do see someone coming back. Someone coming from uh, the Skulltown area, which is a little bit interesting. Perhaps rotating over from runoff. But another engagement can happen in the Skulltown area, and it looks and like it's not going to be an us. issue. Yeah. Come, I mean, it's almost, us. it's almost, us, please. like, yeah, the <laughs> ideal scenario is other other bad guys are hearing these fights and running on over. Uh, yeah. Inconspicuously walking into the trap of, of Team Liquid. <laughs> uh, to the to to Jasmine's question, she brought up asking the boys about how to deal with RNG and whatnot. I will say another great way to deal with it is just be better than everybody. And if you uh, if you land on a P20 with no armor and you can shoot on the guy's head six times, well, doesn't doesn't matter. And you take their stuff and you're good. <laughs> I, I I've played a ton of Apex and it happened once where I was able to punch down a person with purple armor. So like it happens, it can happen, and for these guys, I don't think there's such a thing as as a bad drop. Honestly, I've almost pulled that off, but it was a lot easier because they had no health from my gas. So. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> here we uh, see them again going north up up the map here, listening for bad guys. It looks like they're going, they're gonna try to third party. It looks like they, it sounds like they hear something, maybe a respawn. And see, as you can see right there, that mobility. Yeah, I love it. Okay. I Man. guess back to my question real quick. How often do you expect Cheech to kind of split off here and maybe go on his own? 
Um, especially in downtimes uh, like, like right this. Right now, actually, we're kind of seeing that yeah, a little exactly. bit. Yeah, um, exactly. Especially in downtimes like this. Um, all the time. Gotcha. Uh, he, he has, you know, a really great escape or disengage with his grapple and his ultimate. Um, you know, the, the only risk factor in here is if he grapples into a full Wait, three man team and then, <laughs> and then he's dead and the I'm other two just this. aren't able like to help him out. Um, so low risk, high reward. Good call out though. I mean, he, he points out that there is a team above him, but he still wants, these guys still want to go in on the team that's here on the low ground. So they've kind of lined it up the expectation that people will be shooting down on them. So they want to mop this one up as quickly as they can, turn their heads north towards the hill and just make their way up. Yeah, and they were third partying that originally, I think. So potentially four teams all in this area. It looks like they dealt with one of them and now turning around to deal with this team that was coming from above. Yeah. Lots of liquid in that kill feed up there on, okay, on the left side out. as yeah. actually Jeesh gets taken uh, out. So Rogue and Kaligan have to retreat to de try to deal with this. Using this Gibraltar shield that did not come from them, but uh, 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 coming forward as, as a utility at this moment in time. And it's funny how neutral a lot of the utility yeah. ends up being. <laughs> the lifeline like, drone, especially too. Yeah, like you can use, you can steal someone else's lifeline drone. You can steal, you can basically, you can make use of like another team's Watson pylon because it affects everyone equally. I can't the make thing, use of your caustic gas. <laughs> no, you can't. There is no neutral or gas Bangalore canisters. Results. Oh, that's toxic. Gibraltar results. Oh, sorry. Oh, I live to grief. It's oh, okay. You should, you should get more into commentary. Uh, that was well. That was well played right there. That was real good. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going for. You guys for. are making it easy for me. So maybe I will. <laughs> and here we see. This is one of the newer areas of the map here. I get the X cascades. Arguably not as much loot over like the entire span of the of the river. But this place in particular, there's this concentration of. I had a game end in this building yesterday. Yesterday. Um, this building is the best because it has a kill room with one way oh, in and out. Okay. Gets it coming right out of the portal, nice. unfortunately. You got to be careful when you're stepping through that. Might be another team kind of oh, yeah. seeing what's going on here. There's a Cossack in that building trying to hold it down. Be a bit risky to run in against him there. So, going to rotate around. It's Cali. Not really any ring pressure. Uh, and, and to mention about this area, we talked about it earlier. For anyone newer to the patch, like there is a flyer in a cage and... He will scream if you are nearby. So it has the ability to reveal the location of an enemy. So if you're listening and hear a flyer screeching in the distance, there might be another team there. It's mobility, though. Good use of those uh, multiple zip Whoa, lines. Whoa, Caligan knocked, pro Gets the stick with the Arc Star for the initiate to guarantee the knock on the first person hit. Got to be careful with them big feats coming up. But Whoa. look at that. Rogue going off on his own Easy. and just absolutely Easy. demolishing this team. Great job. Oh, style points. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, At some down. point, oh, Bill Adamotes. That's what we need. We need real style oh, right points. Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> getting stuck good. on the side. Speaking of style, yeah, hanging out on the banner. Uh, Seeing a bad guy. Oh, that's an awkward spot. Ooh, ooh. That is so awkward. Can he get Backup's out of there? coming, though. Cavalry's here. And there you go. Rogue could not be lower. That is something about these pro players. If you guys are tuning in the whole the whole uh, series here in week seven, really look out for just how low their health gets sometimes. But they always stay alive. They always find a way yeah. to just survive. That's I think that's a huge, you know, difference maybe between the pro and, and the not so pro is like they just stay alive somehow. <laughs> it's like you're watching a superhero movie. These team liquid players, you yeah, exactly. know, <laughs> as tough as it gets, as tough as it gets when they're on their last leg, they somehow pull something else out and they're able to make the most of it and stay alive and that's that's been the story of team liquid recently um, and actually we're seeing a lot of gold here on rogue we got the gold armor and we have a golden alternator oh my god look at that that would be fun to pick up i'll be honest yeah, that would be, you know, that would be have, real nice to find i have not found a golden alternator yet but boy oh boy i would be happy if i did uh, he is a happy lumberjack, that's for sure. Only uh, seven yeah, shots on the peacekeeper, but when you have a golden alternator, alternator, maybe that's okay. I have been rolling a lot less shotgun. I'm uh, surprised you didn't throw that out on one of those death boxes. At least one person had a, a longbow. Yeah, I feel like I don't, I don't know if you how, if you guys feel the same, but man, that shot the shotgun stack change has really yeah. made it feel a lot harder to roll with them. I'm just, you know, I have anxiety, I'm not, and I'm, I'm like, not I can't more just. Than one, more yeah, than 16, exactly. You know? It's like I'm, I'm an anxious person normally. I'm like, I can't just have one stack of shotgun. You know, 16 shells is not enough. <laughs> But then my inventory's full because I only have a level one backpack. Yeah, I mean, not, not with the Eva 8, but if I guess if I have a Peacekeeper, it's a little better maybe. Yeah. But then you have to be on top of every shot. Like, yep. It, I guess that's the idea. So, so this, you know, these guys are pros, so they should be hitting every single shot. Yeah. That's true. And, that's true. Yep. 
Wow. Like those seven bullets for him is I like. I can't believe this kills. game is balanced for people <laughs> who are good at it. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, we got a fight here. That's the golden alternator in action from Rogue. Ooh. There's some caustic gas around. Nathanius, don't get too excited. Some blood and the Bangalore rising. ults. Everyone, everything dropping down on these guys. Bang is purple armor. It's getting messy. Purple armor, yeah, indeed. Right. Those are some great shots from so there's that a R99. So far. This grapple no, to the three, roof. Three, there's three, two three, bad guys up there, so he's going to retreat. This Kossi did a pretty good Andre. job holding it down. I'm just saying. This guy, this guy understands him. He's, he's a trap master. Careful, Rogue. Yeah, and then it was two on I one at the, on the roof there. Rogue. And Kali unable to get away. Or Jisha unable to get away. So it's Rogue and Kali, but Rogue is down. Okay, this okay, well, it's three squads left. They got to take this very seriously here. Yeah, now keep in mind, I believe what third place is three points if they get second one overall. Down. That's five. And of course, four, first place uh -oh. win is oh, ten points. So one there's more. a lot on the line here. One more for Cali, and he's low in health with the Prowler. And he doesn't have the hop up for it either. No, he's, so he's having to burst. Oh, Ooh. he does it. Oh, stuff, Cali. Dude, oh. you, could, you, could put, you could put an infinite amount of money on a table and give me a Prowler with no hop up and tell me to kill three people on my own while I have no shields. How many? I'm putting them. I'm just. I'm just stepping away from the computer. I'm not, not even gonna try. <laughs> that was Forget some, about it. Something worthy of a clip. I don't know, that was. That was crazy right there. That was oh, a one on three for Cali. Really like Stuck with that prowler. Uh, Nick, I, I gotta ask you, bro. How are you feeling right now? What, what's going on? Uh, if there's anybody that I think could clutch a three v one, it's Cali. So let's well, let's see if you can do this. Yeah, pressure is on. But I mean, as far as the frags go, it's been sick. All three of these guys, from what I've been seeing as we swapped through Still all of their views, breath, man, they have a lot of kills this game. So, worst case scenario, this was still a really well done match, uh, even if they don't get that first. But a first with this, I mean, this this feels like it's easily again, over 25. Oh, careful. That's the last oh. team. That's tough. Oh, that's a little tough. Well, let's let's see what it is. I think it's still like 35. It's a lot of frags this game. Just not having that number one, it is yeah. going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. In, 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 it's a five in a point series difference. where it's you almost have to win everything, every single game. Actually, it's, the, the it's caustic team won it there, Nathanius. <laughs> well, Look at that skin. That's a pretty cool skin. That's Look at that skin. Got that, armor. that skin was the biggest buff Costa got. So 26 to start. I mean, if, if ha that's huge. That's assume, big. Assuming that's a world where they're able to, to clutch that, then it yeah. turns into the yeah, you know the almost 30 kill game. Yeah. But uh, not a. Not, not the worst start that they could have had, so... Taking a look at a replay here from TSM. This is from their Adam first match. Killed. Looks like Adam all a little right. normal. Uh, looks like Reps was dropped a little bit earlier. Another fight ended up happening, and we're going to go into live here. Uh, TSM, one of the members, one of the participating teams. Oh, they're a little bit caught in the gas, which is always a little bit scary. I'm not sure exactly at what point of the game we are, but... Uh, gonna run out of that very quickly. Yeah, Looks like someone's still caught out there. Uh, as this fight ends up unfolding right on the border, and this is a little bit dangerous. Yeah, yeah, Imperial getting knocked down. I do believe that uh, the second circle is starting soon, so there's a little bit of play to be done outside of the ring if necessary. But always, uh, this this is one of the things that has just been a frustrating aspect for TSM, though, is we've seen last week especially, there were quite a few times where um, and they talked about this being a weakness of the season two setup for them. It was like Albert Laley going out on his own. He got killed a few times and he had to be rezzed. Takes a lot of time away from the rest of the team being able to kind of go around and hunt for those kills. Of course, the reason why he was spread is to get them himself. But um, I think that for them, this also, this, it's, it hates it. I hate to say it because we only have two weeks left. So you can't really take like a recalibration match. You have to just go all out again and just be better. So hopefully their practice, they were able to kind of um, get something that made them feel more comfortable about it because they do need to put in a lot of work, honestly, because uh, the last two weeks did not do them any favors. And there's, you know, there's time, but... It, it, you know, the time is now to really put in the good games. And again, Liquid getting number two, 26 kills. Pretty solid number. We'll see how that compares with everyone else as, as we get underway here. Uh, but Liquid is definitely going to want to win every single one here on out. It's definitely going to be a focus for them. But, uh, and, and TSM hasn't been the easiest game for them. They had uh, a couple men down a little bit earlier. Engaging another team here. Looks like six squads remaining. I think this is a really good game one from TSM. They have, I think... 10, 9, and 4, 11 kills. Okay. Yeah, not yeah, bad. It's six squads left. This can probably... This could be a huge game. Yeah, this could be a very huge game if they, uh, if they keep it going. All right. Who's in bunker? Anybody waiting? <laughs> just have a random caustic in bunker. Just like, haha. <laughs> That's... Hey, man.
I'll say caustic <laughs> and bunker is never random. <laughs> a caustic never accidentally gets stuck in bunker. It's it's always very, very intentional. It's gonna run into see there's a lifeline outside. Okay, that was just a solo lifeline there, trying to make it happen on her own. Weird. Running right. into TSM, not uh, not the best way to uh, try and win a game. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I wish I could almost see the overall standings again. What was TSM? What they were around. What, what, do you remember what their rank was overall? Was it? I don't remember what it was anymore. They were top three before, but yeah, if we could get a, a check from the back. I was gonna say on, on Team that Liquid one. certainly shoved them. So out I want to say they were top five for sure, but I know Fire Beavers was in front. Liquid is three. Fire Beavers and T1, T1, T1 were. were yeah. Yeah. Fire yeah. Beavers and so T1 have been yeah, so dominating. I think TSM is around five or six. So they, you know, they they have room, but they need to really have some huge games. And as you guys mentioned. They're putting up some numbers here. Do it, do it, do it. They're all around like 10 or 11 on the kill feed, and they're still tracking down teams just full of action. Hard, and that's exactly what you want in a format like this. So that's unfortunate, though. Um, Albert Laley, oh, did they use the portal to get the banner? OK, yeah. So they, they, they did manage to get Albert Laley's banner there. Imperial's going to have to heal up. Oh, yeah, he was down there. Second circle damage, though. So being outside at this point. Not really something that you can manage. Wow, Immortal's dropping a 43-pointer. Yeah, that's a big one. In their first yeah, game. I'm going to go respawn him. Wow! <laughs> well, I, think I, was, 30, I was saying no, that, they, that they have a very young team as well, and uh, it's it's exciting to see them kind of uh, improving week over week. Love to see it. Uh, if we had won the first game, we'd be at 39 right now. That would, that would really have been a 39 be a game, so we would have been second. I guess y'all y'all would be like 36. Oh, yeah. 30, yeah, I think we got 36. Yeah, which is solid. 30, 31. You know, and for you guys, uh, you know, looking at T1, you guys are comparing yourselves to them because of your overall standings. Mm -hmm. T1's number two overall, so you need a, you're ahead of them after one game. And then we're also looking at Fire Beavers, so we'll see when they when they pop up. Yep. I believe the sports commentator thing for me to say now is there's a lot of game left, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. But a very important day for all these teams. And again, there's also the number one overall ranking in each week, which all these teams are looking out for. Just, you know, getting the, getting the cash from the week, the cash out from the week by getting number one. Oh, yeah. Uh, TSM has a week like that. They're going to be very happy, even if they still have a ways to go to be able to get up that overall leaderboard as we see the circle kind of going in an interesting part of the map here towards the pit towards slum lakes very up tucked I, in the northwest i don't know if i've ever had a game finish on the pit area i've had maybe this this little pass here i've had a few like games actually on in, the pit like on the pit yeah, yeah i don't know because because the thing is that circle is not really big at all because most yeah, of that the terrain, terrain is unpathable yeah, sure. yeah. so it's pretty much just pit and that little pass, like this, just the southeast end of Slum Lakes. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people who don't play the game a lot, like don't go up, don't like go up here or like north of here. They just don't ever go there. But yeah, it does exist. This is on the map, way up north where the circle's ending. But for now, TSM gonna go around the right hand side towards the Upper Cascades area. Gonna track down a, to act as a third party here and try to clean up what was left. Only two squads left. This is actually the final squad, so this is gonna finish up the game here. So no, no one really having to deal with that final circle and the technicalities that might raise up, I guess, in a in a very high ranked game. But that's a really nice game for TSM. Yeah, really good one. I think I had. See what the total is. I guess like it's gonna be in the 30s. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty nicely in the 30s here. 32. 32. So that's a 42 point start for TSM. Very well done. Yeah. They they do very well in pretty much all their games. They they have taken their their own championships in our tournament so far as well. Let's take a look at a replay over here, from CLG. Um, yeah, their biggest problem was that they did they did drop a, out of I believe two games. Uh, they got killed early and did not make that even that top five uh, points. So if they can maintain that. Uh, that same consistency without dropping any early games, then I do expect to see TSM up top. They've just, it just hasn't really come together for them recently. Mm -hmm. So you take a look at Nicewig. Yeah, I mean, and that can be some really nice momentum. In your first game, you know, dropping 32, that 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 feels good. That's going to feel real good yeah. for them. So they want, you know, they want to hold on to that. fantastic start. Yeah, they want to hold on to that, carry forward, and would not be surprised to see them even, incre you know, their goal is to just keep that number going up. They're gonna be very happy with that. But yeah, we are we are watching CLG. We saw a little replay there, and now we're scrolling in the live. Five squads left here. So that daily sub goal 
is at uh, nice, 120 percent. Nice, feels good, man. Always good feels job. good. Good yeah. job. Good job, community. Shout out to the to the Noco Puffs fam. Guys, guys, crushing it. It's got Spitfire and a Devotion. So going with the two machine guns. <laughs> yeah, the two LMGs. I like yeah. it. It's inter I don't do it often, but I feel. I'm a little conflicted when I do it because it kind of feels unfair and it feels unnecessary. <laughs> but I, um, it's like just imagine holding two giant LMGs. It's like, yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Well, that's what we need is we need the the seven foot tall character who moves slower, but his passive is he can just Whoa. fire both primaries at once. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just get the guy to walk around double tar double turbo like charge on steroids. What are you suggesting here? That's well, you know, Co hey, Cosmic doesn't need him. He he works out. All right. Well, you said seven feet, man. That's that's pretty huge. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Well, we are in a world where there's <laughs> robots that can Spider-Man around, so True. I don't think I'm being too ambitious with that. Well, and also whatever the Leviathan, however. Yeah, big those things. <laughs> 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 I mean that you know. Titanfall fans uh, always wonder, what about Titans? Did we ever see that in Apex Legends? Something like... Maybe. Something like that. It's like neutral on the map somewhere, and someone has to get there to control it, and that could be fun. Deactivates once the player count gets low enough so that you can't use it to just end the game. Yeah, it has limited health, like 1,000 HP or something. Yeah. We'll see. We'll Endless see what, possibilities. We'll see what Respawn has in store. Uh, you know, these guys actually have a little trouble finding bad guys. Four squads left. They've kind of just been running around. Oh, there we go. There's a bad guy. Blue armor. <laughs> kind of, you know, the guy just kind of sitting in the bush over here. His usernames, though. I know. I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> people on the internet, man. They never, they never cease to amaze me. <laughs> who thinks... Who, who comes up with this stuff? Um, <laughs> takes down the Gibby with the bubble. <laughs> Wait, is, is that? Did he believe himself? Technology's great, man. I think. Uh, what is it? I, I, I know that the Go XLR like a, has a bleeper. Subscriber notification also. It, it could almost, have been a notification. Like an, uh, yeah. I was gonna say I have. I have a bleeper. You, there, yeah. That's a thing now. That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have one right now? So if I said. No, 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 not on me at the moment. No, no, no. I'll have to bring it next time. Uh, I'll ask, Andy like flinched I'll, I'll, over there. <laughs> <laughs> What you don't know is I actually we, we already rehearsed this. I have a I have a code word and production will, will get that for me. Uh, well, I, I, Nick, I want we saw the controller being used there. What, yeah. What do you think about all? What do you think? Oh, about what, do, what do I think about controller players? Sure. I mean, if they're or, or just you know in the in competitive gaming and I guess it for, is kind of crazy your, for your liquid team, your team if, like with the, if they brought if, if Cali brought a controller to work one day. <laughs> hey, I mean, if someone with a controller can, can just. You know, stick with the best oh, of them. Oh, oh my sorry. Ah. That. Okay. This is fun. Wow. Cravers are fun. <laughs> <laughs> there was a head one there. One second. And, oh. There was a head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we interrupt Yikes. the broadcast with an ooh. That was nasty. <laughs> the Craver coming out. Uh, oh, but all is know. not hunky dory because we have one man down for CLG. Nice way to come over here. <sighs> no problem. Skull exists. <laughs> Kramer, <laughs> I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> that was crazy. That was, I guess, anyway, back nasty. to my controller question there. I believe, yeah, yeah um, we got interrupted rudely by a crazy headshot. <laughs> if, if there are, you As know, we see the people. controller being used here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's just raging. Yeah, um, yeah no, if, if Wig can just, you know, keep together with the rest of them, you know, more power to you. It's it's actually I personally think it's more impressive that someone yeah. who can play at this level with a controller. Um, it, it removes a lot of setup variance as well if you think about it. Like if you could be this good with a controller, you don't have to set up like a whole keyboard and a mouse and mouse pad and the space isn't as much of an issue, right? Like it's kind of weird. You just bring your yeah. controller and your setup is a whole lot lighter. It's like a Completely different place. Yeah, style. it's it's so yeah, it's so strange. Then you got the claw grip for a controller. <laughs> Look yeah. out! We're not seeing that here on the screen, but that is a, a variance of the of the controller grip, the claw grip. You don't you don't you don't have to worry about carpal tunnel with the controller, right? They are generally, I believe, the design of them kind of helps with that sort of thing. You're never going to be putting your wrists down, at least you shouldn't be, which which helps a lot. Yeah, that's that's. Something I think no that matter what though. I'm a wristbander. Always bander. passive. Be, be concerned about that, yeah. probably. I, if you're I, just using your hands a lot. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm on that wristband game for yeah. the for the carpal tunnel. <laughs> there you go. I should probably put that. 
You get like a little cast thing. I found a little like half glove thing that yeah, is yeah. for like. Yeah, those those will do it too. Yeah. Really, right. just a little bit of compression just helps a lot. Right. I have yeah, that. I, ha I have. I have. I have. Yeah. I have those, yeah. But it's so weird when you're playing. Once you get used to it, I, honestly, I can't use a computer without a wristband on now because it really? just feels weird. It just feels <laughs> oh, weird to not have my hand down. We're seeing some Pathfinder plays here, though. Look at how high you can go on this tower, oh, and that's yeah. a Kraber. Oh, please shoot Pretty someone good. on your way down. No. <laughs> I thought we were seeing it. Oh, that's for the, that's a big highlight replay there. Okay, well, not able to land that up close shot, but they do have their eyes on an enemy trying to go inside of that tower. This tower is a fun little spot, um, especially for a Pathfinder like we just saw. Like yep. just the ability to oh, I can go up there. He's got. <laughs> Let's go. Almost 500 rounds between his two R99s, by the way, of light ammo. <laughs> we have two R99s. Share some with the rest Don't of the people. Don't ask who... this guy about an alternator. He's got a whole <laughs> server worth of light ammo right there. His entire backpack. I would prefer 10 more arc stars instead of however many rounds. Well, I'm not landing ammo. either of them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the arc stars or the, or the shots. Just throwing my traps down and hiding in a corner prone, or as prone as I can be in this game. Two squads left. They're trying to find the last bad guy. Yeah. There's no beacons inside of this final ring. So it's just a matter of where are they hiding? Yep. And let's just kill them. Just get this one over with. Move on to the next game. Sometimes you shoot a little bit in the air. Just, in, you know, try to bait them out. They're like, oh, there's a third party. It's like, nope, it's just yeah. us. But sometimes you can get them out and looking. I mean, these buildings are popular destinations, right? Because you could have it all trapped up, but just a solo player that immediately gets always player. down by Nicewig. And you see that them controller skills, man, rolling up. Yeah. I like it. That's the uh, that's the biggest feels bad. Just, you know, you're the last team, you're kind of expecting to get three kills, three points. It's just one random person just hiding in the corner. Yeah. Nice game, though. Not too many issues at all. 25 kills at number one. Yeah, so 35 I mean, point game. They're head of team liquid. Yeah. Oof. Sorry to bring that up. Oh, but well, after after one game, I'm sure I'm sure the boys will bring it back. All right, yeah. now we're looking at T1, looking at replay first. Remember, they were number two in our overall standings coming into the second and final I week. I love seven. this alternator skin, by the way. That uh, looks so badass, futuristic. Uh -huh. And cool, we're, we're <laughs> capturing this uh, relatively <laughs> early on into the game here. 14 nice. squads left. This must be their second game. Yeah, so looks like after the start of this carnage, oh, we got their third game. one kill on okay, Kurt. Was, so not a crazy amount of early frags, unless the other two of them are six plus at this point or something like that. Um, and that circle is going to be coming into the north side. So it's actually going to be pushing everybody towards, I think, a little bit back where they were from, right? If I'm, if I'm looking at this correctly. I think they hear a res right now, so they're just going to deal with that. Okay. But yeah, He's got the flat line. By the way, which is, uh, I think it's my favorite gun to land on. There's really no hop-ups for it that make me love it, but like in a scrap type situation where I have nothing, the flatline is awesome. Yeah. The buffs, your, buffs for it did a lot. You know, your conventional FPS assault rifle. Yeah. It's just It feels like just generic gun. Which is fine. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, whatever you spawn with in Halo, whatever that assault yeah. rifle yeah, is. Yeah. Kind of right. like that. It's not the greatest. But it's not the yeah. worst. I, yeah, you're not useless with it. Yeah. I still don't. I'm still not a huge fan of like the kick on it. Um, but and I don't really like the recoil. But the damage buff that they did to it, it is in a pinch. It really, really does uh, exactly what you need it to. Yeah, we're seeing the uh, alternator with the disruptor rounds equipped here for T1 Kurt. All these guys very nicely armored already. Uh, purple, blue, and blue. And right now they're looking for bad guys. Very important here. You want to. You see the the kill feed in the top right. Stuff's happening on this map, and they this team wants to be involved with all that. So, they're they're running as fast as they can. They're gonna try to find the bad guys. Eh, it's cool. They can just you know not do that. They can just you know sit in the corner for you know. Are you biased? For, no, no. What? No. Nick, of course from not. From Team Liquid, Casters cannot be biased. <laughs> I was specifically told by Andy. Possibly, maybe. I might be remembering this wrong. <laughs> There's a reason biased. why the headsets are wired into the chairs, okay? I'm just going to warn you. You have to, be, <laughs> you have to be cautious. There's a battery under here somewhere. <laughs> Speaking of battery, uh, T1, finding a team and disposing of them very quickly. Tracking down one, and then it's just a race. Someone's running away. They're not going to I'm so get anxious because they're getting kills, but Kurt's not the one getting them. So I'm just looking at, I keep looking at this one kill in the top right, and I'm like, whoo boy, I'm like, come on, you guys can, 
I can do it and get a bit of momentum going over here. But uh, presumably they, the other, the two teammates are obviously doing a much better at like this they've, point. They've tracked down like at least three teams, I think, from what we've seen. Looks like there's a care package over there in the distance. Ooh. Let's see if they're going to go see what's going on. At the very least, action might be over there. Uh, yeah. Or a Kraber, at the very best. I like the idea of like the... Um, and they're running away from it. And I, I don't know how much this plays into the team prep, but for the players that roam around a little bit, playing around the, the rotation points, like that that little cavern right there that they just moved through is a yeah. pretty popular spot, right? If you're yep. trying to get around. Um, and the one up there to the left up here. Uh, I think bunkers probably a little bit res too restrictive mobility-wise to send your roamer there, but it's also one of those points that you can oftentimes catch people going in or out. Um, I think it's like kind of overall surface area of like volume almost where yeah. you're just wanting to send someone somewhere to Ooh. listen. Oh, Kurt running right into uh -oh. uh, uh, a very bad situation. And it happens. You just run into people sometimes and it's kind of what happened here. I was talking about volume, listening and, and hearing where the enemies are very important. Uh, Kurt not able to identify the bad guy's right in front of him and he's in trouble. Let's see. And this was right when they split off. So not necessarily together. In fact, BCJ running in the opposite direction. He's waiting for... Zerg to come on forward. Looks like they are going to have to just resort to respawning him and, and taking down this 2v3. Looks Apex like got us, BTW. Looks like they have decent stats. <laughs> 44 wins season two. Not Those bad for randos, right? There. No, not bad at all. And they, they dropped Kurt pretty quickly. Like He had no health in no time. Arcstar's going out. My favorite item in the game. Definitely cheating, then. It's Wraith. Oh yeah, concerned. What are they saying? Oh, I heard it concerned about the legitimacy of the players they're playing against. From what I heard in comms. All right, let's see what happens here. Two v three. I'm not sure if they've dropped anyone yet. BCJ is still taking shots. They're going up against a Watson, a Wraith, and a. What was the third? It's a zip line up there. Could be a Pathfinder somewhere. Trying to lob those arc stars in. From I wonder if there's another team coming in there. I thought I heard more shots. No, it's just a firefight. Yeah. It's two down. Should be one up somewhere. They're going to try to track him down. The they want to be sure to recover the banner in time also. Love walking around that Peacekeeper out charged up. Feels so good to get a good meaty shot off that with the precision choke. Oh, yeah. And surprising range on that. Yes. Like, you can hit from pretty far. And there we go. Able to take down that team. So just, just a momentary scare for T1. And they're not out of the woods. They're going to have to decide if they want to respawn. But we've seen some teams. See, it wasn't as bad as they <laughs> thought it was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I was a little scared. Kurt was, Kurt was dropped immediately. but I would be upset if I died, period. That's true. But <laughs> that's true. I'm a little surprised no one's third party this. They're in the middle of the circle. There's only six squads left, and that's that's not a big circle. But but here's what they have to decide. They just chill with two, or they try to respawn. Because if you leave a beacon, you're enabling more respawns to happen for the enemies, yep. which get you more points in our format. So we've seen some teams just chill with two, two members without respawning. So I we'll think you analyze it. like how you are doing in the game. If you already have like, you know, 20, 30 kills already. And your loot is nice and, you know, then. You know, Getting into a scrap them. outside of the bunker. That Northeast Beacon was still up, but yeah, we'll see. As uh, they are going to take this two versus three right now. Gets, got a pretty good Careful. first shot over there, but Ooh. coming on the back side from that bunker. And nice we flick. do have like BCJ it. getting in over here to cover him. Yeah. Real well done. Covering uh, his teammate as his back was turned. There's some nice wingman shots. I'm battering. Give me a sec. I'm getting a little better with the wingman, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gun I seldom pick up. Have you tried the digital sights on it? The yeah. Oh, well, the, I mean, I think the digital threads like the best in the game because I can't land I think long that shots is, anyway. Might be so. the best way to get a wingman it's, going is the, those sights. I think. Yeah. No, it's either the. It's it's either the just the standard HCOG one X or yep. um or it's the digital threat for me. Yep. If I pick up anything else and I'm trying to land long <laughs> shots, else take I, it, I'm please. not hitting them. Like I'll fire <laughs> off a longbow occasionally and be like, lol, but you know, I won't do anything with it. <laughs> I had a miracle moment. I hit someone three times in a row with a wingman yesterday Oof. and uh how'd it feel? 
It was amazing. And I didn't <laughs> land a single shot after that. I immediately died. And then I picked up a wingman later. I'm like, I can feel the power. Nope, I instantly got killed. I missed four shots in a final two-team scenario. Rough. I self-rezzed myself in my caustic gas. The octane ran past me, didn't see me. I turned oh, to him with octane. my wingman. Bam, 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 bam. I, put, I punched a bunch of holes in the wall behind him, and then he killed me. And they won the match. Octane gave me slippery. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get him next time. I mean, was he standing still or was he slippery? Oh, he was. He, <laughs> he was didn't moving. see me. He was healing. <laughs> oh, no. I should have kept the R301. Octane, no, if I, I just sprayed the R301 back, on him. Dude, I got your back. Octane is always moving. Like, always moving. So, that, that, those were hard shots, Nathaniel. So yeah, 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 yeah. He, he had a shotgun, scary, not a shield battery in his hands. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Octane shotgun. Super There's scary. All right, they're able to get this res off. Four squads left. And you know that that's a beacon very near the edge of the circle. So if they just browse the area, there's no one really there, and the gas is coming in eventually. Yeah. It, it's a fine decision here to bring bring Kurt back. Kurt Kurt's like, why is that even a question, guys? Yes, bring me back immediately. I don't care about the points. You need me. I'm a superstar. With one point. With one point. <laughs> <laughs> but look at my damage at the end of the game. That's what I always say. <laughs> me too, man. One kill, 40 damage. Play with, me the, yeah. play with me and Nathanius, and you will get all the kills. <laughs> Whoever our third is. Speaking of damage at the end of the game, I remember there was one week where um, I forgot who, who, who was MVP, but um, Callie had like the most damage out of everybody by like, a few thousand. I was like, oh, yeah, you're lucky that uh, MVP isn't judged solely off damage. And then that, uh, I think it was Rogue. Rogue got MVP. Total da like of all of his games, total damage of of like yeah, total damage of like all twelve games. Gotcha. Yeah, that's impressive, <laughs> actually. It was, uh, I think it was the week that we got like three forty. Wait, I'm waiting for you guys. For four forty. Four four eighty five was your record. It's probably that week. No, I think it was, was another week? week. Oh, that was two weeks ago when y'all hit four eighty five. But yeah. I think you're last week about was what 430? Yeah. yeah. Last, last week was like 40. It was last week. Oh, okay. Cool. Is that I don't want to bring it up. Oh, sh I'm going to do it. That's where Jish got the zero kill. <laughs> game. <laughs> you you, you had to do it to him. Fun fact. You started it? I I didn't start this. I was, Well, cuz you made me think, well, no, wouldn't it be Jish with all the damage cuz he only had zero kills in that one game? But then I remember no, he didn't have damage in that game either. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm Alex. stopping. He, he can't hear us. He's playing. <laughs> He's playing. I'm going to go back to the this spot. Guy, this guy's got to go like, do his report. He's like, look, we're never working with these guys ever again. <laughs> you guys are great. It'll make him stronger. <laughs> he will be strong. <laughs> okay, we got we got a fight going out here. T1 against a Gibraltar at least. Looks like there's someone hiding behind that structure. He's going to get taken nice. down. These are the oh, nice grand. wingman shots yeah. we look for. Good yeah. stuff, one. Make it look so easy. Oh, no. Oh, I caught him with his pants now. Yeah. And all you got to say there, Nick, by the way, is just scoreboard. First, <laughs> who won first place? Who took who took <laughs> home the dub? Who took I, home the dub? I was I was actually debating if I wanted to bring it up and <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, just to mess with it. <laughs> look, I'm the host. My job is to kind of bring it out of you, so I was just trying to, job trying, there. to <laughs> trying to keep it a little spicy on the on the. <laughs> Whatever we call this, not quite a couch, but not quite a couch, not quite a desk. If uh, if anybody wants to tweet at Jush, it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's at Jush. Um, Savages, you know, <laughs> you know. Just uh, be sure to follow him as well. That's yeah, all, that's yeah, all, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it balanced. That's so all is things it at should Jish be. or at Liquid Jish? It's uh, at Jish. He's, okay. uh, <laughs> I don't mean to clear it up, but thanks he's, for clearing it up. Yeah, yeah. He's got a he's got the nice little Twitter verification. So. Ooh. Yeah. Two squads left. Kurt oh. has gotten up to five frags. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. He's no longer a one kill boy. Nice. Doing a lot of really nice things with the wingman here. Like we, We've been watching his screen for a while here and just hitting yeah. those shots so smooth. Yeah, just Makes killed. it look easy. What was that? Papa Shane, 69-69. Congratulations. Gets the dub. Easy piece. Let's see how many frags total. I mean, teammates did very well. We kind of kept our eyes on Kurt. He did eventually get kills, so yeah. I'm interested to see what their total is here. 30. Yeah, not not too much time running around. It seems like they they were in action, and I like their 
their uh, composition here. Close. Octane, Pathfinder, and Wraith. 29. Yeah, that, that's a great number. This week is going to be very, very, very difficult for, I think, all the teams. Like Liquid, yeah. uh, TSM, T1, Fire Beavers. I think anyone can take Especially like, any, any of the teams in the top five just have to be thinking about, as we uh, go into a replay here from Alliance, um, have to be thinking about that, that 10K prize because it really... You know, for all intents and purposes, Fire Beavers, if they just have two good weeks, it'll be very hard for them to drop down as long as they don't make a huge screw up. Yeah. But for everybody else, you have to play believing that that's still possible, that Fire Beavers will drop the ball um, and that that opportunity will open up for someone to steal it away from them. So, And you, you want to be the Face It Pro Series champion. Yeah. You do. 100%. Liquid wants that. Yeah. Anything less is unacceptable. <laughs> Were you, you know, in our meeting? You guys want to win. I feel yeah. like you were in our meeting a few weeks ago. You got all these teams, they want to win. So that's a huge deal. So, keep, you know, they're all keeping a very close eye on those overall standings. And they want to hit 30. They want to go above 30 kills on all these. Oh, yeah. I think th those, that's the number they're really looking for. Love it. These guys whenever, are good. Whenever we spectate Alliance, by the way, just I can't not just look at how they have the colors set up put the whatever just everyone's got white armors what it looks like and there's something weirdly yeah, well, okay, distracting okay, about it oh oh wow yeah, yeah. he it's must the, have the color yeah, line just, settings yeah yeah because the saturation and everything does look normally yeah, that's not like turned up it's just it, i think it's literally just a colorblind setting I'm but i cannot say, i cannot look at anything else i think they're all purple yeah well they would have to be or gold, but I think the gold would look, look different because it wouldn't be the same thing, right? So I don't know. I don't know. Ten kills here, by the way, for... That's why my guess is all purple. I guess Vaves there? there? Not bad? Not bad? Oh, we got today's leaderboard popping up on the left-hand side of your screen. You can see uh, a few of those numbers are through three games. The top two, yes. you see T1 and TSM, the rest are through two. So Fire Beavers, 77 through two. It's pretty huge. Mm. Yeah, wow. They're basically Actually, look at how close everyone is there. 77, 76, 75, 75. Everyone's yeah. pretty pretty close. But uh, our contenders, you know, we got to look out for Liquid. They were currently in 10th. But uh, we're on our third game right now, it seems like. And uh, the games, it looks like, aren't terrible. Um, but they're a little under the threshold. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. That's nice to find. Just got that Kraber lowly. We already saw a nice little Kraber montage Ooh. earlier. Takes him down. And again, as someone who's played a ton of Apex, I've, I, I mentioned last week I finally had a good Craver game. I still don't ever pick it up. As soon as I see it, I ping it and I say, someone please take this, or I will pick it up and just run to a cliff and then drop it. Nice. You know? Remove it from the equation. Or you, you pick it up, you go to bunker, you put it in one of the rooms. <laughs> and then you... I, this is a specific one on the low ground, the kill room. Yeah. There you go. I know exactly. And, and then you exactly take it from there, but... <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Dude, please do that and put it on YouTube or something. That would be amazing. Find a Kramer, take it to Bunker. <laughs> oh, no. And have your friend uh, have Watson with you somehow. <laughs> I mean, the damage on it is so good. Like, it's not even bad just blind firing down a tight hallway, right? Because oh, yeah. there's really only so many things that you're going to be able to hit if there's an enemy there. Yeah, if I am if I find a Kraber at a, at a care package, I'm trading my shotgun because yeah. it's kind of like a shotgun. I don't have too many games finished by this. I've had like a couple finish in artillery. Um, yeah, this is way up into, in the north, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, late game fights in this tunnel. I don't almost ever get into them somehow. Um, but is that ooh, gold go. backpack? Yeah, that's, wow. that's nice to find. That's just sitting there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check that spot more often. <laughs> What's impressive is that those like the oh. supply bins are open. This care package yeah. was open. There's been people here. Nobody saw the fast steel backpack. There's on purple the armor on that. On that crate over there. Potential armor swap opportunity. Is he going to do it? Yeah, oh. better than just re Dude, I just called that. I should be... I should be you should be I a should, caster. I should commentate. You should commentate video <laughs> games, dude. That was a cool little move, using the grapple to get over there and just replenish his armor a little bit easier Pathfinder than it would be mobility the feels so, 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 so unfairly good. And, and I'm going to say that because even... I don't play Pathfinder. I'm going to say that he's way too good because And we I don't still play. haven't seen the max potential, <laughs> honestly, of Pathfinder movement. Yeah. The like, skill cap Some is top pros brutal. are, like, insane, but there's still more. Really? Yeah. What, do you, what, do you, what do you think can uh, be improved off, even off of the uh, top here? You know how there's that mechanic where it just it keeps rotating? Yo, someone did the thing to me. Someone did the thing Sand. to me yesterday. I had a game.
where I was fighting a Pathfinder <coughs> at the entrance of the bunker, and I went and got the knock on him, and he grappled me as I knocked him. And while he was down behind the fence, he did the thing where he pulled me towards him. He fished me like like a bass out of bunker, and I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Even though he was knocked down, like it didn't even break the grapple. And uh, I died a horrible, painful death. <laughs> but it was one of the coolest <laughs> things. Was this on stream? Yes. It was terrifying. Oh. It was. It's so terrifying when the Pathfinder grapples you and pulls you up like that. And you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot do anything. I'm stuck. Love it. The Pathfinder <laughs> mechanics. Yeah. The grapple, There's so much you can do with it. It's, yeah. it's a joy yeah. if you're not on the receiving end of it, I yeah. suppose. Someone someone had, like, a sick post on Reddit like where they did that to a Bangalore. What is... Hello? Did they find a loot goblin? This person we'll see if they're gonna play down along. naked. No, Are they gonna dab? To do a punch ending. No, 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 Though it's no, no, weird because no, no. there's three squads left. If there was just no, no. two, I might. He was just surrendering there. You yeah, know? yeah, maybe he, he was just. just yeah. He's like, he was going for an honorable. Yeah. He's like, actually, hmm. that could also. Well, dropping the armor could be a little bit of a grief mechanic, though, right? Because the armor only regenerates all the way if you die wearing it, so that someone else can pick it up. So theoretically, if your shields were at zero yeah, and then yeah, you dropped it. Yeah. If yeah, someone else picked it up, that. it would be at zero. I, I could see that. But he yeah. dropped everything. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he threw out his backpack. He threw everything out with his in twice. Oh, I want to believe. <laughs> yeah, they get first place. 27 frags. Not 27 bad. Frags. Yeah. That's a good number. Yeah. <laughs> the tactical dropping of everything. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a look at a full replay from, I believe this would be Liquid's third match. Oh, boy. Looks like they're dropping pretty quickly. Kind of a similar area. And when I first started playing Apex, I would drop here a lot. You're right outside Skulltown. So you're not going to get amazing loot necessarily, but Look at that, you're going to get something. Yeah, Look yeah. at that mobility. Just right. yeah, Can we just that. watch Jish all day? I mean, I know <laughs> I know we have a show. No, don't tell the other guys. Uh, usually when they're squad up streaming, Two. it's usually just for yeah. <laughs> it's really fun, right? again, just to watch that hey, move and what's capable as we see Liquid continuing to God. just burn through the whole lobby nice. here. That alternator. Mm. So let's see how Liquid ends this out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a break after this is done here. So stay tuned to the Face of Apex Pro Series. $50,000 on the line over the course of our eight-week competition. Liquid, the champions of that one. Let's see what kind of number that we see. 25. That's going to be solid. So All right, it's time for a break. Bye. We'll be right back.
Да, я сразу же мы убили уже два три ловища и шесть. Надеюсь, я ошибаюсь. Один килл стиль у нас. Welcome back everyone to the Face It Pro Series Apex Legends $50,000 on the line over the course of eight weeks. This is week number seven, only two weeks to go, including this one. We're looking at the Fire Beavers who came into this week in the number one spot. And they came in through qualifiers initially. So coming out of nowhere and they're leading uh, some of the best orcs that we've ever seen in esports. They're, they're at the top and here they are. So we'll see how they do. Uh, I guess so far today, they seem to be posting pretty good numbers. So seems to be business as usual for the Fire Beavers. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they've been so good. So, so, so very good. I mean, uh, we kind of make jokes, right? We talk about European comms versus NA comms. These guys have been cool as cucumbers throughout the entirety of the Pro Series, and they have had the skills uh, to pair with that. And really just, I don't even know what to say. Like, there hasn't really been anything super crazy or flashy or over the top. They're just extremely good at Apex Legends, and they work together very well. The coordination seems to be perfect 100% of the time. I don't even know what else to add, Alex. Yeah, because no, I, they, they just they just crush it week in and week out, and that's why they have that number one spot. Yeah, they just seem to be uh, seem to be very consistent. And as we see, here are the overall standings. Yeah. So and right, I guess this is through today also. Yeah, it's including oh, today's. Cool. So oh, it's it's live right now. So Fire Beavers. Uh, so T1's got two. Oh look, Hunter games. Thieves just moved up as we were yeah. speaking. So the T1's got the got a game over on them right now, so that's uh, one of the reasons why they're not uh, in that number one spot at the moment, as it is live. 
It's nearer. Yeah, complexity in the conversation. Alliance is up there. TSM, NRG, I think anyone in the top, honestly, 10 almost, can have like an incredible couple weeks and, and by some miracle make it in deep into the money. So look look out for all, for all those teams there. Uh, to pay particular close, to, you know, to, to have particularly good weeks. Like this week and next is the last chance to really make a charge at that leaderboard. But again, we're looking at the Fire Beavers here. Uh, came in through qualifiers. So, so they're more or less just looking to hold on, but they would still be thrilled with with an awesome day here. I mean, Hardacky right here, 13 kills we can see he's got, and they are probably going to win this game. Uh, second place is not the worst thing ever either. So they're in a great spot. Wingman, Peacekeeper too. Classic combo. I mean, he's uh, he's got the Caesar salad of Apex Legends gear setups. It's uh, nice. can't really go wrong with it. Dan, it's always considered with a little bit of cheese. I don't know. There's a cheese joke somewhere there. Yeah. Well, the Caesar well, reference. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, he found a skull piercer. Also, by the way, I think he's got a skull piercer on that wingman, of course. So. Yeah. Not you know, you don't. You know, with the wingman. The care package being up here, by the way, just. The wingman, like, there's two things you kind of need. You need that extended mag, and you wow. and you need that skull piercer. So maybe not as much wingman play because that's those aren't found as often in the early game. He drops the, skull piercer. the drops the peacekeeper for the craver. Yeah, as drop well. the shotgun for the craver because so the craver's like a shotgun, kind of. Yeah, up close, up close, it basically functions similarly. It was like a conversation it, last week. Is even when you're running the reticule on the. Uh, Kraber is still reasonably close enough that if someone is directly in front of you, you will be able to hit them. It's not ricocheting straight into the corner of your screen like uh, like in Call of Duty or something when you try to blind fire a sniper in front of you. They're just they're yeah. just, right. They're just hunting the last guy down. Someone's hiding. Someone's like basically just trolling at the moment. Is where we are in this game. Yeah, so, I don't speak their language, but I'm sure they're saying, you know, where's this guy? Um, check over here. I already checked here. This, he's hiding somewhere. He's ridiculous. He must be up there. Glitching. Is he, is there he is. Graber oh. shot to end Whoa. it. Somehow. Some way. We get it. These guys are like, Fire Beaver's like, y'all waste, y'all wasting my time, man. We should have finished this game two minutes ago. But, um... Yeah, well, we've also seen that. None of, none of these teams have ever really been pressed for time outside of when a restart was necessary, in which case they're given that grace period. But 32. 32. Frags. Nice. And again, uh, from the from the look that we had of the standings earlier, their first two matches were, went really well, too. So yep. adding a 32 onto that. Um, Fire Beavers getting off to uh, a really good start in week seven where they're already in a really good place in our overall standing. I'm Axel Toss back here with Nathanius hanging out at the Face It Studios in Santa Monica watching the Face It uh, Pro Series it's for Apex times. Legends. $50,000, again, on the line for the course of the of the series, uh, including $5,000 each week and then $10,000 extra to the overall winner. So let's take a look at how those overall standings look. And again, this is the second and final week, so there's not much time to make any more movements wow. on this leaderboard. So quite a few teams uh, got four games complete so far. Okay, this is today's standings, yes. And, okay, first of all, Team Liquid coming back with a vengeance. Second of all, Immortals. Doing extremely well. Really impressive. Um, and all very close. Like, our top three all within one point. And we have a, a few a few speckled in there with just three games. So the party might even get bigger up there. Yep. Well, Fire Beavers will be catching up, I think, uh, soon as well. If that game that they just finished was their third. So yes. that points are going to be adding up very quickly. Like um, yeah, as we know. take a look at our replay over here following Misfits. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 12 matches Whew. again, and these guys, they're looking for top three. They're looking for, honestly, they're looking to win every single one. And then it's all about that kill count as well. Just to really buffer those victories as much as you can. Looking through this Misfits replay. Some nice fire uh, firefighting action going on here. I, I can't help but look at the names. Big Chicken Wing was the last guy that he killed before there. <laughs> It's a shame I can that appreciate I appreciate that. I had guesses yesterday. Yeah, it, it's a shame that I'm like, it professionally Ooh. exists in gaming that I'm like, I just want to make all my account names just random stuff like that, <laughs> like <laughs> barbecue sauce man or something. 
13 kills. So three a lot of people man. have the ability to huh. make a lot of different names. Mm. 22 for 20 the dub there. I mean, there. it's a little low. It's on the low end for the wins, yeah. Yeah, I mean, getting every win is really important, but. I mean, it kind of goes back to when we saw Liquid get second. Oh. Uh, uh, the first game. You know, they still did better than Misfits did there, right? Yeah. yeah. Because they had just so many kills. That's so true. it's just stuff to look out for. Let's take a look at another format. A replay here of G2 Esports. Oh, 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 nice oh, Eva no. 8. That's the Eva 8 skin I have, by the way. I love it. It's disgustingly <laughs> obnoxious. Just so in your face. Takes up pretty much the entire screen when you ADS as well. And it's you great. saw they, uh, they dropped one, and then they kept one alive there. So looking, looking to allow those revives to happen. And there we see number one. 17. Ooh, 17. Wow. That's I think that... Rough. You know, that is that, one that, of that the lowest where, first place scores I think I've seen. Yeah, that could be where you're dropping and there's just really no one around and you're having to run off and to find people. Too many but of you the know, other you gotta players. you got to consider that when, when you're dropping. Like, where are there going to be people? So maybe exactly. they made a mistake just going where people weren't. But now we're looking live into live. the team we have in the house. Let's it's see. Team Liquid. And again, we're joined by Nick nice. Cleope. My yeah. friend, you are the manager of the Apex Legends squad that. over at Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. Th again, thanks for being here hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks as, for having me. As we get another live look at uh, at the Liquid team. What, what yeah. do you feel? Have you had a chance to chat with them a little bit? They're, they're, they're in the zone right now. They're, they're just playing. Uh, yeah, they're but in the zone. But how, how are you feeling about their play? It looks they, like the, yeah. the kills are pretty pretty good so far. Eight, eight squads left. I mean, as long as we get the first place and the, the last six kills, you know, yeah. we're they really caught up. This one. They yeah. caught up in the last two games. We were just looking at the leaderboards, uh, and oh, uh, yeah, nice. for for four games completed, they nice. are on. They are right up there with everybody else. So doing very well. They just have to hit that consistency. They need to just yeah pl play it how they've been playing in the last two weeks. Um, which I I don't think there's a problem. They're comfortable with your guys' setups here. Um, and yeah, I think that's a big part of it as well. No matter what type of practice you put in, of course, like the um, the mentality always changes a bit when you go from warming up to okay, we're actually playing it now. It this is where it matters. It it's on the line. Mm -hmm. So the first game wasn't necessarily bad. A first place in that first game would have really been nice, but it does seem that they've recovered and you just want to get into that good mental space where you're you're just like okay, we're just going to do our jobs and we're just going to crush it. We're not going to think too much about anything. Um, so you got Callie over here with the wingman and the peacekeeper. I love Octanes that do this. I don't think enough people take advantage of that. If you've got a bunch of syringes, just popping the stem as you syringe there, just it gives you the it's just a free stem. Does slow you down a little bit, but but not course. as much when you use the stem to heal though. It's right. a fun little thing to mess Ver with. Versus you know trying to heal without the stem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you're you're not doing that's that's not. It's fun like at I all. take the drugs that hurt me and the drugs that heal me at the same time. <laughs> While you're going uphill or something. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. We saw a little interesting moment there where um, it was it was actually Callie who who split off as Octane uh, from the squad rather than G splitting off as the Pathfinder. But that, he, I, you know that's cool. Did he have his ult? Ooh, probably. I don't even know if that you almost is. Almost always have your ult with Octane. Almost. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Because <laughs> like, uh, how fast you, you are. You do pretty much always have your ult as Octane. But I was gonna say also just just the stem alone. No, like, you can still quick, get away. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You can yeah, still get away. I'm, I'm saying it's, it's, it's real cool. Like again, Pathfinder and Octane, they have that ability. To oh my goodness, just go pushing off. into Whoa, the bunker. No, caustic. 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 In there. Uh, how does that make you feel? Man, <laughs> how was this place not completely fenced up with 11 gas traps everywhere? I, I'm disappointed. That guy, he's not one of us, okay? Oh, wow. No, no. Would you say that to his face? Like, if <laughs> he, he just put he, – he, he went to the, the caustic job fair. He applied, but no one really called him back after that bunker play. Let's he might, he might really look up to you, man. You know what? He could be. A, he should. He, could he be can keep. He can keep he can looking up. Yeah, right he, he he can keep looking up because he's not there yet. <laughs> what uh, what are some uh, some advice besides not having you know eleven? All right. Pilot? You want to know my you want to know my signature move? Let's, okay. Let's hear it. Let's All right. Hear it. My my gas trap overdrive. I call it. Okay. So you can okay. climb on top of an open door. Okay. And you can actually put the the flat center of the circle of the trap on top of a door. Yeah. And then you can close it inside so normally when you like peek down that hallway you're like oh well there's a trap there i'm gonna blow up or throw a grenade shoot the bottom of it blow up the door that it's behind for example but if the door is open on the inside you can actually move the trap with the door 
to close it and then open it out the other way like as way. people try to come in and push of, you. To be on either side yeah. of the door. So right? you can put the trap on top of the door and then swing it out and move it <laughs> into their way as they're trying to come and push you. EA, are you guys listening to this? I, th I think there's a, I think there's something you guys not need to fix. <laughs> uh, you, guys, you guys have been great with Apex so far, so let's... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, tragically, there's there's only so many doors that that are just... That fine to me. It's, a, I, I, that's, it's that, just another reason I, to not attack not going bunker, in the bunker. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just stay out of there. I won't Tell ask you questions what, about what goes on in there, but... People get real surprised when you swing the door out with the trap <laughs> on top. <laughs> I, I will almost just not go through bunker. It's almost just not worth it, because even if you go through, what if there's someone just well, waiting on the other end? what if there's a caustic end? like the one that these guys yeah, just killed? Yeah, or, or someone you watching know? the open door. It's just, I always find a way to go around... As we see, right, let's push left and around. <sighs> Liquid, they hear they hear bad guys, and they're trying to find out where they are. They're, there they are. Nice. That's Jish, playing the Pathfinder. Nice. So we just had four, and then eight on Cali uh, over here. It's Rogue got. Oh no! Wow, Cali's Nox. Look out! It's a, there you go. It's like a wingman from the bad guy there. Do you have a? Yep. What does Rogue and have? And Piercer on it too. So I wonder if someone's gonna pick that up. Rogue has at least one. You got to you got to assume right at least a couple of kills, but um, interested to see what they do point wise here because the frags really oh, matter now. See that, that's just that the little top, move right there. Those top four board. teams are all very he close got, to each he got other. So much speed with just a little a little grapple. It's nice because everybody here has some form of a speed boost, and I think as the ranked yeah, play sure. um comes into it more um down the line like competitively, mm -hmm. the ability for Wraith to use her phase shift to go out into the circle when it does a ridiculous amount of damage yeah. and then portal to like get a banner or mm -hmm. get a quick loot or something that's important. Um, or even just like a rotation when you want to rotate through the circle because that damage is something yeah. that really ends up becoming a huge factor. Like there's a portion of where you have to yeah. go out and to go around the Wraith just as an ultimate. Yeah. To it's like Pathfinder's mobility and everything that he can do makes him, I feel like, a must pick in oh. every single team. Oh, ran into a tree. Someone clip it. Send it to G. Zero kills. Donut. Boy. The, the tree move. Donut boy. No. No okay. more. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I channeled the Twitch chat too much. <laughs> We need we need a we need a I don't know something do you, just to see Twitch. Do you think I the know, Leviathan's ever like what's this thing swinging off my leg down there like what is going on? <laughs> there's Pat there's like there's some dudes like grappling onto my foot and just. Maybe he <sighs> it, that was funny. He just ran into a tree as we were saying, but he is such. It's just the movement has been great. Just oh, awesome he's so good. He's so Pathfinder. good. Just being a, like being on a giant tower and just being like yeah I can get on top of this in three seconds yeah. from now like I'm good like. Looks like they're trying to track someone down here. I don't know how tactical they're being. It's gotta be a caustic. Oh, did they, he not see? Yeah, no, he did, but he okay. wants him to okay. respawn his buddies. Uh, I thought I saw two people in there. Oh, okay. No, I guess there could be two. I might just be seeing stuff. Though. I think there's a purple armor in that. There is a beacon here, but yeah, they're gonna run away from there. Have you guys gotten many of the pickups under the feet before? That's that's fun. Mm. I, I always I guess, YOLO it. I have yet to kill myself. I'm waiting for the moment where how, it happens. How but. how often does he lift? Does the Leviathan lift the foot? Is it like every minute? I mean, is every two minutes? I feel like it is happens once. A, I feel like it happens like once a ring. Because I'm just never around when he actually lifts the foot. Like I'm always running by, probably. Yeah, I mean, I I do it if like, he. They always make the noise when they're about to lift the foot. The yeah, yeah. You hear like the rumble. They go. How does it go? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> It's like that uh, that noise from War of the Worlds. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Who nice. was it last week? Someone, somebody almost got stomped last week during our show. They were running straight towards it, and then it came down right in front of them, and they were like, "Oh, <laughs> that uh, we almost had it." It's probably clip. We got to find that. We got to find was, that clip. That was pretty much the only thing I was hoping to have happen in this entire tournament series, because I'm a monster. Um, was for someone to get stepped on, but tragically. Has yet to happen. And it's not, you know, it's not the best place to be tactically. You're kind of in a valley, regardless. So yeah, you know, fair. looking for ways to go around. I wouldn't recommend just chilling out underneath yeah, the Leviathan's like foot in general. And this is kind <laughs> of all open space-ish, so it's. I just try not to find myself in the area, so maybe I just have less opportunity of trying to find what loot. I just, I always end up rotating here from bunker, I guess. So it's kind sure, of normal yeah, to run yeah, into it. Yeah. 
Like might not be like Especially because if I have to rotate east, this is the best place to go because these containment buildings are amazing for holding out as well. Wait, if you're playing a bunker comp, wait, don't kill another one yet. Make sure there's still two that got res. Because you only have so many ways in, and you have the you have a kill room that you can use if you're if you're a Cossack or a Watson. Yeah, it's a pretty cool area. There's a lot of abilities to kind of escape. Yeah. You got some roofs you can jump on. You got those areas underneath. It can be hard to. Really focus on where did uh, gunfire might be coming from. I was say, did he see that trap just come out by him yeah. over there? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of layers here, nice. so I think it can be hard to identify exactly where shots are, where people are moving. Maybe. Right. I need to see the map. I, don't, I wonder how many beacons they have. It looks like there's one, maybe two. Ooh. Oh, dang. Yeah, that was the last guy. So two, so one, one squad left outside of these liquid guys. It's just this caustic hiding in this room, right? Did they kill him yet? Okay, they're going from front. <laughs> oh, he's still oh, there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. Backing up. Oh, he tried. Nathaniel, Why did he put them on the sides? <laughs> put it in the middle. Put is, it in the middle. Is he a real cost? Like what? The was... trap is indestructible mm. while it's forming. You can only shoot out the base of it after it's fully extended. And if you shoot your own trap, you can trigger it before your opponent can disable it. You need to give that <laughs> guy a caustic rating. Like, is he one 25. of you? Is he, <sighs> he doesn't even have the Prince of Darkness skin. Like, is he really a caustic? All right. If you if you only have access to the Season 1 skins, then the only acceptable caustic skin is the green one. The epic green one because it makes you look more toxic. It's either that or Prince of Darkness, okay? Save up, save up your allowance. Mow your neighbor's lawns. All right. Every time I kill another Cossack, especially if I get to use the finisher when they have the any other skin and I have Prince of Darkness, I'm like, this is I'm just better than you. <laughs> I'm you, but better. Two of them are knocked. You take a look over at Immortals. Yeah, they, they popping had, off, by the way. They had to bring someone back earlier, and that's the second respawn beacon they've used. So if I can criticize them being, I guess, a little inefficient with not allowing <laughs> other teams to use beacons, because they're using all of them. Uh, but the good news is they're all still up as we look through this replay. It looks like a self self res being used here. By Do you ever just shout to yourself while you're using this? It feels it feels so empowering. <laughs> yeah, actually. I get amped up you when have I'm to when do I'm self res. Uh, no. Just a little war cry for you or whoever you're yeah. on comms with to let them know that you're about to come back. By the way, I think I, I think we talked about this last week, but uh, I have actually been able to confirm. I got to use two self reses this week. I was totally wrong. So oh. it does turn into a purple, but on its own, in gold form, it's still only 750 shields. So it'll turn into a purple after you self res yourself, but um, yeah. there's no other reason to hold it in the gold form because it doesn't actually have more shields. I, I thought it did, but it did not. So yeah, kind self of the, res away, same, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of the gentlemen. same with gold, gold armor versus purple armor. Yeah, exact yeah. Exact yeah. same HP distribution. You just get a little bonus for getting your shield back if you finish, finish off someone with the with that golden armor. Micah wants Which to get I the have last yet to kill do. Here. I just don't do with finishers. It's just like almost. I know you're you're <laughs> saying the animation, <laughs> but like well, competitively, like how often is any pro going to be using a finisher? There, there almost isn't a never. reason to. Yeah, there, there isn't a reason to. So honestly. Unless they're BMing. All right, so I have the mentality of a pro, right? Yeah, 100%. Kind of. Yeah, that's 100%. What's up. That's what's up. What if the <laughs> executioner armor also gave you like extra shields while executing someone? Sure. What if you had 500 health while you were executing someone? You know what I mean? Uh, what if What if you were just like I, really I mean, I hard to kill, use it. or you couldn't be interrupted? About, you, know, you couldn't be interrupted the, while you were executing. The meta implications and the, you know. and the fairness that I think about. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, if it was something like that, I'd probably use it. Yeah. As we see, immortals drop in 24. Yeah. Not bad. Or a shield appears around you and the guy you're executing, so all they can do is watch if you have that armor on. Like a I, I mean, I, I yeah, think I might like, I might be okay with how it is. I just don't find myself using it that much. Like at least getting your armor back. It's just that's a very specific situation no, to kind of no. find yourself in. Well, that's that's why I just I just use the the finisher even without the armor whenever possible. <laughs> so. These guys, they're probably just going to be too quick, just trying to get across the map. Ain't no time to. To worry about doing that. So we see some wow. nice that was, Eva eight shots here. That's intense, intense little fight here. Complexity Craig, got into preload health though. Nice. Yeah, complexity. You know what? They're, they're in our top. You know, they're up there in the standings. I want to say. So what they got here. Pretty important day for them. Wow. 18. First place with an, an 18. That's that's the second low one that we've had. Um. Yeah, it's not not. That's in, that's really interesting. We had a 17 earlier, right? What wasn't it? Or, yeah. Yeah. So some lower. I wonder about that. I wonder what the standings are. Do, right do you now. think 
some of these guys are just getting in the same game, so less kills overall. I don't something think like so. That. I, I, someone was telling me, I don't, I don't know 100%, but I think they've been trying to stagger when they queue up to avoid that. Right. Um, just yeah, because just, just, for just, some just of the teams, the teams it's... Low. Maybe just play a little safer, just to make sure they win. I don't know. No, yeah. that can't be it. They're definitely yeah. looking for people. As just... far as I'm aware, they've been staggering the queues to prevent it because... Um, yeah. Just, just some of the teams won't run into other teams, like just based Fire Beavers, service, for example, or Alliance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those guys are not. That's true. You know, they they had it was uh, just yeah. one of those things that they didn't have to worry about. So maybe like people are forgetting more about the ring and that the the zone is killing more people in the games yeah. or something. It is just, uh, just the nature of of pub stomp as well as there's just a bit of randomness to it. Like, right? like just... sometimes the plane path is on this side of the map and the circle ends up going way to the other side of the map and then <laughs> half the lobby's dead in the first minute. Sometimes like maybe minutes. maybe they queued up and we're going to see uh, how, how C9 yeah, did there as C they finish this quick, round. Quick Cloud9 replay. Yeah. 13? <laughs> well, I don't All right, think... I'm about to go suit up. Uh, ja ja <laughs> Jasmine, we need, we need a... Who's our top three in the office right now? Because... Uh, that would be ours, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, okay. <Good. laughs> All right. That's well played. <laughs> uh, well played. Ooh, do we have a fire? <laughs> do we have a <laughs> do we do, do we have a fire extinguisher here? Ooh. Oh goodness. I was gonna say I'm like you can have, I guess another way you could get a low kill game is you could tragically get put in a lobby with like five Nathaniuses and like five teams just drop straight into bunker at the start of the game and they all kill each other and then you can't get any kills because half the lobby just went to that spot. This, uh, this looks like a good start from Complexity. They dropped Skull Town and it looks like there's plenty of fights that they're winning and that's gonna net them, who knows, maybe eight, nine kills off the bat. I mean, there's a few strategies there, right? In the very beginning, like, ha like if you see everyone dropping, like looking at the number of people in the plane, yep. and you see that number just really drop in the first second, like or whatever, then you know a lot of people are dropping. So like, there's ways to anticipate and know where people are falling. Like maybe you wait until you drop in the middle of the path, and then you drop, and then you see, and then you look, and you see the streaks. Okay, where are the most people dropping? Then you go towards there. So there's like there's there's kind of ways to navigate the first 10, 15 seconds or so oh, yeah. to not only drop where you gonna, you're going to see people quickly, but then you know exactly which direction to run in to optimize the concentration of people you're running into. Oh, yeah. It's also another another part that goes into the analytics. More often than not, like, I'm pretty sure somewhere... Ooh, that's not... That's that was a devotion? Yeah. Maybe Ouch. a turbocharger on that devotion? And, a, and maybe a couple missed shots. More than a couple. Mm. He's a noob. I think he should have won that fight. There was another Pathfinder on the Devotion always feels the, so yeah. weird. I don't use it because I love the Havoc. Probably my favorite gun right now in Apex. Um, They're resing. But, man, when, when someone gets blasting that in your face, it is, a, it is a hail of bullets that is difficult to avoid. That looks turbocharged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, there's, no, there's no spin up on that. That's just going straight. And. It didn't take that long to drop him there, so he was he was definitely hurting with with on the med side of things. Looks like his teammates trying to avenge, but little do they know it's this is complexity. They've got yeah, they've got stats. You're not just gonna help your teammate out from that one, probably. Yes, up there somewhere. You just saw him on the bones right there. All right, well one of them taken down. I'm trying to get that high ground team. Ooh, and okay, that's gonna be them energy guns though. Laser beams flying around for days here this round. You know, we're seeing them a lot, I think, in the meta also. Sure, people playing at home, you're, you're either picking up those energy weapons or at least one person on one team has one. Yeah, we should. I think the, uh, okay, yeah, there's a beacon nearby that they can use. Since the circle is going to be closing over this one, I guess they don't feel as bad about using it. Here. Yeah, I think they were just pointing out how there might be someone over there, and there is. Who may or may not have just tried to res. No, it looks like he's just running away. I, I think, you know, there's a moment of hesitation because, okay, if he's resing someone, maybe we let them yeah, do that. Yeah, the green light is still there, right? And right, he's running away from it, so... Or maybe these guys were Ooh. about to do it. Yeah, so I don't like, know. But now they're not... Whoa, oh, no, dangerous! A Could be Costing a one-way trip. Watson Fenta. See, that's... That's exactly <laughs> what would happen if you were playing against me. Oh, there's the res. <laughs> I've been trying to do that, that okay. meme thing where you send out a, a wraith as bait. And yeah. you send... So you start the portal in the kill room. 
she runs out the kill and you and you, she doesn't place the portal she gets knocked deliberately and then the portal pops and then you run back through it because then it's like oh we got her you know <laughs> she wasn't ready for this and then they all go through the portal and there's three traps but the thing is in that room, if you put the trap on top of the portal itself, they'll actually spawn a few feet away from it. And if you can use two traps to actually block the return path completely, so you cannot go back through the portal to the other side. Just, uh, just, just caustic things. <laughs> All right, I'm. I don't know that we needed I'm, that deep dive here, but no, I'm just getting no, no, excited no, no. now. Please, and that, that was good. I uh, high levels, I high level stuff there, man. Like, high level stuff. That is that is a the deep dive strategy that I didn't know Caustic had. <laughs> that's that's I mean that's probably something I expect from Watson or like, you know. Oh, oh Watson can be involved with that. Yeah. 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 But that's crazy. It's just the physicality of the trap because you can't you can't spawn on it, so you have to spawn away from it, and you can use that to manipulate people as well. They have a fair amount of ground to cover to stop hurting from the zone here. Yeah. Alex, what do you play? He uh, used to be a bloodhound main, but he retired. Oh, yeah, I, I, I discussed dramatically. <laughs> I've I have a fair amount of kills and time on bloodhound, but not enough happened for him in two season two, so I've been playing octane. Mm. Uh, pretty exclusively. So like with, Oct awesome. with Octane, there's you know movement strategies. Yeah, yeah for sure. But uh, nothing, nothing that has to do with the deployables. I personally, my game style and like almost every single game, I love being the puppet master. Like necromancers, I, need, I love summoners. Mm. If Apex, hey EA, if you're um, listening, if you uh, want to. And make a puppet master legend. I will give you. I cannot them. imagine anything more rage-inducing for a game like this than a guy who could like mind control or confuse your character. <laughs> imagine there's a guy that has this like a, like his uh, tag. His Q is a tag that like inverts your control for four seconds. Oh, that's rage-inducing. <laughs> Actually, EA don't. Oh, I might have to switch. <laughs> you have some like fireball spell or something. And uh, yeah, just get, just just bring someone in the game that has magic missiles. Yeah. Screw it. Yeah, you know, I, I probably fits in the lore somewhere. Any Titanfall experts? <laughs> any you know, I, I'm sure. As we uh, we're, see, we're seeing the waning moments here of of complexity in a match where there's uh, three squads left. There's some shenanigans you can do with Octane's pad, though. Yeah, my I, favorite. Honestly, like I am a little underwhelmed by his ultimate, but it's fine. You I, know, it is what it is. I love. J but I play uh, Bloodhound, right? Which is like the right. best ultimate in the game. Like, so I have a lot of expectation for an ultimate. No, but with, see, the thing with Octane's ult is, especially if you're in anywhere where there's any type of choke point, though. Like just throwing it down in front of you. It's great. Yeah. Sometimes people just won't even realize it's there and they'll step on it. Or if you run into a building, you need to heal. Like just drop it under you as you go. And it just really messes with people because if they try to chase you in, they're going to bounce off the ceiling and then it gives you a free second to maybe get the shot in. Yeah, I'm looking for more creative and fun ways to, to do what you're suggesting. Do you guys go to the uh, Apex Legends Reddit by chance? Oh, all the time. All the time? <laughs> I, I live there. I, I feel Definitely. like every other, or not every other post, but like every other like funny post is something having to do with Octane. Ooh, nice yeah, shots. There's a lot of there's a lot of good ones. A lot of good caustic ones too. There was a great comic today about the guy who was like, guys, I don't think we should rotate through... Uh, <laughs> Through bunker, you know, I can sense some traps, <laughs> and then it just cuts to like the Watson and the Caustic and the Pathfinder just chilling in bunker. <laughs> just playing cards. I'm like, cards, I'm like this is ex yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they think the Caustic's just like laying there and gas like a bottle in his hand, like the the Watson's like dancing or something. But that is like half the games is is just us just like running in circles and the Pathfinder building like a subway system of <laughs> grapples inside. Uh. Uh. We just saw, by the way, uh, pretty much by the textbook way of, of getting those kills, we just saw respawn and yeah. dropped two of the guys right as they landed and then went and tracked down the last one. And now it's uh, the final squad here for complexity. Let's see. I don't think there's a beacon left on the map. Yeah, and that's going to do it. Easy peasy. All right. Please, better than 13. Hey, it's Is that what we saw? Like, did we we saw 13 earlier. 13. Okay. Yep. We're, we're gonna have to suit up, and we, we can beat that. <laughs> Depends how many people land bunker with I'm us. Guess, I'm gonna guess like 20s. <laughs> mid 20s. Ooh. 33. I, I, I. There you go. Yeah. Definitely need that. I need, and, and we I need saw. My and there is a team missing from this lobby too. Yeah. One of 19. So. And we saw, you know, the end there. How that was kind of, you know, they were really looking out for those respawns, and they, they were doing that really well.
yeah. allowing those respawns to happen, getting those two extra kills. So very 33 done. frags is very nice. All right, we're going to scroll into another one of our teams participating. It's Dignitas looking Dignitas. at. I think, yeah, this is a live look, it looks like, as they're getting yeah. on through this game. Nine squads remaining. Oh, only only a one up there on, on the screen that we're looking at, but that could change. Also, we're looking at uh, the leaderboard that just popped up there on the left. Today's leaderboard, T1 at the top, although oh, six nice. games played. So nice. look out for that, TSM. And Immortal six games played, but look at Liquid with only five games played, still cracking the top two. I'm not. Too that's good a really that, good. Yeah, that's a really good spot to be in. I mean, the only, the, only the closest, down. yeah, the closest team at five would have been Complexity, unless that's not including the game that they just played. So doing very well because uh, they've got a good bit. Of, they had a good bit of separation. Yeah, Complexity scored just updated there. So the, as far as other teams with five go, their separation is actually quite good mm -hmm. uh, compared to NRG. 13 point difference at the same point of games is a really nice spot so yeah and and look you know fire beavers it says only four there for games played at number nine so there might be a little movement there but uh, overall i'm sure team liquid gonna be happy with where they're at yeah, yeah. um it looks like the people that we're generally but fire beavers i don't think unless they oh, actually i'm not even gonna i say guess it, it depends on what their fifth round they, results they could be were up as with they you guys in. so if, if you guys are looking yeah. out for fire Be uh, beavers I, t1 i expect that fire beavers would have probably dropped at least a 20 kill first place for their mm -hmm. fifth game so mm -hmm. i think that they'd probably be right up there with team liquid right now yeah, yeah they're having a real good they, sh day. they should be at least we don't you know we'll see as yeah. the as the information comes <laughs> in and we still got you know almost more than half the day yep. to come so anything could change Plenty of gameplay left. I do feel like we've seen a lot of action centered around these areas, though, like that east of Bunker, the Cascade containment uh, type space. A lot of what we've seen so far today has been in those spots, and obviously Skull Town shenanigans and whatnot. The central positions feel a lot better, I think, in Season 2. Yep. Um, the Destroyed Bridges feels a lot better. Um, yeah, and, and containment's honestly, just really fun late game too. This area too that they're kind of going through and well, this area is terrifying. I hate this place, man. What are you talking about? It's too open. <laughs> well, I'm dummy they, thick. But the thing is, they, it used to be more open. They've they yeah, added. <laughs> they, added <laughs> they, they actually added, you know, that's some of these nests boilers. or whatever they are, and there's like more depressions in the ground, yep. which I enjoy. Um, so it's a little bit better than it was, and they actually they did add another building over here, and this is that. Yeah, we're about to see this this big tower area. That's that's very new. As you see, an octane mm. ultimate employed there. Uh, Pathfinders can get up there pretty quick, but uh, this is also kind of a new, completely new area here. The tower that the used tower. to be the cage used to be pretty much nothing here, just a hill. There's our and for now it looks like there's no enemy team, so they're gonna keep on running through. <laughs> Actually, there is a team. It's a Watson see, with an ultimate. See the jump pads there? Can, that that can be a really they, awkward one. If yeah. you hit off that too, well, if you away. you want to put it somewhere with a low ceiling as well, if it's a tra oh, and there you go. Is so that you kind of force a player to go through wow. there? Wow, good job. Otherwise, I mean, you know, nothing that's much a, is gonna happen here. I believe but. that's a ping for the Watson as well to the location of. But the what's really going cool is like that Watson like plan that all out to where there's only one retreat path. They're probably going to run, and we can chase them. Unfortunately, this is a pro player. If it was even <laughs> the same Watson as the one he was just fighting. I'm sure it was. She planned all that, too. She, 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 pl she planned it all. The truth is out there. <laughs> but um, but they did not chase. So our Dignitas professional here is going to escape unscathed from that oh. team huddling up in that building, but now concerned about uh, protecting Ooh. his teammate. And Shareem in the distance. Nice shots from the longbow. No skull piercer on this, but don't let that dissuade you from trying this this weapon out. It's not fair. Hit some great shots. I can't, I can't do this, man. This now is we need, that, we need that foot to move up. <laughs> that would be very exciting right now. Okay. Nice. And there's an, it looks like another battle happening behind them. So quite Ooh. a few squads in the area. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. What? Baby. That's. Uh, I'm so bad at this that's game. That's a triple. <laughs> I'm so bad. Watching this is amazing. <laughs> okay. I don't know if anyone that. I had, like, two games where I had a... a Longbow with a 6x, and I'm like, I'm going to land some great shots. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and you were wrong. I was very wrong. <laughs> and then these, these guys just crushing it. Yeah, there's like a, a distance that's very happy, but if you get a little too far, it becomes really tough. So I think we the distance control there, where how far away he was hitting those longbow shots, that's like about the distance you want to be, where it's not far enough where you have to worry about too much bullet drop from being a long way away, but you're close enough to really hit those shots. So very well played, and that's, I, I mean, I think I saw a 10 up there on, on one of these guys, so uh, we're above 13. It should be a pretty good number, actually, I would say. 
with one squad left. Who's the one that's uh, down? That's uh, MIG. MIG? Yeah. I wonder how many... Uh, oh, it's got five? It's weird, right? Because he's spectating, right? I feel like this is... I think the spectating shows who you're spectating stats. It does. Yeah. yeah. I have I have debated myself yeah, a few times with that. <laughs> it's like, wait, I have this many kills? No, that's my teammate. Nope. Nope. Yeah, then the game ends and you're like, wait, oh. You have a longbow, right? No. See a lot more people... Uh, I feel like in the in the meta or in ranked at least a lot more people hanging out even if they're taken, you know, taken out because don't want any penalties for leaving. The yep. Left line's a sketchy one. Yeah, right here, left, left, left. I think well, the, the rank penalty is if you leave before your uh, respawn right. begin times. I out. still have people just chilling even even if it is the respawn's timed out. Because because you you're, still, you're get still emotionally you still invested. Get, well, you still get points for top five if your teammate yeah. goes and yeah, wins. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, versus still, if you leave, I don't think you get those points, right? So I think it's still worth it. It's kind of kind of fun. You're like if you, if if your teammates get knocked down, and you can't go save them. You can kind of be a hero. You're still you're still emotionally invested in the yeah. game because you want to see how your teammates do because they, they can get you points. Yep. Oh, nice firefight here. This is yeah. the automatic prowler. Okay. Prowler nice. with the hop up well. is really fun. Oh yeah, just gotta have the ammo. Uh oh. I can't believe we saw somebody crushing it with a. With the non one, right? With the yeah. first one earlier, yeah. that was just disgusting. He w he was forced in that situation. That was um, Cali earlier. He was yeah. kind of forced in that situation with the with the prowler and ended up getting those method? three kills in the clutch. But yeah, that was that was uh, my heart was definitely pounding right there. Like that's not something you necessarily practice. But Nineteen kills. Nineteen, bro. <laughs> you know, it's not too great, but they're gonna try. Feels to like the average is a little yeah. little lower today. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, yeah, how much stronger does that make the high 20s uh, or the low 30s? Well, that's why we're. That's why oh. even with uh, I've seen a replay here of Team Liquid who are in the house right now. Yes, the best team in the office. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for reminding me of that. Hey, I mean, you know, you're not I could, wrong. I could be him right now. So actually, we just saw the burst hemlock there. I, I almost prefer the single shot hemlock. I don't think I've, I I only use the but hemlock in burst out. if I'm in bunker and I'm just like I need to kill this guy as fast as possible and I'm like freaking out even though tapping I, I, really fast. I guess fast I should is, I should use the burst more, but I just, yes. I just do that. In close that, quarters, that single shot hemlock is you know in close quarters yeah, it gets yeah. the job done, yeah, right? That's true. It's like if you had like the M16 if you're a little bit PUBG, further, you right? Wanna... You, you'd only use the burst if you were at point right. blank range. That, ooh, there's a peacekeeper speaking of point blank range. She's getting out of there, no problem. That swing around. See, I would have tried to climb it, and I would have just gotten shot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a res trying to happen. And Wait, is this the same game? Whoa. What? How many kills is this game? 28. 28. Nice. All right. It's so above the curve. 38-point match. Team Liquid. From a yikes to a let's go, how would you qualify that? Um, or somewhere between. I would give it a yeah, I boy. I would, I would, I'd, go, I'd go with a uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty solid. There's so many people. Pretty solid. All right, all right. Well played uh, there from Liquid. <laughs> Dropping that 28. Again, every every point. So important for Liquid right now because oh, they're, yeah. so, they're, they're so close to, to being in contention here. That 10 trying grand. To catch fire beavers. 10 grand, yeah. yeah, trying to catch fire beavers in right, T1. Oh and again, Liquid starting at number six. Uh, you know, they were number six or number seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, a few weeks ago, so being able to be in that top three at this point, it's got to be. It's it's, it a, it's a sign of improvement at the very least. It is, but it's number one that counts. And you're within reach, right? Yeah. That that's probably the main. Yeah, that's the main goal for you guys. Yeah, these players are absolutely insane. You know, both men mentally and like game wise. Team respawn. Right. Winning, yeah. winning winning this week and winning next week is. Team right here that just got respawn. The percentage wise, it's, it's the it's, career it's focus. It's it's yeah. their career right now. Oh, yeah. That's that's their career focus. That's their job. Cracked half. I like it. And you can see today's leaderboard, like what at the top, very close to complexity. Now I want to say complexity is really close to you guys in the uh, overall standings too. So that's. I don't remember where they were, but uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were top ten, yeah. top seven ish. TSM through seven though Ooh. are less than complexity and liquid, yeah, so. A little tough for TSM Immortals. They started out really nice. I think like their first game was actually insane. I think they dropped like a. They had 43 points after the first game, but. There's there's still 10 10 points is still you know. Plenty, oh yeah, it's plenty. all close up there. Yeah. People are looting over here. It's crazy. 
Fnatic, so though. Another Ooh. team over here. Really I mean, they're, the they're still in game five. But okay. Yeah, we'll see it all kind of balance itself off as uh, right, we're these teams, as the scores get submitted and we keep aggregating the data as all these teams are playing at the exact same time here. And this is 100 Thieves looking at Lifted, playing Pathfinder. His teammates are taking some shots. JP and Teenage. Ooh. No. That's a triple take. I wonder if there's a precision choke on that. Probably. <laughs> Taken down. It's kind of surprising that he turned and then got hit by it. Usually, once right, once I'm you turn around and you're out of there, you're out of there. But going to the back of the head. Yeah. I'm going all in if we fight him again. All right, let's see what happens here. This teenage going to turn around and try to. Oh, there's that triple take. Pathfinder's a hard one to run away with because he is he's a tall boy as well. Yeah. I, uh, His hitbox maybe Swiss that. cheese, oh, but he is he is uh, he's he's still quite large. Yep. They're pretty lit in there. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that's why you know you got to scrap out of there probably. Yep. Seven squads left, so I gotta be a little ca one. careful here. There's still third party potential, and there is at least one person yep. shooting from the Skull Town area. As uh, 100 Thieves, they're trying to go back and get I'll their buddy here um, lifted. On the bone, potentially, with my jump pad. Trying to find, track his banner down. Can uh, he make the jump? It. No. Rip. Try again. Don't wanna overshoot it, too. Touch yourself off. Well, I, you know, you again. can stim there. Yeah, there we go. Because, you know, if you can stim, you go a little bit faster. Got to make sure you're holding that space bar down while you're hitting the jump pad, okay? In case you want to know, that's this that's the secret, ladies and gentlemen. Get them get that mad air. Always at the very top, careful. Very very top. Let's just rotate. I have the tag. Yeah. I'm dipping. That's like, the real sign of an octane oh main though is that when you're getting shot at and you don't have shields and you're like, "Yep, I can ready to stim. I can stim again." Careful, shield just finished. The zone is coming in. That's a portal, a defensive portal there. And he died into the circle. Trying to stay alive. Hope these guys trying to stay alive. Oh, no. This could be a disaster. Oh, oh, oh no, it's Octane. He's, fine. He's a speedy boy. Calculated. But uh, his teammates, not so speedy. I don't know if they can be rescued at all. And, and actually, I think I heard in the comms, no one has meds. Okay, now there's at least one syringe. So he's going to try to stay away from a team that he spotted and also consider going to get that banner. I I don't think you can. No, I don't. I don't think he's. Is there a balloon anywhere? Near? Okay, balloon? it's the second circle damage. If he if he found a yeah, med kit like, and some other, yeah. if he found a good amount of meds, then he it's could he could yolo away. it. It's but not far. It's not. It's not too far. I'm curious to see what his meds are because uh, he's pulling. Yeah, he's pulling out like, these stims. Yeah, I think it's more important. It looks like he does have back. meds. Yeah, they're discussing it right now. Let's see what he ends up. Oh, I hear yeah, an enemy. I hear bad. He just has guys. to be I hear really bad guys. He'd have to be. So he'd he... have to be really fast. Is that to balloon? Oh, that's not in. That's that's outside that's of that safety, isn't it? Yep. Fire oh, beavers actually, in is T1 that balloon tied in? up. That balloon could work if it's in the in the circle. That guy actually chased me instead of popping one. I don't think it is. It must just barely be in the. T7 complexity yeah. the closest. He literally killed me in the. And even then, it's no. like so T1 overtakes Fire Beavers, but they have two games. Um, they're, they've finished two more games, so. Fire Beavers looks to still be pretty comfortably in that first place spot, maintaining that 60-ish point difference with Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. Who have finished one more game than Fire Beavers thus far. Yeah, I mean, fire if fire beavers if they just keep winning, you know, yeah. that's that's gonna be real hard to catch. Oh my god, they're behind me still. So. It's crazy. I mean, that consistency is the reason why fire beavers is at number one right now, because mm -hmm. everybody else is like, well, we need them to screw up. Yep. You need them to make a mistake because if they continue to just get like 30 bombs and keep winning, yep. that's it. It's over. There's yep. nothing anyone can do. They don't need to. They don't need to do anything insane game, yeah. like get a 45 kill game out of nowhere. They don't need to do anything like that. They just need to maintain literally what they've been doing for six weeks already. Yeah. And they seem to be continuing to be in good form here. Yeah. Today. So he did have Lifted's beacon, so he can bring him back. Yeah. I'll, I'll say the, the you know, professional uh, <laughs> right, critiquer in me would be like, figure out a way to get that banner. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been hard. I, right 
<laughs> if I had two med kits, I would think about it. But yeah. I think the other problem is you're also concerned about the other team that's there. Because at that point, it's not even about can you win a 1v3, but can you win a 1v3 after you run into yeah, the circle to I grab the yes. banner? Yeah, and then you have, what, 100 shields oh, and maybe 30 health? Speaking of which, by the way, that's a triple take guy, the Wraith. Yeah. Oh, we've got a Caustic in that building as well. He's. Uh, I would say, yeah. I mean, He the, has hotbox the entire structure there. There's More a lot of gas coming out. To fight. Oh. And then these are pros. They're not going to miss shots. They're going to get him. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, okay. no. We need to sign these guys up for the, the face it um, <laughs> pro series here because they're they're taking out 100 Caustic Thieves. This you. Wraith with the triple the take. The Caustic and the Wraith. The mm -hmm. Wraith with the triple take. Can you just run away? Careful, run JP. Away. Caustic just ran right past him. He's going for it. He's, he's hunting him down. Uh -oh. He's Octane also got a buddy. A yeah. Is Caustic going to finish him? Four squads dun, dun, left. Dun, dun. Okay, so he's trying to Phoenix kit. Caustic's chasing him. But Caustic chasing an Octane. Yeah, I, Caustic's going to come back to res his teammate. Uh, and he can keep crawling back to me. No, he's going to go me. The evil oh! part of me wanted to see Caustic go for a finisher here, but. He's on the box. <laughs> he's just chilling. That Caustic doesn't have a season two win yet with Caustic. Interesting. Yeah, he oh, might yes. hear. This could be this could be it for him, yeah. Oh, rough. Three squads, that team. JP's got to make it all happen on his own. It's gonna be very difficult. There you go, Phoenix kid. There you go. All right. Well, he's he's got about as much as he can ask for now, considering that he has to win a one v three. Yeah. And there's also another squad, by the way. Yep. That's it. Could just be some solo. There is a, another squad. I think there in is the still a beacon, by the way. Just saying. You could just third party up. I think there's a beacon a little north. This is still completely winnable. Oh, yeah. Is there? Thought, yep, yeah, there it is. Yeah, the far north, you see, there is a beacon. Yeah, but that's by where the caustic is, though. Yeah. So. No, there the, Well, yeah, but he's got to get yeah. the. He hasn't get the banner yet. The caustic's by the banner. Uh, yeah. So he's maybe hoping that the enemy goes for a yeah. recovery. Still yeah. really risky. Right. Still very hard to make work with the one v three. Potentially two one v threes. We don't know how many people are left. Yep. So in these situations. You know, you have pro player. Yeah, maybe go for the one v threes. It's it's they're good enough. But the, the safe play is let them fight. You know, let these last two teams fight each other. Let, let them fight. Especially for the last one up on your team. Um. You 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 want a third party the last fight. So you want to stay as sneaky as possible. Let them fight and then pick your timing right. Because you don't yep. want to go in there too quickly. It's very open final area. Like there's those two small structures, but there's quite a bit of space to work with. Um, I think if he's got a jump pad, like there's maybe some Dude. kind of movement that can be done. I, but I've been in the, you know, as Octane sometimes. Ooh, looks like he does find another team. Like sometimes you end up engaging a team, but you still want them to fight each other. So you will run and lead them to each other, almost. As yeah, weird well, as that might sound. Uh, 130. Flight. And so with three right squads now. left, you would think the the third oh. squad would be hearing that this is going on. So triple take, right? So that's the, that's the Wraith Caustic That's the voice. team we're looking out for. We're about yeah. to give them a name. <laughs> with the triple take wraith and a caustic. Yeah, well, there's no way you can push into that solo. You know the caustic's gonna have traps at every door, and it gets worse the more time goes by because he's gonna get up to the six traps. Is that still closing in on that same building? Yep. Oh my god. Off, off. <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. Oh, the third party time. Yep. There you go. That's the fight they're looking for. Yeah, he's waiting for a knock in the, in the top top right. Once he the, sees a knock, he's going to go that's in. That's terrifying, though, because I still don't see any gas coming out, which would be the indicator that they've kind of pushed in a little bit. But right now, it's still really hard to go on his own. I do like the arc star. Yeah, okay, so now you see some of the gas coming out. That's really important. The priority here is probably the win. It would be nice to get a few of these kills, but he just, JP just wants to win this. Ooh, okay, other team's on that route. Now, I think the point difference is what? From third place is two points or three points? It's five, three, one. Second place, second place is five points. So there is something to be gained for letting one of these two teams kill each other. And then obviously the first place is a hard ask, but... You can do it. I don't think it's that. I mean, I think what it's just he smart. cannot push into that fighting. building. Yeah, as yeah. long like, as they're fighting. Like, as long as those guys are fighting, he has an opportunity. Yeah. But like he cannot, you cannot push into a building like for that sure. with... Not so with he doesn't want to do 1v3 right now. Yeah. Because then you have the third party happening on you, and that's... Yeah. Well, thankfully, this this final circle is actually going to be on the destroyed building, so the enemy team has oh. to come out. Some great shots. Cold res. Fuck. That... Mm. I don't know if that is 
Oh no, two squads left. Okay, so which one is this? Is that the Cossack? Ah, oh, okay. Guess the Octane. But this is it. Oh, this is the final team. Time to get out. It's possible to win this. It's the it's the it's the infamous team that has taken this Ooh. hundred thieves team out. The the team with the triple take rate and the caustic. I don't know the third. Careful how far you're rolling back there, bud. Unless that octane. I don't know. Oh, I think that circle might get him. No, he's got to go up a little you bit. You got to move forward a little bit there, buddy. Ooh. Okay, mock S real hard right there. But he's still fighting 3v1. Yeah. It's well, at still... this point, the, co the circle's going to get so small, Caustic can just gas the ground, and that's <laughs> there's not going to be anywhere to run. What's the he, pr he probably has his ultimate ready to go also. It'll uh, From the traps, it ticks for like seven. From the bomb, it ticks four or five. Question. Oh. Took shield down. It might just be two. Yeah, that alternate makes the shields one? worthless. Wow, okay. he clutches. One so yeah. there was a That's trade. A yep. So the enemy team did trade with the remaining squad, and he was able to make it happen know. off that third party. Really well Smart. done. Um, God, what a terrifying situation to find yourself in. Yeah. Because if he had to fight that full team of three with that caustic and that wraith, like that was going to be, that was going to be really, really hard to make happen. But That's uh, a rough kill score, dude. Though. Yeah, not the kills they wanted, but. Made the most of what was yeah I mean, like a crappy all, it, situation. Yeah, it's all tactics at that point. You might have if you guys playing Apex Legends at home, as we see a, a replay of NRG and Dizzy is in action this week. We see hey, Dizzy, look at that! Moore, we got an ace, two down though on the team in this replay. Production knows what happens. I don't know what happens right now. <laughs> We're about to find out. Hey, I'm. I have a feeling I'm that they survive. P20. I'm happy to see a P20. We, we haven't seen it since the patch dropped. We yeah. didn't see any P20 usage last week on stream. Looks like he was able to Ooh. get dizzy up more. God, it feels so good to out. knock people. So it's two versus the world here. Specifically, six other squads at this point in this replay. It now feels so squads. good to knock people with the uh, with the arc stars. Let's see what happens here. Four squads left for NRG. Only two up. Looking at Ace. Good job, Ace. There you go. Oh, oh double Craver action. Wait, wait, wait. Aye, aye, aye. Wait. Did he get that knock, though? Oh, yeah, you want to let him get him up. And oh, then... you guys, they messed up. Oh, my uh, God. Oof. There you go. Wait. He's almost out of shots. So it's too costly. So they want, uh, there's a beacon up in, in that area to the top right. Actually, you know what? It's It looks like it's been used, looking at the minimap, but oh, I'm looking in the wrong direction. No, there is no beacon over there, so. Oh, this was still a replay. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, we're, we're back to live here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Three squads left. There's no beacon to run to for these guys, so it looks like they're going to just take them out. Ace is going to take these guys out here. Kind of just like listening to that P20. I can't believe that Mirage ducked the creeper shot. <laughs> And see, here's another thing is, right, like, even in this situation, like, those traps are going to kind of slow down a little bit in terms of you have to make sure that you don't run into them, but also it does take some time to shoot at the bottoms of them, gets a good amount of damage on that caustic, but he doesn't take quite as much from those hits. He's going to run over here by the foot. A little bit interesting, uh, Ace and Dizzy are just so split up. He's but, out of Kramer uh, shots, I think. He's just going to try and go and kill this guy with a pistol. Dizzy's I love it. taking shots. 18 round mag on that P20. Dizzy's taking shots. Dizzy's down to one HP. Again, somehow they stay alive. Okay, finally. Like, it's like, gosh. <laughs> I'm almost upset at how much survivability all these players have. It is insane. But Dizzy getting dropped, so now it's up to Ace here. Ace has a 301, it's fine. Yeah, now he's now he's got a good kit. I was gonna say <laughs> I like the P20, but you do need something with it to peel those shields off. Still two squads left. Outside of NRG. There's one guy behind a rock thinks he's in cover. He's gonna flee underneath this building. Ace is on the hunt. We know this guy is somewhat competent because he took down Dizzy, we would presume. <laughs> Uh, whether it's just one, two, or three, I'm not sure. Oh. It's a caustic. Look out, right in his face. Caustic's the peacekeeper. in his face. Look out for oh, my God. Oh. Took him he down. got two shots that he probably should have hit. But. Yep. Oh, well. Not a Prince of Darkness caustic, you yeah, know? It's just a shame. Teammates coming to help. Where is he? Where's the bad guy? Only white armor. Uh, that's a little surprising. Here's the Watson. Purple armor <laughs> on the Watson. Their bunker comp. Tragically not going to work out for him here. I think he's got this. He's done so well. Oh, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, poor Watson. He's fine. So lit. Rip. 
not uh, uh, oh. shields not even touched for Ace. Obviously, in the in the first engagement, he was able to shield up, but in the second flurry of fighting, he wasn't even touched. So very well played. Going to pick up some purple armor, recover Dizzy's banner, but there's no other beacon, so it's one versus at least one. Able to knock one down. See, where's the where's the team? It should be a whole team swarming onto him, but one person going in solo. There's the Mirage trying to help his teammate out. Careful with the zone. Gonna take it out. Disgusting. One v five at the end there. Well, pretty much ace. five straight. Speaking ace. of aces, slaughters them. And having having to switch guns in between, make it all work. Very nicely done. I, the number shouldn't be that high because, wow, 25, 25. 17 bad. for Ace. Not bad. Yeah, I was about to say, we saw a lot of reses happening. We saw uh, a lot of, you know, one you know just one player at the end. But at the end of the day, able to make that number very nice. Let's oh, go yeah. into Fnatic. This is a replay here. And... Getting into a scrap against a caustic-based composition. <laughs> You, uh, we've seen a lot of this Cascades area today, once again. Yeah, seen yeah, it. that's, that's, I keep yeah. saying, I'm like, we've, for sure. I feel like almost half today's show has just been in this zone. <laughs> and usually we have a lot more um, action going down in uh, Skull Town, but I think that just the way that everything was opened up yeah. in the center okay. just really made it a lot more popular for everyone. Oh, yeah. If you want to get the kills, being in the center is a good spot to be. See at least. Trying to get into the cross section of all the action. That's, that's a good place to go as we see them. Doing a very nice job, emerging as champions, 30 31. Wow. That, that's a real good number for Fnatic. And we're going to take a short, a short break here from the Face It Pro Series for Apex Legends. $50,000 on the line. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. A Thurston, I'm out. Where can they res? I mean, since they can res in Skull, oh, I think someone trails. Just fighting south of me, dude. There's a lot of teams to like kill still. Dude, they're they're killing the guy the team we wiped. Fuck man. What a waste of time if they kill him. Oh, 
One in ship and one's in the compounds, like healing I'm just focus up, focus up. You can't change what happened in the past. Let's make sure energy's high, comms are good. Dominate. We, we've been really consistent. So like, one deep sucks, but it's like not the end of the world for sure. Yeah, it's still like a Team on me, they're being vultures. Hey, you're on your own right now, we're taking the blend. Why did he just kill me off the blend? We can't climb at the same time, I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm landing on the roof. Is there one more? I knocked two. I knocked okay, two. Okay, okay, don't kill the last. Yeah, don't kill. Don't kill that boy. Don't kill that boy. Don't kill that boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's inside there. Right, Do you need to like just run away because as close as shit is containment. On me. Okay, wraith. It's a wraith. I don't know if how many. I saw a wraith. Solo wraith. We got a shield. It's a solo wraith, dude. Does he have shields? I don't know. I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. Don't shoot, don't shoot him! He's running. He's running. Why are you even oh. shooting him in the first place? Just to scare him, get him the fuck off. He's trying to third party us, that's what he was trying to do. Ladies and gentlemen, just, welcome uh, back to the Face It Pro series somehow. for Apex like, Legends. Again, $50,000 in this competition over eight weeks, play. and this is week number oh, no. seven. Oh, let, oh, yeah, we have yeah, Team Liquid in the house. Yeah, yeah, they won the last two weeks of competition the, the and doing pretty well today. But for now, we're looking at TSM, mm. a live look at uh, what's going on here. And by the way, in the break, we saw a little bit of Gen G, and they got number six in the match that ended during the commercial. So not not the best result on, on that one from them. So it happens, you know. I like the result of this match, though. This one's looking uh, good and aggressive, but look at that circle. Well, landing here yields a high probability of success. <laughs> and we'll see what ending there does here as 
Uh, there's only one squad, so we might not get. I'm just too hoping much that the final squad is a Caustic, a Watson, and a Pathfinder in that bunker. That's all I'm dreaming about. That would be pretty epic. That's that's what I dream about. This is what dreams are made of. Like okay. To see some activity, uh, Arbalele with the the longbow. Shoot at someone, and we have. Uh, let's see. That's reps running pretty straight into bunker here. Oh, that. <laughs> how did that not stick him? Careful, it needs spam. Stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of arc stars. I don't know how he's able to just run through here so boldly. This is what happens when there's no oh, caustics. Just one guy. Okay, oh, yeah. one. one guy holding on, but TSM going to take care of business. And let's see what kind of number they posted. It looked pretty decent to just me. check the damage. Relatively straightforward at the end. And you could always tell, you know, the circle wasn't too small and they were able to to finish things off. So let's see. 27. 27. Yeah, that's real good. I can dig it. That's real good. I can get behind that, Axel Toss. It's a good amount. They're going to be happy, too. And again, TSM, they're one of our contending teams. We have uh, twenty different, a ton of teams involved in this tournament, but with only two weeks left, there's not that much more room to, to make it into the top three or five, which is what you want in this competition. I'm Axel Toss back here in the Santa Monica studio alongside yeah. Athenius. We're just talking about video games, man, hanging out. I know, and it's great. We're more or less halfway through our competition today, so let's take a look at our standings and see what's going on. See... T1 at the top. Again, important to look at the number of games that have been played. But for uh, those with eight games played, T1, Complexity, TSM at the top. Team Liquid, not too far behind. Man. They'll, they'll be up there once they hit that eighth game. Man, started hot, but uh, looks like Immortals dropped a quick game then. Because yeah. Yeah, they were they were doing very well uh, for the first half of today. And I guess one of the last three games must have been a uh, an early exit. But Despite that, actually, I think top five right now so far is actually still a really good spot for Immortals. Um, is there a team that we've been keeping track of? Fire Beavers, we cannot dismiss them, as you mentioned. Take a, make sure you guys keep your mind on number of games played. G2 already played all 12 games? Really? Ouch. Yeah, I, we'll have to double check that one. Yeah. Well, okay. It is. Apparently, I mean, that's it correct. Is correct. I do not know. Um, that's... Let's not talk about that. Yep. Um, Let's go to so, live with yeah. our number one team. Our number one team in these standings right here, T1. As it looks like they're just starting to get, uh, no. Oh, no, he's going from balloon. I'm like, oh, he's dropping. No, it's 12 squads left. That'd be really weird. <laughs> if the only Leviathan I could start the everyone. game with yeah. blue armor. <laughs> the <laughs> Leviathan could attack. Maybe that's possible. It happened to me yesterday. Did you know that? Did you take damage? No. So okay. I found out what happened, though, because I was going for, <laughs> of course, I was dropping towards Bunker. And, well, let's just say uh, maybe we're going to get into a little scrap here first. Is he going to pop him a few times with that Peacekeeper? Ooh, Ooh nice. Pow, right in the kiss. He sees that gold red shield. That's when you use the finisher, right? Because it's like you could have saved yourself, but here I am wasting extra time just to kill you. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it raised its head up to like roar as I was going yeah, over I've it. Yeah, I've seen it do that. And it smacked me. But what it didn't huh. actually really Did do it, like, anything. Just push you really hard. You're, so your characters will start to do the like they're about to land, but huh. they won't land on it. it. They'll just keep going past it. Right. Um, okay. You kind of clip into it. But you do not. But does it propel you a little bit? Mm, I don't think it did. Okay. I think it kind of just slowed us down because we weren't able to go straight in the direction. Because there that is we an animation to. when the Leviathan is opening its mouth or something. Like yeah, I didn't go roaring? in its mouth, but okay. it roared in the top of its head. Just kind of smacked us. And it looks like they built in some graphics when it roars, where it actually like breathes or like there's air or something. Anyway, I I have someone not. Someone flies straight into the mouth of a Leviathan and let I have us know yet to take that risk. But yeah. honestly. Nothing interesting must happen, though. Because yeah. if something interesting did happen, it would have already been on top of Apex Reddit. Unless no one's gotten the angle perfectly right. There's, there are, <laughs> if somebody couldn't get the angle down, I, I swear, with the way nerds are on the internet these days, somebody yeah, would have been full time right. doing it until You're it right. happened. We would have seen it, and we have. Um, that's the crazy, that's like the best thing about like this day and age, is it's just like when stuff gets dropped, everybody oh, tests everything oh that bridge team's gonna fucking finish him dude so right now <laughs> uh, t1's actually concerned about a fight happening and they're not involved they want to make sure to get as many kills as possible so they want to be involved in these fights you also want to get damage in on players even if you don't think you can get them in a situation like this like maybe he can't kill him but if he does enough damage he could get credit for the knock outside of zone as well right exactly god i love that octane animation when he's uh 
when you stim, you you just flip the peacekeeper in one hand. Yeah. So yeah. sick. That that uh, peacekeeper octane. It gives you vibes of season one wingman wraith. The, the Hell you know, yeah. The, the peacekeeper octane is becoming. Peacekeeper a octane is, is the favorite. I I mean. Combo. I won't lie. Before they gave um, caustic the dummy thick buff. As soon as they dropped Octane, he was all I played for a while. And then they then went then Oct then Oct Caustic got like the ten percent damage reduction and I was all like, right, Okay, I, I can kinda you. I can kinda jam with this, but no, Octane feels so good to run around with that shotgun. Yeah, I need to try half that. the animation, half just the movement speed, and then you just rocket propel yourself into people with that peacekeeper. I need to try that more. I just haven't been as confident with my peacekeeper. It's not a very forgiving gun. No, it is it is if you're missing. So. It isn't. Weirdly enough, it may be the only gun in this game I'm actually good with. I nice. just love that peacekeeper. Yeah, especially in hallways, doorways. Yeah. Beautiful. As we Ooh. see, uh, speaking of beauty, T1, no problem whatsoever. Taking yep. out uh, another team. There's a third party. They're going to be happy about that. The other team, not so much. They're being like, oh, we're going to third party this. We should be fine. Nope, it's T1. Oh, actually, though, BCJ, he's getting knocked out. Uh, careful. There might be even another team involved. Peacekeeper backing up. Nice Ooh. shots. <laughs> Point blank. No problem whatsoever. There's a quick res on the BCJ. That was sick. There's I that. love this Octane skin, by the way. It's so sick. I don't have it, but I spent all my coin on the, uh, <laughs> the caustic one. There was some fl a flurry of action in the in the water down there in Upper Cascades. Looks like the action has ceased. I'm kind of like I would not be surprised to hear another shot or something, but it looks like all is peaceful. Yeah. Although we're seeing, in the we're seeing some action in the top right, so there's there's definitely fighting going on, and T1 may, wants to make sure to get involved, so they're gonna try to find those bad guys. Them octane pads. And they're just heading straight and this, over. This that is circle. that comp that Liquid was rocking again, the octane Pathfinder Wraith. Just that really nice mobility. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, Octane's speedy, mobility is the best. Team. I love Octane. Yeah, for sure. I have had so many awesome escapes. Yeah. Well, you know I'm a Terran player, so, like, just stimming and oh, yeah. running around is just yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so good. Some nice shots. The alternator. Got those disruptor rounds. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, I've had a lot of really fun escapes with Octane, and then, honestly, really fun, like, rescuing my teammates. Yes, yes. Like, banners especially, like, like zipping in at the last second to get a banner and then zip out. It, it just kind of comes back to what makes Apex Legends such a good game, and it's how good it feels to move around. But then you give a character that's Definitely. even more focused on moving around like that, and you're like, ooh. The only reason why I wouldn't play Pathfinder for the mobility is he's just he's just too friendly. He's not really toxic enough of a character in the game. <laughs> he just doesn't really how resonate do we with know? me. Robots I mean, are very good about hiding their true intentions and emotions. Yeah, well, that's the problem is I don't want to hide my intentions, okay? <laughs> want I want to be clear. I want to I want to <laughs> just puff my Ooh. extra gas in your face to kill you while you're knocked down, even though your two teammates you. are running straight towards me. I'm a monster. <laughs> All right, let's see how many points we got. T1 cleans house. Yeah, that that seemed real good. Like they won't play for that seemed that seemed just fine. I wonder, and again, this this comp that we're seeing. I wonder. If It'd be interesting to analyze for any the 29 20, yeah, kills. Good. It'd be interesting to analyze the um, the composition of legends that each team is using relative to the kills that they're getting, or how they're doing. You know. Yeah. That statistic, that that data would be interesting to, to check out. I take a look here, a little uh, replay from Team Liquid, and there is one common denominator that is popping up quite a bit, and it is this composition: the wraith. Yep. The Octane, the Pathfinder. And I, I'm i not going to say that I called it because we still have two of the, uh, well, the Svelte stature characters in yeah. the game. But um, I did I did think, I, 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 I'll, I'll take the credit for this little prediction. I did think we were going to see a lot more Octane because of the quick characters and the fast characters, he doesn't take the bonus damage. And it's, it, it's you just know, between, nice. Between him and, and Bangalore, I guess. Yeah, and we've seen a bit of Bangalore today as well. But yeah, I guess. No, I have not, no lifeline. No lifeline today that I've seen. I think I, I did see at least one lifeline. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, TSM was rolling it. I was surprised to see it though. Like uh, again, I would rather yeah. you know an Octane definitely or or the Bangalore because the Bangalore wasn't really messed with. Still very fast. 
as we see a win 25. from Liquid, 25, very consistent, solid. Consistent. And once again, we are joined by Nick Cleope, who's the I, manager of Team Liquid. Team Liquid, they're in the house, they're in the studio, <laughs> and they're taking care of business over there. Oh, yeah. Um, so far, so good. It looks like uh, the guys are staying consistent with the, the numbers that we're aiming to hit. So. Did you guys have, like, a super emotional halftime speech about how you guys got this? Uh, no, I mean... Talked about the fans back home. <laughs> the, the guys... When, well, you know, when I was, you know, drafting that up, you know, I, I had that coach speech. Uh, and they just went directly into the season, So It's all good. It's all good. Sorry, they're, doing, they're doing too well. <laughs> they don't need a rally back speech. No, yeah. They don't need to put the hats on backwards. Not yet. We're good. In the zone. I think, you know, we saw that number two earlier, but I think they've won. But we're looking at complexity here, which, again, I, I believe they are somewhat... Uh, close to the to the at least the top five of our overall standings. So definitely a team to look out for. Oh, okay, so they're currently fourth in our overall standings, which means Liquid would have been fifth coming into this. Or no, sorry, Liquid's third. Okay, Complexity's fourth in our standing today, but I think I think overall they're somewhat in contention. Yeah. So. Look out for these guys. Are we talking about in contention for winning today, or for overall the overall standings? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're pretty deep into the top ten, actually, in yeah. our in our overall standings. I do feel like Fire Beavers has not made enough mistakes to I, open up the door for anyone, though. We're I think we we still have half the day, or a little, I mean a little bit more than half yeah. the day. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like uh, Fire Beavers, like the only one. The only, I I don't think I want to stay optimistic, but though 10k for a TL might be out of reach. Especially it's tough. If, I mean, yeah. it, it really just comes down to, and it, it could happen at any point. Like, if yeah. Fire Beavers have just two bad games between today and next week, mm -hmm. realistically, mm -hmm. if TL is just consistent, um, obviously T1, I'm going to just throw that in there as well because T1's a bit closer right now. Yep. But, uh, like, even they are not going to be able to catch them without Fire Beavers screwing up. Yeah. Because, and that's uh, that's just all credit to Fire Beavers for kind of building that lead over the course of the six weeks uh, leading up to today. So it's not um, no shade at all. They really earned it. They really did a good job. Yeah. But for everybody else that wants in, the destiny is no longer really in their hands in that department. Yeah. You just got to play your best. And if 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 Fire Beavers makes a mistake, then there's a huge opportunity for T1 and yeah. Team Liquid. But they have to, they kind of just have to play for the play for the weak prize and possibly complexity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I think complexity is number five, by the way, in our overall standings. Oh, nice. Where Team Liquid would be number three. Uh, Fire Beaver's number one, T1 number two. I think number four was TSM. TSM yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Did they lose track of the guy down here? They were they were trying to find somebody. I saw him. Oh. Yeah, it, it seemed like they identified both squads. Did he get under heaven and down take the here? Zip? Like left, left and right. And they took one out, so they're looking for the final squad, maybe the final tango. Got to be a little bit careful about the zip line. You never know what might be waiting at the top. Yeah. You go up top there, all of a sudden there's three traps and a wire. And <laughs> I wonder if you can and put the, the wire over here? the top of that zip line. I think you just bailed this location. That's an idea. If you could put the wire over the top so that if you took the zip line all the way up, you'd have to hit it because there's no way to get all the way up without hitting it. You know what I mean? Unless you were a pathfinder and you grappled halfway. You can still jump in any direction. Yeah, but kind of, you know, could you, you could. No, I think dodge that could be, the... I don't know. I need, now I'm need. thinking about it. No, that's, <laughs> now that now I'm thinking good. about no, death that traps. Sounds good. That sounds viable to me. It I'm does. just saying, I, you know, I'm going to tell my Watson to get on top of this. Caustic right. main and death traps. A Name a more iconic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be the final team waiting at the top of the... Sh oh, there you see. There we go. The, those are the fences we were talking about there. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, wow. there you go. You're not jumping. On all sides. Yeah. <laughs> if you put that on all sides. Yeah. And they have the, the pile on there, too. Well, of course, they break it. Well done. They take the dub. Dude, Good that job. setup is beautiful, though. That is a beautiful setup. Yep. If Complexity was a lesser team, they would have gone right up that zip line, and we would have seen disaster yeah. potentially strike. It's so great, because I, thought, I thought about putting it over the opening, but having it around yep. like that is just you can't see it until it's too late. 28. 28. That's, that's real good. Yeah. That's exactly what they want. Man, that's what's gonna, that's what it's going to come down to for all these top teams. 27, 28, 29, 30. As we uh, we're taking a look back at the Liquid Boys again, they are live in studio here in Santa Monica, California, at the Face Studios replay right now. We're going to scroll on the live here as we see how the beginning went. Another some more action in the Ooh. upper cascade. Lots of fights here. We've seen yep. so much here. And yeah. comes over. Nice. Pop, pop, bam. It's almost like. 
still need to you know how Skulltown was, or like, sh you know, how Skulltown yeah, is but kind this of feels, thought of. I think this is better, though. Yeah, sure. The, the, the terrain is so just varied. The, the fact of just concentration yeah, yeah. of people, it's just more. Yep. So Skulltown is no longer the cool right. place to hang out. <laughs> There's a new mall in the city. Exactly. There's probably a bunch of people that are, like, east of Skulltown. Not wrong. I'm going to wrap through the arch over here. Yeah, I'm going so we're seeing this. a little bit of splitting tactics. Oh, yeah. The team not completely staying together, which is, again, tactical. And that's going to be the Octane going out on its own again. Uh, it's Cali. I like it. Speedy Octane. Going to go scout, listen for gunfire. Cali calling out someone near Skulltown, so everyone's probably going to converge in that spot in a second. Great shots! How do you hit every shot from that far away? With an R301 and a blue stable. That's disgusting. Quick switch. 11 8 with Peacekeeper. That's how my Peacekeeper usually works. Except and when you have no shields and half health, Ooh, and you're just like, yep, I'm going to keep charging towards him. Star? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. oh, he just got the, yeah. He's got the, you hear the call out there. He's got the disruptor rounds now and that. All Anita. And R301 from up top. Yeah. Of course, the, the first shot of Jeez, we see him grappling like, like yeah, Spider Man. It's great. You see him landing up there and taking shots from above. Jeesh, though, is getting flanked. The callouts are certainly got, happening there from Cali. I love all these references, too, because there was that whole thing with uh, <laughs> TL and the, uh, the Avengers thing recently. You see all that? All oh, that cool yeah. stuff they posted, those jerseys and shit? Those stuff looks amazing. We, we actually have, um, we're actually in San Diego Comic Con uh, this weekend, and um, if, if, if any of the viewers are in, you know, in the area, come by San Diego Comic Con. We have like three activations. We're selling, uh, you know, hey, the I'm new jerseys. Uh, uh, we got like an esports lounge that we're working together with um, Sick. the con with. It's, that uh, is so awesome. Yeah. Did he already have a fat? That guy had a fast steel backpack. He didn't take that off him. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Didn't he? I don't know. I'm a loot goblin, so all I can when I see gold, when I see gold, all I see is gold. You know. He well, already had it, one. Yeah, well, I think he already had well, one. That's why I was confused. You ping he, it for your teammate. I yeah. Mean, or he probably called it I out. thought I saw the red thing on it, so I'm like, I don't think he passed on it, but he there didn't it. ping it. Here we go. <laughs> Here. It will be... Well, I guess someone got it. No, some one of the bodies a bit further away, I think. That's something you tell but your teammate right away. My call outs. <laughs> So, but anyway, that's San Diego, that sounds real cool. I need, I, I have, I've, I've been given a Team Liquid jersey before. Yeah. Years gone by. I, uh, it's cool. It? I know I have it. Oh, I, okay. I almost brought it today. I almost wore it underneath my shirt, but I thought it'd be too much. A little too much. Because <laughs> I, I know y'all sometimes need a backup, and like, you know, I got to be ready. Rogue is actually wearing my jersey. Oh, uh -huh. nice. But I, I, I need to give one of the new ones, so I need to, I have maybe the I need to go to San Diego. I have the 2016 yeah. t-shirt one with the logo, oh, and yeah. uh, oh, I have the the soft shell white jacket oh, that they, nice. the one that they did that big pre promo at uh, yeah, DreamHack for whatever with TLO, me all and the Nathan, girls fawning you know, over him. Yeah. <laughs> the team liquid dot Didn't have the days. same effect for me, but it's a cool jacket. <laughs> I'll say that much. Dude, I'll put on my liquid jersey when I'm, <laughs> when I'm <laughs> on a big game grind. feel a little better. As we Poor see. Caustic. Yeah. All he wanted to do was trap this building. <laughs> Fortunately, Rogue was there first and would have none of it. He's yeah. feeling that small shotgun ammo yeah, stack right. now, though. Yeah, ammo. This is where it starts to become a thing. Rough. He's only got a whole mag left for that Peacekeeper. Yeah. He'll find it. I'm going to stay around here. Yeah, that it's... And again, after all the, the loot boxes we've seen, too, it's, it is a little interesting. But again, every single one of those bullets is effectively a kill for him. In his mind. And it might end up that go. way. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Looks like... Monroe, you can do this. Oh well, yeah, but he came out of nowhere. It's, it's a real good number, too. Ten kills for Rogue. Kills. It's, a, it's a 1v something. He's kind of waiting for teams backing up towards Jeesh. Yeah, I'm already close. I'm already close. Yeah, I like that he's kind of playing this flex spot between the two teammates. Like, not chilling committing there? too far oh. one way or the other. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's chilling. watching these guys. He is the observer. <laughs> it's like, well, if I... <laughs> If you don't move, players in pub games can't see you. <laughs> I mean, try it out. Not wrong. It, you know, <laughs> like sometimes if you're moving, they still can't see you. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. That is uh, what I like to see. That's a beat right there. Quick grapple. <laughs> Going towards uh, the enemy team here. Just pushing immediately after that knockdown. There are the shotgun shots. Four bullets. See? That's just like, all right, I don't need yeah, that. I'll just make, just hit every shot point blank. Three shots Maybe. left, though. Let's see what happens here. 
Oh, he oh. on me. That's a peacekeeper on the other side. See, now as you get knocked, and you get in front of the door and just lock him in so that they have to go in for the teammate. I but couldn't uh, kill what? Us, get thirsted, like the tragically. Door. That was crazy. Looked like he went through the door for a second there. Um, That's a fast steel backpack, Phoenix kit. Oh, baby. So now it's it's 2v everyone here. Rogue is down. And oh, I wonder if that was a Mastiff then. That was, that yeah, that was, down that was down. yeah, okay, so I guess. <laughs> That'll do it. When you yeah. peek with the Peacekeeper Ma versus a Mastiff, that's the one fight you're not going to win. <laughs> Mastiff in a doorway. You don't want to be looking down the barrel of one of those. Uh, so it's up to Cheesh and it's up to Cali. Um, Two man squad here. I think we're already at 25 kills for this round. Yeah. So. Nice. Just, just side, get Kelly. the. Right now, the call should be left. resing Rogue, securing the. And almost debatably not resing Rogue. We've seen some teams just hang on with two. There's no beacons inside this next circle yeah, that I. I think we just. We, he just looked at the map. There's a few right they on the edge of yeah, most on the other, of them. Yeah, on the other side, though. So boys. they. Yeah. So it's going to start closing in, and they're going to lose that opportunity, even for a I kill just, uh, farm as well. Are they still trying to track down a guy here? Seems so, yeah. No? Oh. Under me, under me. Under me. Behind me. Yep, there is someone around. It's, it must be a Watson. See, that's where it gets tricky, though, because you want to push in. You got to be cautious about that because the, the Watson putting down the fences. Yep, down below. Should be oh fine for Jeesh. He's hit those wingman shots. Going earlier. for the melee. It's a Bangalore ult, right? Yeah, well, that just, that just got crazy. I mean, that, that got out of hand really yeah, fast. Callie got it. Callie jumped down there at the yeah, at a great high. time. And they're still not It's Certainly, they've, they've killed that Watson. Okay, this is, a, this is another team. And that's a Bangalore is going to get dropped by Jeesh there with the R99. Very nice shot. And he kind of fainted himself into the, into the gas there to nice. pretend that he was not there. But he was there, picking up purple armor, taking it to the next guy, and three squads left. Kind of a tense few, a, few minutes a here. Tense. A little, a little tense, tense few minutes, but Liquid, with only two, able to navigate those those battles. Yeah. Nice Love way. seeing that Watson, though. Even even from the random, just like the way that you can kind of see that, that even for the pros, it they have to respect uh, the fences, the way that they're put up, because he, he, he opens that door. He's like, well, okay, I'm not just going to run straight in. Maybe mm -hmm. jump up top. You're forcing people to change the way that they're positioning themselves, and that's one of just the like, cool dynamic shifts. Grabs your cray ball. Yes. Decides, no, actually, I'd rather have my Peacekeeper. I got two, I'm fine. They might have, they might have I'll drop you one. Sheesh must be three. picking it up. Yeah. I think with the way that this circle back is back laid out. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, Jeesh could be so grabbing it, too. Yeah. Uh, okay, you don't leave a Kraber. Dude, if they left that Kraber, I'm going to be upset. I don't know. I would have left it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have only grabbed it so that no one else could have it. I would, And then I'd, you'd be a one-gun man. All right, if Jeesh doesn't have it when we go to a screen, I'm, I'm going in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't you pick it up? Okay, here's there's two squads left, at least one Watson. You see those fences right at that. Yeah, it's a good block. Poor Caustic. Look at those flicks. Good shots. That's a fun thing about Watson, I guess, is even though she's a defensive character. Right. She doesn't have the Kraber. Oh, okay. She's not dummy thick like Caustic is. I'm going in there. They left it behind. They left it behind. Oh, careful, careful. Like, all right, I'll see. Them. See, yeah. Why didn't they pick up the Kraber? Um, so you know, um, yeah. One hmm. sec. yeah I, I think know. that they wanted to just <laughs> dive on them, though. I think it yeah, makes sense, I, right? Just, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them for it. Like the way just that keep just, your keep your high auto weapons and just yeah, charge. It, it's they I have mean, a skull piercer yeah, on the wingman as yeah, well. Like so, I don't, I don't okay. know that you want to drop that's, that. That's fair. I, that's I think, fair. I think that was probably the deciding factor that. Why Jeesh shouldn't pick up the Kraber. He has the skull piece, piercer, he's got the extended mag. And you want something close range, like the R99. Callie, like, that's just too, it's Callie too good. had the Peacekeeper, but I guess that's the Peacekeeper-Octane relationship that we can't break up. Yep. Because that's real yep. nice. Yep. I think Octane's too good with the Peacekeeper. You gotta, you gotta hold it. All right. All right. Because that's what I would throw for the Kraber, but... Mm. If you had the 3v3, I think someone 100% has the Kraber there, but... Mm -hmm. See, so what would be really sad if now another team found that, as you mentioned, and now has a Kraber. Whereas, you know, at least picking it up and putting it in a bush or something. How many do you have, Jeesh? Where's this team? There's got to be one person. There's a caustic right below them in this building, <laughs> would be my guess. Because I had seven when we were out of Coke Town. Yeah, they're, they're doing kill tallies right now. Yes. Yeah, they got, I think it's uh, 10, 11. Well, what game number is this? Is this game nine for them? So it's game nine, and they've got an hour and a half, so they have, there's no rush. Yeah. 
There's no rush. I mean, obviously they want to they want to kill these guys, but they're not like it's not a it's not exactly a time crunch for them. I don't I don't think um, the time limit has ever been a, a problem for us. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say even if they were like, oh yeah, well you know it'd be nice to end early. You're not getting out of here anyway. It doesn't matter. We're in Santa Monica. Okay, traffic's gonna be terrible no matter what time you finish. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I have to go to the airport after this. I gotta go back to Burbank. So believe me, I'm not hyped about that. I'll find a happy hour. Don't worry. <laughs> there oh, you go. there we go. There's the Watson. Right, good job, guys. Good job. Not. Like a staggering number of kills, but still pretty solid from what it looked like. I think like 28, 28, 29. Let's see what it looks I, like here. I'm see it? Am I good at math? Ba -da -ba -da. Game after that one. Let's go. 32, 32. noise. Wow. Wait, that's, that's what I want. That's, that's, that's what we, that, that makes up for the first game. I thought someone had two kills. That was weird. That was um, I mean, I think Jish I did like five minutes ago. Oh, okay. I guess but then he, he made it up after, after Rogue died. Yeah, that's a huge game for Liquid. It's exactly what they need. And mm -hmm. now we're looking at a replay from uh, Fire Beavers. Remember, these guys, they qualified for this tournament. And they came into this week number one in the overall standings. They received some Arc Stars and some Frags. Some nice shots here from... R99 game. plus Alternator. Is that even fair? Yeah, they run the lifeline. They so. are, yeah. We haven't seen a lot of lifeline, but these these guys are still fan. Wow, look at that. Runs in as the trap is set up, so makes getting out a little awkward, but <laughs> was able to get the engage and the clear out. No difficulty. Running to the go. smoke. Oof. Rip Bangalore. Four squads left. Ten kills for Hardaki here. Dude, Hardaki has the most disgusting tracking I've seen, though. <laughs> Seriously? Does. Like, it's... It's a, it's like a lot. He's, he doesn't Ooh. it doesn't snap as fast, but once he's once he's got the shooting going, like he is just really good at maintaining that yeah, spray. He's really good at predicting movement. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that that's 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 the word I'm that I was looking for. It feels like he, it feels like he's leading the shots like perfectly. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Eleven kills. <laughs> and then the neck roll you know is just like <laughs> I Yes, saw, I am the best. Oh, 31. 31. Oh boy. See. Why is that 14, 9, and 2? Okay. Yeah, How does that not? That doesn't add up for me. It doesn't add up. To yeah, sometimes it has yeah, been it, it has been wrong before. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. I, we've right. seen it. We've seen it be wrong before. So. I'm like questioning my math. You no, know, it's like no. Okay. All right. So fire beer is another huge game from them, and now we're going back to this. Looks like a live shot of TSM again. They came into today number four with Liquid at number three. So they're trying to make up a little bit of ground as we see today's leaderboard wow. pop up on the left there. Again, looking at the number of games is important. T1 at the top. Is that 10 or 11? 10. It's 10. Oh, it's 10 for complexity and T1. 10 for TSM. All right. Liquid Energy at nine. Crazy Fire Beavers thing. only eight eight uh, are listed there. So Cloud Nine's finished the same number of games as T1, but down 110 points. It's crazy the separation that they've got from these other teams. T1 has been really fun to follow, though. They've they've been yeah. doing really well. Their their whole thing's super interesting, right? There was the uh, they've got like a whole crazy thing that's been going on this year. It's like the whole thing with uh, the guys behind the. Philadelphia Fusion organization, I think. Uh, Comic yeah, Spectacore with really? them and uh, SK Telecom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's how they, they kind of came up, and they have, like, the joint T1 brand now for all the new stuff. I think hmm. just the League of Legends team is just staying with only uh, SK Telecom. But that's um, – and they're putting up their – in like the same uh, area in like Philly as like where the Citizens Bank Arena and the – uh, Lincoln Financial Field are and whatnot, so they're like working on like their whole sports complex over on the East Coast as well. Nice. So they've been uh, they've been pushing really big on there, which for me is nice being from the East Coast. Yeah. Pretty much everything is just out here, <laughs> which is great. Also, also the the, <laughs> 70, the 76ers, I want to say. Yeah, yeah. The Philadelphia 76ers, they they've got stuff going on, like with Dignitas. Yeah. yeah. We, and we've seen Dignitas. We've been getting today. we've been getting more and more of the the big uh, orgs coming say, in. I think you know, speaking of the Alienware Training Center from uh, for Team Liquid, I think Dignitas built something near the Prudential Center. In, uh, I'm thinking Jersey, actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Sorry. It's not too far. From <laughs> same sorry. same area ish. Great, great place. Right around great place. The, 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 the activity great. in the Northeast. <laughs> Yeah. The activity in the Northeast yeah. is, is pretty impressive with the traditional sports entities one getting of, involved. One of my good friends, uh, Kenneth, is uh, from Jersey, and, you know, he's a quality guy. Does he tell people he's from New York? 
Uh, I think he's part of the. Uh, I think he's part of North Jersey. Oh, so. Nice to have a solo hiding though. I will. <laughs> I will hold my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of great people from New Jersey as well, but that's uh, just just some good Northeast banter. Ah. <sighs> It's awesome to see the just like the growth and development of all of these teams and organizations and the it's actually the e sports in general. It really is crazy overall. Yeah. Like as someone who browsed TeamLiquid.net twelve years ago to oh, like boy. you know just read about StarCraft or whatever, and now TL and old and school memes, axiomatic and just oh, yeah. all, all the just craziness like Magic Johnson tweeting the tweeting Team Liquid about Avengers. Team Liquid. Axiomatic's like a great Avengers, it's a great partner. And it's it's. Amazing how like this partnership has I evolved mean, into everything that it is now. Yeah, it's real cool. There, there are a few orgs that are really leading the charge in all this, and I, you know, Liquid's up there working at TSM here. You know, I yeah. think they're certainly involved in that in that conversation. Just, uh, Steve and Victor, honestly, are. I mean, there's there's a reason why. T uh, like TL has the repertoire that we have. And, and, and it attests to them. Yeah. So. You need to keep Just trying to see. So this would be the yeah. they're, they're 11th up a little, by game the way. for TSM. So Ladies it does, and gents, they're not all together. It does seem like they had a weak run, run, game run. or two then here, unfortunately, again, for TSM. Because the, all the games where they go deep, they always look good. But it feels like we we there was something that happened at some point. Because for the other teams that have done this many games, I think it's that 306 points in 10 games. Yes. So, compared to what were we what were we talking about for was like 360 or 370 for T1 mm -hmm. at the same number of games completed. So TSM does really well when they do well, but they've <laughs> they've ha they've like had a pretty consistent trip up. It feels in the last couple of weeks, like just yeah. one or two games where they lose like tops, they die at like seventh place or something. Again, they're number four. I want to say coming into today in the overall standing. So very important day for them. Incredibly important day. In important couple weeks. Team Liquid in the same boat. Yep. Right up there in the top five. Looks like Immortals is going to be going into their last game soon as well. And I think a top ten finish for them today is still really good, considering everything that they've tried to do. But. Um, yeah, that seems like it might be possible for him. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, definitely a little down that. They need to have, they need to have, they need to have a strong that. finish, but it looks like they they chipped up a little bit as well. Some right. added kills here would be very helpful, indeed. It looks like it's going to happen. We have flank going down here from reps. The beacon has been used. Let's see if they leave anyone up. So I'll ask you this, Nick. I don't know if you guys have talked about this much at all, but um. Some of the players don't use like the damage numbers uh, when they when they land their hits, and I know we've we've like talked about this crosshairs? a little bit. Yeah, but some of the some of the players, I I, I think we were just seeing like someone get those hits, and you can see the hit markers, but you don't see the damage numbers pop up. And there was a there's a bit of like a weird discussion around that in terms of like visual clutter, but I feel like knowing the numbers is too important. I I I I agree with you. Um, I have I don't think any. Of my guys, um, you know, even with Casper Flanker and Nass, I think everybody has the damage of it on because they do call out, yeah, you know, HP. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a reason besides just you know, screen clutter. Um, maybe it's a mentality thing. Yeah, um, that's what that James was saying. That uh, James brought off in one of the earlier shows was talking about how some players were just uh, it was big. Partially because of like hitbox related stuff, where they just didn't want to think about whether they're doing that or not. Hmm. But because that's interesting. Like you're gonna, you're, um, saturation settings, jumping from stream to stream. By the way, right there is. Yeah, so he doesn't have the numbers on, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, yeah. Huh. I mean, he's really good. I know. But I'm just like, it's 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 just it's, it's an interesting thing to think about. How do you know if you hit him or not? You, hear, you still he hear the. Right I mean, I think you still hear the the like the impact sound, but because I feel like I think I can still hear that. But yeah. No, it drive me. That would drive me crazy. Look like I could that. see it where I have trouble like finishing off people, like really getting them down. Uh, so like not thinking about the numbers too much and just okay, shoot until they're down instead of like right. like trying to calculate in my mind. Oh, he should be dead. Right, right. Maybe it gets away from that a little bit. And I think that could be a part of it. Is it could just be frustrating to like think that you did it. Right. Oh my oh. god, it's Whoa. happening! Oh. 
You got riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. GG. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, that was decent. the last one. That's why. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm happy. That I got. The, we got to see it. We got it on the mainstream. And he also has the best lifeline finisher. The best lifeline finisher. It's, the I'm healing you, it's not. So, oh, angle, by the way. Oh. Like, that's what we need. Actually, right. that one and the uh, oh, 34 again. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. That's huge. That's a big. One that's a big game. game. I, I almost. Yeah. Was this for TSM? It should almost be a slightly uh -huh. extra bonus if you get above 30. It's just crazy. It's just, it's just <laughs> another level. It's just the 30 bombs are gnarly. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, you... now we're looking at a, a replay here from T1. 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 Yeah, again, they were uh, number number two oh. uh, coming into today. So definitely a team to look out for. They're, that they're looking up, for 30s. The they're hopped looking up for 34s. P20 is so sick. And here we are, a live look. Or actually, we're we're going to get into live here in a second. But 12 squads left in this replay. Standard uh, legend loadout. What? He's just, he's just running, just running in the door of the pistol while stimming. No big deal. Yeah, the P20. Pop, 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 pop. P20, no big deal. They're low. Kurt's real low. Uh, also, only level one armor. Three squads left. Okay, there's your purple armor. I'm like, what's go. going on here? <laughs> Let's see. Can we get it one way or another? I wonder how he ended up with the, a level one armor at that point <laughs> in the game. Did Maybe. he have to hot swap away yeah. a purple? He was armor too busy killing people. Yeah, yeah that's it. Also. Uh, you honestly, you don't need health. Or armor, just there's the free stem by the way. Just you get them you pop the stem you. right before the heal finishes. Easy, easy. Nice. I love that he's got the P20 though. I'm happy that we're seeing a bit more of it today. Not a crazy amount, but with the with the hammer point rounds, it's really good. It's like 30 damage a shot onto non armor or something like that. Is the draw faster on pistols? I or is there's no difference. Honestly, I, I want to say yes, because uh, gaming like, shooters have trained me to believe that, yeah, but I, I right? actually don't know if it's that fast of a draw on it, but I'll keep my eye on it here. I think that'd be an interesting... With the know, extended mag, it's 18 shots, so you yeah. can really dish out an insane amount of damage. If 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 it, if it, if, it if you're able to you know take it out a lot faster, I can see like the huge appeal that it could have, yeah. especially with an extended mag. I, I feel like I feel like that's probably the case, but yeah, I'll just we'll just watch. I guess we'll watch him. Yeah, that's like a hop out, a hop up that I would look out for a faster reload hop up or something. I oh guess, yeah, I could see that. Well, the the extended mags do affect the reload speed a little bit too, though. That's right. But a draw, the drawing I think is like every game, right? It's, what is it? It's yeah, always like, like the meme. It's like if you pull your pistol out, it's faster than reloading. Right. So well. <laughs> Unless you've got a purple mag on an RE45, in which case you pretty much have no reloading. Someone just take a balloon and land on top of Zerg? Yeah, they did. Okay, that's what's happening here. Uh, a team took a balloon, and they're landing on the, the, the jump ship. And Zerg is up there, but he has not taken any damage, so I don't really know what's going on. Look at that. He's going to engage with the P20. Down. Nice. Look out. Oh, that damage oh, is so away. sick. Getting out of there. Uh, I wonder if there's an element of there trying to keep someone alive. That's why he only focused on just thirsting the guy who was already down rather than fighting the new guy. But Zerg's still fighting up there. Yeah, I think they kept someone. Yeah, definitely kept someone alive up there because it still says three squads left. So trying to take advantage of this beacon that's right next to them. Get to get a couple more kills. Got to do it. And this is that interesting area of the map with the final circles where it's like a ton of the circle is terrain that's inaccessible near the pit. Yep. See, like, almost like a fourth of the whole cir of the circle here at the end. Almost half. And nobody ever went to pit this game. That's always surprising. I always check out the pit. I Pretty never go pit. Almost every game I'm checking it out. Pit is one of those deceptively... It's like, it feels like it's a little open and it feels like it's a little choked off, but... There's so many angles, weirdly enough. I don't know. He what? drops it so that he can hide it and grab the other one, I guess. Yeah, 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 nice. He doesn't want the other team to see it. But I hate when I like I pick Caustic with pubs, and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll go pit. You can block off the exits. I'm like, oh, dude, yeah. the time it would take for me to <laughs> no, get I to each of the entrances and drop one trap. If you're not far, like, at I have least, nothing. <laughs> at least, like, either Pathfinder or Octane are just checking it. Yeah. You know, I'm not committing yeah, yeah. to pit, but someone's got to check Yeah, pit is a place that yeah. you check with, check with like, a roamer. Yeah. I don't think you... Pit drops, I think, are just uh, yeah, no, no, no. no. I like dropping near pit and sending one person just to yeah. check like it hitting out. it on the way out of slum. Like if you right. land slums 
and then you move through pit back to like get down towards the outside bunker area and then maybe make your way to skull ten depending on where the circle is totally get that and, and again pit is it's twice the loot from a previous from previous season so there there can be good stuff there as we see at, uh not one of the final squads here trying to pick a fight with kurt kurt's like you know what i'm out of here peace bruh let's see if he follows catch me him. if you can this is very interesting they want him to res watch him pick up the uh, yeah Find the oh yeah, go find the purple army. Yeah. <laughs> Not this time. Ooh, oh wants, my oh, god! Chase, actually hitting every Those shot. Whoever's following him dog. is hitting every shot. Rounds. Yeah. <laughs> He's the structure <laughs> rounds. He's like he, this shield battery gets burned instantly. Still stimming. Just trying to find his, his friends. Where are you? Yeah, Brought that med kit. Friends, help me. I'm just still like very intrigued about what's happening here. It's like it's been three squads for a while. They already fought someone in jump ship. That ambitious Pathfinder is still chasing T1 Kurt. There's a res happening. They're going to be happy about that. So they definitely wanted. I'm, I love. Can you believe that? Turns his back to him like in the moment, where he's like, "All right, I'm just going to look out towards where my team is. All right, now I'm coming back over here." It's Pathfinder. Must oh my God! The shield's gone, and then three shots. Three shots where's off that. Where's his team? That Pathfinder must, must be frustrated. He's Woo! been trying to take down him for a while but that's gonna do it t1 solo takes everyone down gg and that's got to be a decent number and, and a, 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 every single kill is very important for this team as they again came into today is number two in the overall standings that p20 is so fun to watch when someone uses 30. it right 29, Ooh, 29. Nice. Nah, it's still not bad not bad it's a uh, real good average. Real good. They're pretty close to Fire Beavers in terms of the overall score going into this. They are one of the teams where it'd be like a 45, like a 40 kill game. Like it's crazy. Like a th maybe two 35s. <laughs> I don't know. Like they actually could for like one ridiculously absurd pop off game actually barely climb over that. Mm. They don't need to mess up as much if they could make the insane round, but that is still obviously asking for a lot. Looking at a, a replay from Complexity here again. Uh, they are in the uh, top five coming into today, so very important that they put up some big numbers, especially seeing a 29 out of out of T1, seeing a few 30s here and there from these top teams. Liquid seemingly have a, having a really good day. Complexity, they need to have an awesome day too if they want to stay in contention over the final two weeks here to win this whole thing. I, I think they are within reach, but again, it's going to have to be magical. So we see them in Skulltown here. Seven squads left. Now towards Market. Dealing with the down Watson, it's Bangalore. And market can be a very tricky place to fight, but complexity looking like business as usual for them. We see oh. ten, 10 kills up there. Nice little <laughs> scrap outside market. We haven't really seen a lot of combat in that area. Let's get back Nor this to the area. Cage. We haven't seen a single fight near this tower. Yeah. Ooh. Gibraltar. Taken down. Ooh, Ambitious. God, there's nothing that feels better in this game than that. Yeah. That is one of the best feelings in Apex when you when you see the guy like zip lining and you just leave Another those one. shots. One. All right, complexity, God. they do it. They're the champions. And we are actually going to take uh, our final break here. Nice. Just hourless of action. We see 32 come out of complexity. Let's see if they can nice. keep that momentum going as our day continues. We'll be right back.
what? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back here to the Face It Pro Series Apex Legends. Fifty thousand dollars on the line over the course over the course of this eight week uh, event. This is week number seven. One week to go after this. Team Liquid, I can't super believe hot coming into today. Can't believe we're coming to a close. I know. Axel Tusk. It's almost over. I've had so much fun. It's been so much fun. If you've been having fun, let us know. You can tweet at Face It Apex at Face It Apex on Twitter. And uh, yeah, I mean, today has been pretty awesome. We've, again, Team Liquid in the house, they're doing pretty good things. We're looking at T1 on the screen right now. Uh, T1 has had some pretty huge games. And again, coming into this week, Fire Beavers at the top, the team that qualified. Uh, T1 was second coming in today, looking at today's leaderboard. Most teams are through, looks like 10 or 11 games. We've got a couple, a few teams there with just nine games in. But uh, T1 at the top of our current leaderboard, 412 points through 11 game, which means this would be their final. This would be their final game here, if all the math is correct. Yep. And uh, and 412 with 11 games, based on what we've seen, is is pretty darn solid. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, Team Liquid took first place last week with 430, right? So totally within reach for them to be able to get a score like that. If they win with 10 kills, they're pretty much there. So. Don't expect it to be just 10 kills yeah, from be these guys. Team one have been crushing it. So we got a higher scoring uh, set of games this week, though, I think is what we're really trying to say, which is cool. Last week, things kind of cooled off a little bit towards the end. There were some shenanigans and whatnot afoot, but yeah, nah, T1 is so good. These guys have been absolutely dominating. Kurt coming over, just lasering down. Wow, player with TTV in their name getting lasered. Look out. Never seen that before. I know. Those, they're usually scary. It's kind of like being a Teemo player. You just have that, like, that global taunt where everyone just wants to kill you because you're <laughs> so obnoxious. So obnoxious. Oh, there he gets the Skull Piercer. Okay, so he's reached his final form. Oh, yeah. That's a nice thing to find. Meanwhile, uh, BCJ has been dangerously low in health for a very long time now. So clearly a, a pretty technical fight going on where T1 just trying to stay, you know, keep it safe. Stay alive. Mop them up. Yeah, they don't have to do too much more, right? I mean, I guess... Oh, let's take another look at the overall standings at some point soon. Just for today, or today's standings, excuse me, because I'm curious to see how close everybody else is. So I, I felt like Liquid was the most within reach, but they only had nine games recorded, or sorry, ten games recorded, so we didn't see exactly yeah. where they would match up. So yeah. it'd be very interesting to see Liquid's 11th game to see if they catch up to what T1 yeah. is doing. <laughs> Why are you shooting your teammate? Just He's meaning. like, I've got so much ammo, it doesn't matter. But yeah, we were, we were, I was um, taking a, a look-see during the break, and teams very far along today. Um, majority of our top player, our top teams are actually getting close to like, their final game, final game or two. Because um, we talk about how they have that four-hour period, but there's the overall series leaderboard. Fire Beavers still comfortably ahead of everyone. Just, man, those guys are so good. So good. And we've got uh, another knockdown there. As they get closer and closer, trying to wrap this one up. But See complexity well up there, TSM. Uh, I, well I don't know how far T1 is from getting first place today, though. But they seem to be big contenders. I think Fire Beavers was also crushing it. Those those guys, we were, we were watching them during the break, Alex. They're, yeah. It's not fair. It's, it's actually not. not fair how good they are. Yeah. Just they when you the, think they're going to go down, they, they figure it out. They got into the most gnarly fight, like, in the middle of, like, the... They were outside the ring in the second circle. Like, the damage is crazy, but they timed everything so well. Like, and then they win the fight, and they manage to escape, and we're just like, I can't believe it. They cannot be stopped. It's disgusting. Yeah, I, I, it was almost like, okay, they're, they're going to they're gonna get number nine here in this game. They're going to get number eight, but they, they were able to pull through. But, yeah, and, and T1, they, they were at the top of our, our daily standing, so... We'll see if they can get caught. And, and again, I believe this is their this could be their final their final yep. game here. So they want to post a real good number, right here. They they want to leave nothing see, out there and post a huge number. We can see that Kurt is at four frags. Presumably, the rest of his team has a decent uh, mix as well. We know BCG's kill leader was six, so huh. not big numbers. Interesting. Unless there's some res stuff that happened that kill leader is also a very weird thing too. Um, I think you can get kill leader if you get a kill after the kill leader dies, even if you don't have the most kills. I don't know. But 
We and just saw. I'm Kurt. holding out hope that there's even more kills on okay. Zerg right Kurt, now. Kurt just picked up another skull piercer, but it's like, you know what? I already have one on my wingman. I'm We've had one skull piercer, but what about second skull piercer? What if piercer? you could like combine them and make like a slightly stronger skull piercer? I'm all for it. Let's cool. go for the mobile game strategy. We're getting more. <laughs> if you find three R three hundred ones, I like that mechanic. Dude. If you get three R three hundred ones, you can combine them and be an even better R three hundred one. But then it starts as a level one, level two R three hundred one. So you still need to pay more to level that one up as well. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of people are getting uh, some traumatizing flashbacks in the chat. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so we've got the syringes. He's healing up. He's got the gold armor. Everybody's doing great. The kits one are amazing. Bad guy left. They're or just one, trying to find the yeah, right now. The last bad guy. They have a whole. What time is it? They have forty. They have fifty-nine minutes to find this guy. Do you think they'll be able to pull it off? I think so. I think they can do it. Think they can find him in in an hour? Not convinced. I think they'll be able to do it. I believe in them. I would argue the next ten seconds. <laughs> Maybe it's a caustic in the bunker. You Ooh. never know. Circle is closing in there. Okay, I think they found someone in the bunker. Oh, yep. hey, hey, this is a wraith. Oh, it gets on? stuck, oh, too. Oh, you hate to see. Oh, oh, phase. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, you see, sometimes <laughs> you can't get like the wraith. That. Sometimes it do be the like The first that. time that happened, man, I was... <laughs> you I stuck was, the wraith and you're like... I think like, I called oh, Nathanius God. something. Nathanius, what just, a wraith just dodged my arc star and I stuck him. Something's wrong. Oh, my God. This should be... Yeah, is this that the same Wraith still alive? This Wraith knows am, how to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. I am, but <laughs> I am so impressed with that Wraith. She's like, well, I managed to survive for two minutes while Against every player on, on T1 on was shooting at me. So if anyone knows that Wraith personally, send them the link. Because Tell that Wraith they're famous. They are. They survived at least 30 seconds against T1 that really wanted that Wraith dead. So good job. Let's see what T1 was able to post. 21. 21. So not their highest to date, but... They did the hard work earlier, so first Still next place. week, next week just they have to be insane. Right. Drop yeah. forty kill games. Honestly, I don't, I don't think Fire Beaver has. Fire Beavers just haven't made just any lose, mistakes. Man, they could lose. What if they just get number <sighs> ten, and then they get another, another number ten? You really? Then they tumble out of here. I actually don't think it's possible for Fire Beavers to not win every single game that they play. You know what? They're I too think, good. I think you might be right. Now they, they I'm. It's a, Calling into question, we kind of want an upset because it makes it for a better story. But the simple fact of the matter is, they're just not screwing up. They don't lose. They don't lose. They do not lose. Yeah, Hopefully, battle, we continue the battle to might see be them. For second, so that, but hey, maybe there's pressure that comes into play, and they realize what's on on the line. As we uh, we're looking at complexity here, and we have one man down. And they but are in their last game. Should be okay. So yeah. They were behind. Uh, what was it? It was 4-11 for T1 on their final game before they before the end of it. So they were they're down about 14 points and she made no worse than that. I think that um, was T1. Yeah. So complexity, yeah. Uh, like you know, like that, like 14, 15 point separation from yeah, them. Yeah, they're up there. So they would need to catch up. They're also. I don't even think it's. They need like what. 36, 37 in a win? I don't even know if that's enough. All I'm trying to say is it would be very hard for them to catch up to yeah. win from this game. For today's. Unless each of them have eight kills right now and they kill everyone that's left in this lobby. Maybe. And that's a hard maybe. And again, still you know, still reaching for overall standings glory. Yeah. Or they're number five. So they're, they're up there. They're up there in our overall standings. They'd love to... That's why. Go a little bit further. And that's a long arc star. I hope that sticks. That would have been so sick. That would be it's air close. the air horn would play even though it's like built in sound effect in the game if you stick someone with an arc star from like five hundred. It's gonna meters. drop right on them. Of course there's a second of hesitation or it's a Gibraltar and a caustic. Uh oh, it's a trap. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Oh, it's not a trap. I like these like I didn't mean to fall. Go go to the other team now. Okay, so they wanted to leave one up. And they are, they're going to run to the next team. And they want him to get that res. It's eight kills on Gabe. Don't know how everyone else is doing. Reptar gets a knock. And a kill. Even the damage call outs. Wraith going to move in. Does have the tactical available if it is deemed necessary to avoid the big shots. What is that sound? On the 
I, uh, care package? Sounded like something was trying to clip through something really badly there. One's right below me. He's running here. 50 twice, 51, 50 twice on bang. No armor. Yeah. Still, it's just five squads. A lot of squads still around. Okay, looks like one squad ended up being uh, taken out. There is. Is a res point? Can you fight them? I was trying to call out whether they wanted to play around the res point here. I feel like these. Wait, they're fighting, you said? Yes. But they don't want the enemy teams to fight. Yeah, yeah so that's what they're sure. talking about. They, they, they want to get all the kills. They, they need every single one here. That means it's all four teams. It's all four teams together? Pog. So Gabe's heading back towards the hover tank. Yeah, and that other guy is just still holding out there. So comes over. Oh my god, almost gets the knock. The other teammate is here. Uh, hey, Gibby, Caustic's like, yeah, uh, <laughs> come over here, bruh. Why doesn't, why, why are there no gas traps right in this spot? Like, what are you doing, Caustic? So he's gonna leave Caustic alive, or leave the Gibraltar. I'm disappointed. Hope he gets res. How did the Caustic not at least like drop his ult or have a Q? Like nothing, he had nothing there to put inside that shield so that he couldn't push him. Maybe he set it I'm all disappointed. up on the the next level up. Hold on, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised about that, too. Maybe not. Three squads left. It's actually important. There's one right, team right here. Right. 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 Complexity I'm needs I'm on her. every need kill they can get here. Uh, for the day standings especially, but also yeah, for the overall standings. They're going back. One down to your left. So he just grabs the ammo. He's got the Mastiff, so... Excellent damage potential there. His team is just kind of finishing off the last few players. Yeah, I think they left someone up. I heard him say, get out, get out. So they left someone up here to... And they want him to get that res. Yep, that beacon right where it needs to be. Let him res. Let him res. I wonder if the Mirage knows he's being watched very closely. Not <laughs> he's only being by observed. These, not only by these players, but by us. He's a specimen in, in a containment cell. Might be the the here. third team. No, 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 no. There's, a, there's a team back. Remember with the Caustic the and the Gibraltar. So this this is gonna be the final team here. Yeah, are are they that. are they gonna go for the res? What's going on? Let's let's take a soul. Oh, maybe they think they're going to the water treatment res point. They're like, yeah, let's res from really far away, guys. Yeah. Yep. There's one there. Y'all need to not let him see. You may want to wrap around high really quickly. Just don't let him see you. Yeah. Complexity trying to get every kill possible here. This is their last chance to accumulate points today. This is their final game on week seven. We see that number eight in the top here from Gabe Isman, which is quite good. Quite a good number. Or is that a nine? I can't tell. That's an eight. It's quite a good number. Yeah, no. He's done a great job. It's a nine. My eyes just betray me. I can't, I can't. How many kills I'll have? Eight, six. So you're waiting for the res now. So and it's eight, six, and nine. Yeah. Do not, uh... Eight, eight, six, and nine. There we go. There's the res. So ship's coming in. So that's... 25, 24? 25? Oh my god, it's so dirty. Life's not fair. Let's go, Gibraltar. Oh, that's from the Caustic earlier. Yeah, that's the caustic. the caustic. No traps. Yeah. Rip. That, that was the Born that's, that's to the die. Same Gibraltar we got we saw earlier. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Uh, the caustic is still at large. Sorry. I was just saying before he leaves the game. He won't. He just ran back to heal. I was gonna, well, there's no more res beacons. The circle's about to close on this one, right? No. Yeah. Do they really think that he's gonna grab the beacon, the banner, and go, go all, all the way, way back to up the, there? <laughs> to the t hey man. <laughs> I guess stranger things have well, happened. Would, but you know how you like. What would you give a caustic to get him to go somewhere? Like, do you put like Jolly Ranchers in a line, or what's what's the play? Dude, there? what are you talking? Th caustic doesn't do sugary things. He's he's jacked, man. So you gotta like, leave a trail of protein bars. All for right, him. protein bars. Yeah, yeah man. Set up those protein bars. Back to this other beacon. Oh, these this beacon got did it get? Okay, no, it's still there. Please, please use it. Use the beacon. Let me farm you. Him rezzing wins us like. This is gonna it's be more points. It yeah. doesn't matter what it gets us. It's well, just, no, it's that, more no, points. these two points will be a decider, and 
fourth or third. That's what I'm saying. They can actually matter. Yeah, these do matter. Oh, it matters. Now you guys know why they do it. Because it matters. What about the caustic? No, it's kind of cool seeing that they have a, like they got a Windstar yeah, ad here, yeah, so Complexity is partnered with Windstar. It's kind of cool. Totally know this guy in resin. Dallas-based org, no. Windstar. I think it's on the border of Oklahoma and Texas. I want to say about an hour and a half drive from Dallas. But I'm nice. Here. You and your knowledge of Texas. Bro, this guy better make it off the gas. You know, seeing the That's casinos like kind of involved with the esports stuff is always a little interesting. MGM has done some stuff. You got the Luxor yeah. and the and the esports yeah. arena up there. I could tell by the first time I killed them. That was a cool so, thing to so see, Windstar, actually, the, the yeah, esports arena and stuff sure. like that. Windstar is like a non-Vegas entity, so it's kind of cool that Complexity able to get that partnership. Sorry, that res ain't happening. Yeah. Give up on it. Got to find that caustic. All right, so here's the best. So has that caustic played any traps is the first question. The second question is, will any of those traps hit one of our heroes on Complexity here? Because we know there's a caustic somewhere on this map right now. Because he tried to rescue. You think caustic gets a spoiler here? <laughs> is he able to do damage? Is my question with with the trap on any of these guys? What do you think? Well, I the inner the inner real caustic in me wants to say yes, but I've already seen that caustic's face, oh! and it's not the face of murder. So, all right, that they're gonna end it now. It's time to end things for complexity. That was the third to last. And now there's only one person. It's the caustic. The caustic is somewhere. The Cossack doesn't have Prince of Darkness He's yet. throwing grenades, so. though. He's throwing some grenades. I like that. Okay. Nope. I like the grenades, though. Put down. All right, well, unlucky. No ultimate but to be seen, though. So let's see it. If it does, to finish things up for complexity here. It's probably today. probably mid-20s. Low, low mid-20s, I would say, based on the numbers that I saw. And, uh, and we're not. We got a desktop. You've got a dust we're not, we're not going to know yet, but we'll we're going to tally, we're we're just, tally we're it raising, out here. We're just raising the tension for you guys, that's all. Yeah, we'll, we'll tally it out, and we'll we'll get that leaderboard up. But looking at Liquid here, we got a replay. Uh, again, Liquid, one of our contending this teams there in the house. of game 11 for Liquid. Good shots there. That P20, okay, yeah. The P20 cool. usage picked up a bit. I guess cool. for the so players, it's mostly about if they find the setup for the P20 early. And the alternator. God, that alternator in the R99. That, that's just a Wombo combo. Nice. Yeah, alternator peels the shield so hard. Absolutely dumpsters these guys. And just that purple stabilizer, it's like... Nice. Yeah, it's no. just silky. Just, so, <laughs> it's just so silky. So for TL's 11th game, 34 Good. Good. frags. All right. Good. Wow. Okay. That's what we needed. All right. So now we are huge. jumping into Team Liquid's final game Last of the game. day, ladies All and right. gentlemen. Yeah, Nick, Nick back with us, uh, management here for It's all good, no, man. The Apex Legends squad, 34, dude. 34. It's That's, a treat. I know you were saying earlier, oh, we can't really <laughs> catch fire beavers, blah, blah, blah. 34 is huge, dude. 30, and, 34 and is huge. I would love to see a 38 from these guys right now. Uh, Let's go. Sorry. Let's do it. Wait, I knock, mean, on, knock on wood. Cast with curse. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I, I want to see these teams go absolutely massive. I want them to blow me away with these numbers. So uh, they're um, off to a good start here, at least. Definitely gave them the little pep talk um, during the little, their little uh, break. Complexity was the highest in contention for first, right? So with the, with a round like that, the 44 points off of the 370 they were on. Yeah. It's now, as a commentator, I know I should never try to do math, but I'm going to <laughs> assume that a, another 30 dom here, something like that, give puts TL yeah. up front, right? And actually, yeah, and, and we can see it there on the left. Fire Beavers were only five ahead of them. So like, if they got a 34, but Fire Beavers got obviously you know less, they're they're with you know they're they're making strides. Yeah. Oh, it looks like uh, T1's already... T1 complexity and TSM have already... Yeah, yep. 443, 433, and 396. That's in the books for T1 complexity and TSM. Uh, there we see Team Liquid moving at 380. Oof, yeah. They might be out of reach for that number one here. If he was in artillery. Well, um... I thought... Th no, no. We're, so we're at uh, 100... Uh, You're at 380. 380 through 11. 380. Ooh. And T1 is 443 through 12. Oh, so that's 63. Unlucky. 
Oh, there it is. See, yeah, I yeah, knew I was, that was gonna a say it wasn't. Yeah, oh, okay. Because yeah. they were at three seventy gotcha, gotcha, when gotcha. it was ten. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah. That we're was just no. We need, we need the thirty. We just we're moving the abacuses, okay? Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, that was some real time information I, uh, like aggregation. Like and here we are now. now Technology now is the hard part about updating in it, real dude. time. Is that we so, gotta, so we gotta update all of it? Twenty nine, barring catastrophic math from me, and apparently bad at saying words. So that means they need. 25? That's not bad. 24? 24, 25. It looks like we already have yeah, 9 or 11. I think we have 11. I don't know how much Callie has right now. Um, it's a, that's a very achievable number, obviously, because uh, y'all just hit 34. So we'll see what happens here. Liquid apparently in the zone. Callie, Rogue, and Jeesh. This is the last game of the day. Then they're going to go find a happy hour in Santa Monica. I might find them. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, them. I mean, like... If we uh, if we win here, you know, I think the guys were talking about going to the Cheesecake Factory so across like. the street. So uh, nice. You guys know, yeah, so well want to come. <laughs> <laughs> I would go. I'd, I'd be down. Uh, let's go, Liquid. Let's go, Liquid. Going in. <laughs> I mean, of course, you're running off to San Diego, though. I am. As soon as soon as we're done here, um, I have to run off to San Diego Comic Con. Uh, how about run, run the our uh, our esports uh, lounge with? them and um, again if you guys are in the San Diego Comic Con come come by check us out follow our socials I'm sure they're up on there our commerce team has been absolutely killing it we got some people from 1UP our uh, production team oh great shots Cal Callie has what eight already yeah, yeah. 11 squads left I'm, here. I, the I dream is alive. I can't I can't be here right now. Just, just, you know what? <laughs> well, just, thank you for being here in the first place, by the way. We, we appreciate, yes. obviously, uh, your, your guys' uh, was, involvement. But I was so nervous um, at the you know, start of today. I was like, oh, guys, I'm just yeah. going to suck. But um, I know my other guys, Nascal, actually messaged me and was like, hey, dude, really good job casting so far. Yeah. Ah, like, dude, you're, you're good, man. Dude. It's good <laughs> to have you here. It's good and, to have you. It's good to have your insight as well. Really appreciate that a lot. And look at here for sure. Pedal to the absolute metal. They might be having a fight. They might be doing this fight right here, but they want to get to the next fight as fast. It's oh, only round one, shots. so they can take what this. Are those shots? Yeah. They're popping off. What was that? What were those shots? Um, see, that's what Wing we call Mania. the Cali <laughs> special. And um, he just turns that on. That guy his was so far away. <laughs> So, so still here, circle one. They you can know, go for it. Just doing damage is great. They're going to be fine in this in this zone here. It's not going to hurt too much at this point. Although this is the first ring, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. like one. I said. But like so only seven squads. So is Liquid just just killing everyone on this in this that, lobby? That right yes, now? is that, that what's what it is? <laughs> they have the bloodlust. <laughs> they have the bloodlust. I, I told them seven. what the, the what they needed to do to to get first place. I told them they need two forty bombs. Um, to beat T1 Fire Beavers today, and so far they're we're on, on pace. Track. Like yeah, we're on track. straight up on pace after, after that last game. So let's let's see what happens like, here. T T1's a great team. Fire Beavers, you know, they're like, but we need to cement ourselves. The two weeks ago, people said it might it was it, it was a fluke. Came first last week. Another thirty. Three Pete here, I think, just 100% cements it. That's awesome, man. All right. Well, that, you know that's not an easy thing to to you know have a team so early on in the game's stage. And let's not jinx ourselves yet. Well, no, it would be what for he's team? saying. Like team, they're they're in contention. Yeah, like, no, they're, they've they're, done they're a really good job. Like right. that, that alone, that that's huge. I'm just I'm just scared to talk about it. It would be the first time that we had uh, the winner playing studio. I, I was about to bring that up. I didn't yeah. bring that up. Yeah. But now Nathanius has to knock on something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We haven't had a team win that was in the, in the studio, <laughs> have we? <laughs> Nice shots oh. again here. This One is Jeesh. Look out for that grapple. Trying to get up there a little bit faster. Nice shots. That Wraith. Oh my so god. Jeesh. Had no so chance. good. Yeah, I love that. Just secure the kill. Secure every, every single kill is so important yep. right now. Bangalore oh roll, my god! Above. That's okay. All these guys a little bit low. We have at least yeah. one. Oh, that's a great body shield pickup at the, at the right time there from Jeesh. And uh, I think he, the other two person, teammates were using a Phoenix kit there. So everyone getting their health and, and shields back. Jeesh with... Uh, no. Six up there. There we see a 12 from Cali. Twelve, six. It's already Rogue good. had like 10, right? Good things are happening. It's fine. Team Liquid here. Or just yeah, they're just up there. They're just about there. I think There's we just. I think just placing, we win. So Fire Beavers, you guys are up by six. So. 
Fire Beavers could go. That's true. They could get like if a four, another forty or fifty. Sale. They need a then yeah. They so I mean, it, as, they're, long they're as, capable. as long they're as as long as the TL, as long as the boys in blue pick up a good a good couple more kills and take the first place here, I think that they can kind of make that almost an. Im yeah. Almost unreachable. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, like, if they drop a 30, like, is Fire Beavers really going to mm -hmm. drop a 36? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. If, if these guys win, first, I might um, jump out of my chair Sick. and go and run over to them. And then not go to San Diego and party with us. <laughs> yeah, <in> San Monica. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> you can go later tonight. There's, there's flights that go out late. <laughs> San Diego's not that far. I'm going this side. <laughs> How is traffic from San, Santa Monica? So you want to do? Oh wait, what? Santa Monica oh, shit, to sweet, sweet. to LAX. Ooh. Oh whoa! Oh, it's not that bad. Oh no, it, it'll take you 30 minutes, even though it's three miles. But it takes 30 minutes to get anywhere in yeah. SoCal. A okay, little bit of a bunker fight. Yeah, running right into a team here, right outside bunker. They're gonna more, be and that. more and more and more frags. Rose Cali. Yeah, it depends because I don't know if they don't want them to run into each other. Maybe. Oh. So they should know that they have the amount of kills that I told them to get, and they don't need to do anything risky. Yo, he did call it in there. Oh wait, no, he called in. Yeah, he called in a lifeline over there. So maybe he'll. Uh, See, I, I feel like a coach in this kind of as aspect because I have done like the analytics for this. That way they can, you know. Nah. It's it's all about They're keeping the uh, you know, understand their situation. The yeah, we exactly. Actually, kill that guy for CM. The situational yeah. awareness honestly, is very important. Yeah, honestly, I still, you know, they're still chasing yeah. Fire Beavers in the overall standing. So even if they can just oh, go, e if they can go the extra wow. insane, like that is in their best interest. Yeah. You see, uh, nice, more disgusting. nice shots from Cali with the wingman. Oh no, no, no skull piercer on that either. But uh, we got a Gibraltar ult coming down. Pretty I sure. Or is that a Bangalore ult? Uh, yeah, there's multiple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say. There's lots of artillery falling one, from this guy. One after the other. Rogue trying to stay out of danger. So cool jumping Cali over coming it. up with his wingman. Stop, Cali. Just the pressure here is going to be super nice. Got the Peacekeeper turning around, finishing off another kill. The team kind of retreating oh. towards the pit. I th this is the last team. Oh, yeah. Two Zip, left. mop him up. GG, baby. Yes. All right. I think I heard him. You can see Cali getting super amped up in the webcam there. That's all I'm looking <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing they didn't. The, the studio cam wasn't on me because I think I made a face. Oh, so now goodness. we do math, but let's let's see. This number's got to be good. It's got to be good. 31, Thirty-one. The forty bomb. Just what we needed. Forty-one um, point finish. Ay ay ay. What is that? that four. They that settles in at four fifty-five yeah, total, game? something like that. Pending Fire Beavers. Results. I think we pending insanity from Fire Beavers. You I guys think we, are in a good we secure first right now, right? And pending Fire Beavers, yeah. however, how well yes. they do. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what's happening. Cool. So then, what does what does Fire Beavers awesome. need? Like thirty six or something? They need insanity. I don't. I, I like. It's probably not possible, but you know, you they they can they can do it. Yeah. They can do it. I'm not I'm not counting them out. They're I'm one of the teams that have dropped the insane. That's yeah. why they're number one overall. Yeah. So, yeah. Oof. wow. Oof. <laughs> love love the close range longbow shots. My favorite key. shotgun. A replay Alliance. from Let's Alliance go. here. Yeah. Trying to put in some work here. I think this is their final, probably their final game. Yeah. At this point, kind of winding down these these teams. Tallying up the final kills. This might be, if it's not updated, this could be game 11 for them, based on what I see. Okay. Yeah, so they've they've got two to go, or one one more after this, I should okay, say. Okay, yeah, that's right. There we see Team Liquid, 455. It's a yeah, real team good Liquid number. Are, team Liquid doing so, 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 so well today. They They're so well the last, last three weeks, damn. Yeah. Unofficially... Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be a three-peat barring, if they're able to win. Bar, barring yeah. insanity. Yeah. Barring oh, absolute okay. insanity. I saw a little uh, screen over there in production with the Fire Beavers playing. Kind of trying to look at it. but If this is actually Alliance's 10th oh. game... Okay, so Fire Beavers are apparently just starting their last game. If, if Alliance... I'm trying to see here. Theoretically, if they have... If, with, if the numbers end up being ridiculous for this game... Since they have another one after at 384, like yeah. 30 or 40 bomb could put, like 40 points total could put them at, actually within striking distance as well. Two really good games from them could, could 
theoretically do it, but I don't I don't know what the total kill spread is right now for the team. Yeah, and, and actually to even emphasize that the other team with ten up there is three forty seven and it's fanatic. And Alliance you know, around forty away from them with the same number of games, so very nice pace from them here, and they're trying to add on to it. Four squads left, eight kills at least here. For Laz. We're close to the ring. Thirty seconds left. I know, but don't now. Skull Town area, Thunderdome. There's definitely a team hanging out in Thunderdome. This is slowly going in that direction with the, path, the Pathfinder. He has a zip line ready. Whoa, dodging shots, jumping on the jump on the zip line, dodging more shots, and he's going to make his way right towards. Zip line hopping is fun. Yeah. He's got the Mastiff out, looking for any stragglers hiding over here. Not finding any, though. Yeah, they're up there. He's just feeling a little bit lonely right now. Yeah. Where are my friends? You don't want to... And they have to leave that area, too, so... Wow, he, like, finds him hiding in, like, the most awkward little spot, huh? <laughs> that might even be more awkward back there. All right. That's a really weird spot to corner yourself before you die, but okay. Yeah. That just happened. Just trying to get top three. You know, a guy yeah. without his teammates. Just trying to hang on for top three somehow. Unfortunately, he got fourth. And now we're looking for the final two. Lowly t just taking some shots just to try to bait some people out. Pretending like they're fighting. Nice. Oh, res is happening. Oh, and the longbow shots. Longbow massive's a fun combo. Oh, yeah. I'd be happy with that every single game. Oh, trying to lead there. Not able to make it happen. But teammates got him from the high ground. <clears throat> and this is going to be the last respawn that they were They're going to clean up here. No reason to leave anyone alive at this point. Yep, there you go. GG. So let's see. How well did Alliance do? They do have one more game. That's right. Not really that stressful at all. No. <laughs> These guys no one was it. really in danger yeah. at any point. They Because they were like oh a game gosh. ball. What? That's, that's real good. All right. So let's okay. keep an eye on, let's keep an eye on oh, Alliance here. Alliance is definitely in striking distance now with that. That's a huge... 45-point match. Yeah, definitely in stri striking distance. Yeah, that's... Okay, They're well, let's good. let's see where Fire Beavers is. So then we've got three teams poten uh, potentially in contention here. Yeah, so this is going to be the final game of the day here for Fire Beavers. We're going to be looking at a, a replay to start things out to see how they got to where they are at the moment. There we see Hardecki, as usual, clearing out a room. Next. Fire Beavers starts their final game with 408 points, and based on what just happened for Alliance, they're going to be starting their final game with... 420 or so mm. so that's um that's very doable that's that's actually yeah that's a very realistic possibility of them being able to overtake uh tl so i'm i guess at this point then hmm, that's a really i mean if they drop a 35 again 35 35 yeah, like, kills that last game yeah. was just insane i was yeah. like yeah you know like if they have a good game then the next one becomes possible but now it's it's almost likely nice stick I think with how Alliance have been playing today, as it seems like, it, it makes sense that they would they would pass us up. And uh, but you know, anything can happen. One last game. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Did you think Fire Beavers <laughs> was gonna drop a player early on? That's not possible. <laughs> These guys are disgustingly good. Support coming in at the perfect moment. Oh boy. I love that. The, I'm just going to slide past him because I want to get back to my team. And that's what he does. He puts himself on the other side of his team from the enemy, and then they have to run into his teammates, and they're going to mop him up. Yep. That Just that rotation, just that movement right there, like the call to make that slide to just take advantage of that, that opportunity to get back to the team and let them deal with the enemy while you heal. 
Oh, these guys are just, these guys have been really on top of everything. Everything! Yeah, it looks like Fire Reavers only needs 26 to beat us. Or Alliance, I'm sorry. Yeah. So that, for Alliance, is very doable. Yeah. But we have seen... That'd be such a crazy week. Mm -hmm. 455 is huge. Yeah. So. Was it Alliance or TSM? We did have a team that was in a similar position like a week or two ago. And they, not two weeks ago, because that was the 480 game, but we did have a team that was, uh, that was like kind of in that position and they, they did flub it. So need to be careful. It's yeah. not, it's nothing's guaranteed. I, I don't think, I don't think. I don't expect them to mess it yeah. up, but yeah. I think Alliance is smart enough to where like they won't take any unnecessary risks. They'll just get the required kills that they need to finish out the win. But we'll see. And Fire Beavers continuing to be in excellent form. Yeah. Our number one uh, coming into this week. If they were to have a disaster this game, that's one thing that we were presuming you know might lead to a scarier next week. But again. It's just business as usual. Yep. Like three squads left, not too many issues. Already eight kills for Hardeki, and more of the Fire Beavers in the top right getting all the, the killing done here. So I think Thanes is right. They're just so good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have words for it. Like they're just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb how good they are. They just they hit start and they're like okay. They don't have win. first place points today, but it doesn't matter as much as securing the ten thousand oh, yeah. dollars next week. What are they? What are their points at right now? They're at eight. They have eight kills. They're at four oh eight on the side there. Four oh eight. Right. But but with their with their current kills, it doesn't look like they can head first, right? I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Just the solid, you know, they might even just be looking for a super solid win just for their overall. I think standards. it's just a consistency for the overall because they yeah. have like a 50 point buffer over T1, who is in second. Yep. Like, if they really wanted to win today and like try to drop 40 or whatever in this last game, yeah, I guess that would have been possible, but a little bit more risky. It's a drop a little hotter, get a little bit lucky with your rotations, split up maybe a little bit more, but we're seeing them more or less stick together. Now's the point where it's a bit of attrition here, trying to take advantage of these beacons. As we have very ambitious Octane chasing one of our Fire Beavers. I don't see that working out. They're trying to bait them to... A beacon. Yeah, they're just not taking it. <laughs> Tense. <laughs> I want to say tense, but it's the fire beavers. Yeah. I'm like, they're just, it's so, they're so calm about everything. Like the, the distance between them, they never spread out too much. And it's just like carefully observing. Like, I don't even, just like, yeah, no, we're good. We don't need to chase down anybody. We're just like, whatever, you know. Because <laughs> they can't overtake. Real, they can't overtake TL, so I guess maybe their target would have been to get into well, third and, and, place and prevent Liquid from. Yeah, just don't yeah. don't not finish first. Exactly. Like just <laughs> yeah. don't give any of these teams a chance to catch them on the OVR. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna cross three thousand points with this game. Yeah. Looking at the sta overall standings on the right. What if you tried to call down a lifeline package while the foot was up? Has anyone tried that yet? To call down the lifeline package under the foot while it's in the air? I don't know. You know what to do, lifeline viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Send us a clip in the next The call minutes. has been made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an octane. Let me in. You don't want to open that door. <laughs> you can see the frustration on their face. It's like a respawn. They want him to respawn. What? He won't even fight them. They won't even fight him. At what point do they just... Do they... What? 
He predicted that that little like uh, run around too as well, like super. This Octane's upset though. At what point do you just kill him? He's he's obviously not gonna fight. What if this Octane just one v threes them? Big boy yeah, Larry. What if Larry Big does it? Larry. What if Larry gets a clutch one v three? Big right boy now? Larry takes out Fire Beavers right here, right now. He took oh. down Hardecky. Given he wasn't fighting back, but yeah. he wasn't. <laughs> but still. <laughs> oh, we saw the foot lift up. And Pog. it comes back. It should stagger everyone within a hundred meter radius of it. You know what I'm saying? I thought a little, it did. A little bump. If you're running, yeah, it should just stop everyone. <laughs> Where's that Octane? Where's that other team? <laughs> Another good question. There's the Octane. Well, let's see where that other team is. Are they up there? I wonder what the in-universe lore explanation is for why the Leviathan would randomly pick up two of its four feet and just put them back down without moving, you know? Like, does it? Is it restless? It's stretching. It's just stretching? Okay, okay. Or maybe there's, like, bugs that are on this feet. Like, a horse will or mirage. do its tail to get rid of flies as we see a fight here. Oh, there's the Octane! Should have executed him. One team left for the Fire Beavers. Potentially one player left. Oh, Artie's low in health. Did he get Craver or something? He's hurting. Teammate's gonna come up though on top and boom boom. And another one. Great there shots. you go. Just just real good. That'll do. It's it's enough for yeah, shouldn't be enough to, to catch Team Liquid, but yep. still I think Alliance is the one that we're worried yeah. about as far yeah. as first place goes. <laughs> yeah, I think uh Alliance is good. I think we can probably expect them to uh be very good. But yeah, let's see. And again, for the Fire Beavers, you know, they, they... Still a great day for these guys. I yeah. mean, they still... It's weird that this it's is, like, the not the overall their, standings is probably what they're <laughs> yeah, they're, concerned they've, about. Yeah, they've definitely solidified that their overall standings is going to be, like, almost impossible, I think, yeah, for them to that's lose what they want. the, yeah, the, the, the $10,000 prize next week. Um, but, yeah. They have to lose, like, six games or not even show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the gap between them and T1 was, like, 50 points, which is... Not that's no no. The only time we had that kind of difference was Team Liquid like two weeks ago with the 480. Yeah. yeah. And that's the reason why they got up so far up in the <laughs> rankings as well. <laughs> yep. So I don't see, I don't, I don't know if we will see the number. I don't know if we'll see the number from Fire Beavers there, but I, I don't think it was enough to, to catch Team Liquid. Definitely not. But uh, they they had a great day today. Yeah, we're this is going to be the last game here from Alliance. They're trying to catch Team Liquid. They need a good game. So 16 is the magic This is going to be a replay. They into landed Lions. bunker and killed the poor Caustic, the monsters. <laughs> and already getting a uh, a lot of action early yeah. in bunker. Yeah, ooh. But, uh, what do we got? It's already a pretty good number. It looked like from that early. This early engagement. Ten spawns left. Oh. Earth doesn't even have a kill. Six kills, seven kills. And oh, they only have eight kills. I mean it's still one hundred percent. Yeah, but there's yeah, there's there's still a lot of players left in the game. Yeah. Unless oh. They need they need to they're I mean they're all kinda low on shields. Like if they got if they were got picked here, oh. it would be huge. Oh, no, but then they're gonna kill this team. Really good, kind of staying spread out there, and um, for you know, just just being spread out just yeah. forces your opponent to have to worry about a lot of different angles. So uh, while they got low, they were able to spread out and mitigate Ooh. any focused damage. So they might get out of here unscathed. Yeah, see how they're playing a little extra safe compared to their. Early yeah, games? yeah, they know. They know. The only way that they really lose oh, is if boys. they just die without before getting what 15 kills basically mm -hmm. and not winning the game. One of those, they don't even need a crazy high amount of kills to to take it with a dub here. It's brutal. The competition's so tough, though. Because yeah. it's still higher score for TL and T1 over what first place was last week. 
But this week we just had uh, just a higher set of like ball out frag crazy games. Oh, yeah. Alliance getting 35 kills to win the 11th game was really what made this like super big for them. Yeah. If they just miss a few of those, suddenly it turns into a sweat fest. <laughs> I, th and I think Liquid's only folly really might have just been uh, the number two in the first game that we saw. Right? Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure they won every they won out. They won, they won every that. single game yeah. except that one. Yeah, but that was still a high kill count game. Yeah, it, it was. Didn't impact too much. Um, but that's just kind of what we talk about with this. Is just every single thing at the end of the day ends yeah. up having that huge impact. It's so important. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, there's still. Definitely in the money. Even if we did, yeah, no. Um, you know, first is great having a three-peat, being the first person, uh, first team to win here at the Face It offices. Having all that is, you know, 100% <laughs> would rather have. But uh, second place isn't too isn't uh, too bad to scoff can't, at either. Yeah, can't can't walk away disappointed from this. We're still really really good good set of games by them, and obviously we really appreciate having everybody out here. Get a new scrap outside of Zabunka. Yeah, long way there. Almost want to take that. Yeah, they've kind of been this. It's funny they dropped bunker, so they've kind of been in this area the entire game. I'm a little surprised they're still running into teams in this area of the map, but bunker has a way of. Uh, That's right. Attracting fights in in, in people. I think they've hit test subjects. You mean exactly? <laughs> so they're gonna go on through. Something I never do. I just it's too risky. Too risky to me. <laughs> These guys are good at this game. They're confident. <laughs> no one's taking them down through bunker. Because Nathanius is commentating, thankfully. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there to. I'm not there to drop to drop it with a yeah, with a Watson that, and lock it down. There might be a second guesser three there if Nathanius is at large, but we know he's on the comms here, so. <laughs> <laughs> If you're watching the stream, join me. Join the Caustic Gang. Be toxic. And back in the bunker. Gonna rotate through. They want to get on the other side. And look, Some there's stuff happening subway. in the top. So there's fights happening that they're not a part of. So they need to find out where that's happening and get involved. Down to five squads left. 81. Perfect shot. Breaking the shields of that guy. And gonna pick up that. And Goodbye, I Pepper. I think that's it right there. It could yeah. be. We don't know. We're not going to spoil. We're <laughs> waiting until the leaderboard at the end. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, math is wrong and some, uh, you know, it's, it adds anticipation. I don't know. This is hype, though. Oh, five more, four, four other teams. Where are they all hiding? The color settings. Just get me too. <laughs> so the ones that he's got on makes everything look brighter. Do they all have blue, or does it just look blue? Like I don't even know anymore. They all have blue. Okay. Oh, interesting. Probably back to that uh, containment area. That's where we've had a lot of action today. The upper cascades, which means. Leviathan feet might come into play in a second here, so <laughs> that's the real dream. Be careful. <laughs> that's a, how it ends. What a better way. Look out. All three players accidentally slide <laughs> underneath the same one. <laughs> I'm looking out for it. I believe. I think you'll get your dream. We've got a team at the top of the watchtower up there. It's a little bit hard to engage that, especially if they've got range. Looks like they do. But that's not going to stop Loli from taking some wingman shots, and he hits these. I'm sure. Yep, <laughs> there you go. So that might be enough to push. We have Vipes going underneath. Lowly has a zipline available. He's probably, probably throwing up there. But they got to worry about uh, four other squads here. Five squads still remain. And it looks like they've noticed one of them being sneaky, one of these buildings. <laughs> Looks like they're going to refocus here. You know, there's an option to kind of split up. Some will go to Watchtower, some will come here. But like, as, as, as you mentioned, playing it a little bit safer. Oh, 
Almost it down. See a team all coming together to make sure to take care of it. Yeah, they just need to finish. That's really it at this point. Yeah, they've got the kills, so. Yep. Uh, and at some point, the, the kills won't even, the, the finish won't even matter if they continue <laughs> to get more kills. Yeah, well, the 35 bomb the last game just put them in this really good spot. So oh, yeah. they, they were able to give themselves this uh, much easier finish. And it's just about finding whoever's left. There's no need to farm or anything like that anymore. They've got plenty of kills. So that in first place is going to do it for them. Oh. Let's get into another scrap. Wait a second. Fighting by the foot. Imagine if you could get a Leviathan skin, like you could, like a Leviathan, like like yeah, yeah no, 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 like that you could skin the Leviathan, <laughs> like like some guys, like oh yeah, I, I flex so hard. He's like, I bought the five hundred dollars skin so that when my game boots uh, up, the Leviathan able. just has like my face on it or something. <laughs> Turn into a giant billboard. There you go. It would sell too. That's the scary part. It would. One hundred percent would. <laughs> Selling ad space on the Leviathan. Let's not give those ideas. <laughs> let's, let's not give those ideas. Yeah, let's not give those ideas. <laughs> it's just dumb enough to work. <laughs> Three squads remaining. Yeah, no problem here. Easy peasy. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, look out. We have the Leviathan, but it's lifting up. Do Everyone's it. in danger. Do it. And here it comes. Alliance. No, everyone survived. Maybe next time. It'd be cool if it was like a random. Oh, it'd be cool if you could trigger it somehow. Like if you Don't shot its foot, it'd be like, oh, my foot. And then pick it up, yeah, you know what I mean? Or what if it I kicked? What, I wonder what it, ooh. That would be next that, level. That's <laughs> next level. Like it just shuffles its foot back and forth and then. <laughs> now do you take damage or does it launch? No, it killed you. Oh. Immediately, yeah. Or it, I mean, I guess it could launch you. That's like the wholesome answer. It's like, oh yeah, just it's just punting you like a football. But I in mean, reality, every bone in your body is shattered instantly if that <laughs> thing hits you. Oh, oh. can't three squads left. This is yeah. one of the final two teams that they're dealing with. The Bloodhounds down. Wraith down incredibly quickly as well. Bangalore behind them somewhere. Oh, what? That's a very weird. Unless it's yeah, Bangalore. I think that's just another team. All right. They've almost got everything cleared out here. Still two squads remaining. So what, was one player from that team still left? Or was that, were I they guess. at four before? I, I thought guess. it was already three remaining, but maybe I missed someone. So they're just trying to find the last couple peeps. But I think with the kills that they have, they're yep. pretty much there. Someone is getting a res up north, so that's where they're heading. And again, there's always the overall standings to consider. So regardless of what might have been won or not, mm -hmm. every every kill matters. Every point matters. Yep. Going into the final week. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's like whack-a-ball. Have you ever had a game end like on the waterfall back here? No. That would be sick. Right? It's like. I never really have games finished in this area. I, yeah, ever. A lot, I feel like a lot of people just don't know this area exists or we're seeing here. Yep. Because it's so out there. Did, how about that tunnel area under swamps that we forgot? That right. The, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. The what? There's a tunnel under swamp we saw last week. Never, <laughs> I've never seen it before. And then last week, someone there's a whole tunnel. There's like a tunnel system under that north or the south building on swamps. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, that really high up building. There's tunnels under there. Oh. Like right next to Hydra with loot. There's right, right, loot there right too. Right next to Hydra Dam. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. of capsules down there too. Like but yeah, I'm dropping there from now I on? had a sniper once. And Someone. I, went under this I don't know. They were looking for like some player that was hiding. Yeah, either they were running away. Or and they play. And then the guys went down there, and I'm like, I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> so well, there we have it. They get that dub. Yeah, what a day from Alliance. Yeah, he popped off at the end. Yeah, game, huge in their second to last win, and then that that was a pretty big game too. Pretty solid one. They landed at bunker pretty quick, and then yeah. that's yeah. about where they were just hanging out. No, they, they, I'm, that's higher. I'm see, expecting look, the to math see. Is not, that's like adds up to like 35. Oh yeah, the individual kills adds up to more than what we, way more than what, what they, the game says too. Yep. So, 
So I don't know what's well going done. on. I don't know what's going on with that. I wonder if that happens because a player leaves the game before the lobby for the champion screen pops up. Is that yeah. it? Like one Maybe. of the players leaves and it doesn't count it because it says they're not in there anymore? I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. But that I think that's wrapping up our game footage at least. Uh, that was the, pretty much the last game that we were seeing. Again, every team tasked with playing 12 matches today. And then we see how they place in each, in each match. We see how many kills they get. And then we add it all up to find our winner. So now is our mathematical calculation phase that is done by Nathanius on the top of his head right now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's done behind the scenes, and we're, we're figuring all that out uh, right now. But once again, great having you here. Thanks for having me, guys. Any, any, more, any more thoughts on Liquid and, and how, uh, how they did today? And honestly, we, we talked about it earlier. Just, just the improvement that we've seen more or less from the, throughout the series. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. kind of going from where they were, maybe around six or seven, and then boom, win two weeks ago, win last week. Mm -hmm. And then at least top two, it's looking like today. Yep. So can you talk about that a little bit, man? I mean, I, I'm super proud of the guys. Um, I've been seeing, you know, they were always dedicated week one, but I've been seeing the extra, extra, extra dedication week by week by week by everybody from Rogue, Cali, Douche. Um, you know, today is, was a great day. Nothing to, like, scoff about, so. I'm just happy. Uh, what, what do you think about, like, the overall competition we're seeing? Because that's something for me, it's like, you know, maybe you see one or two teams that are ahead of the rest, but it seems like there's so many just teams that are in contention. There's so many really good teams in Apex Legends right now. Oh, yeah. Le yeah, like, um, the o even the overall standings are still, you know, Fire Beavers are still up there. T1 can still, you know, swoop back. Maybe we can even swoop back if Fire Beavers isn't able to, to um, do it. But TSM, great team. Alliance, always, like, putting a show on. You know, it's still anyone's game. Yeah, it's yeah. great to see it at, just at, at this stage in Apex Legends. Still a lot of talent coming out of the woodwork and oh, doing yeah. some really cool things. Speaking of talent, not me, we're going to go to Team Liquid and Jasmine. Take it away, Jasmine. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Team Liquid. You guys played phenomenal today. Congratulations on securing second place. Unfortunately, Alliance was able to slip on through and take first, but you guys have been showing a dominance throughout. So what are you guys going to do next week to make sure that you guys secure, you know, your top three, top four in the money? Um, probably focus on communication. The first game was like our roughest one. I mean, kill wise, it was decent, but we did get second. So we missed out on like five points plus the kills of the people who got like first. So uh, that was probably the only thing that was bad. I mean, in other games, like we did as good as we could have done. Um, there was some lower kill games. Like I think there was like a 21, maybe two of them even. Um, but other than that, I mean, like there's not much more we can do. Like we we got, you know, what we got. So probably just communication. I mean, that's literally it. And in those lower uh, kill games, what can you do to, you know, besides the farming, what else do you feel that you can do to get higher kills? I mean, the only thing you can really do at that point is split up, but then it's way more risky. And I mean, this method's been working for us as is, so like, why change it? So, I don't know. It sometimes just comes down to randomness, and that's really it. So, right. Well, you guys played great. Thank you so much for being here, and we look forward to seeing more of your amazing gameplay next week. Back to you guys. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Jasmine. It was hard. It was hard to see them on that background with the camouflage on those Team Liquid <laughs> jerseys. <laughs> Real, real cool camo Wait, jerseys. Was, wink, I thought, wink. I thought Jasmine was. I thought Jasmine was on like a Discord call. You, st you saw <laughs> players there. <laughs> I know, right? I saw Rogue. I have really good eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, Rogue's actually wearing my jersey because. Yeah. This was uh, a little. Yeah, those camo jerseys are pretty sick. If you want to yeah. hook me up, I mean, that's all you. Um, looking at replays, <laughs> we <I> got, <laughs> we got. We're looking at replay of Liquid here. Um, this wasn't that first game they played, was it? Or would this be from their last game? I think it's just general. Oh, okay. Stuff. This yeah, is just uh, this is a, a, a liquid highlight reel yeah. here from yeah. from all their games today. Just just really impressive stuff. And on, honestly, this moment here where Cali with the the prowler without the attachment. That's the bursted prowler able to take down three when, once his teammates were down to pull it through. Oh yeah. Really cool place. Just just the you know in any team game when you have just the solo ability of just a really good player, it's always a beauty to watch unfold. No, really, just, these guys just putting in great effort day in and day out, and there's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of with the second place this week. They yeah. certainly did a phenomenal job, and looking at the standings, very happy to see them just yeah. just doing their thing, but Alliance, big shout out to them. They popped 
off in oh, that yeah. second to last game. They oh, made yeah. it easy for themselves to wrap up and take this one home in the final match. And just, just very, 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 very well done on their part. Yeah, and honestly, it's still, still an awesome uh, day from Fire Beavers. Again, just, just the definition of consistency here, and they stayed up in, uh, they stayed up in there in the, in the top three, which means they're going to be fine in our overall standings as we take a look at how everything is shaking out through seven weeks of play with one, eight, one week remaining. Ooh. Fire Beavers at the top, 30, 39. There you see T1, 2984, Team Liquid, 2970, so on and so I forth. I think Fire Beavers would need to drop three games early, and T1 would need to hit, like, 40-point games every single game to overtake them next week. I mean, we're still only 14 points behind, so or behind T1, so you know what? I'm not even counting us out next week. Yeah. I like it. That's what I liked here. That's awesome. Uh, again, we're back here in the studio. X Class Anthanius. Nick, thanks again for... For being here, man. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys having me. Do you want to do any final thoughts on Team Liquid and then do a shout out again on what you're doing from here? Oh, okay. Um, no, uh, Team Liquid's honestly amazing. We're doing a San Diego Comic Con um, this weekend for um, you know selling merch, doing uh, you know Poach and I think Rafa were down there today. Uh, they might be down there tomorrow as well. Um, am I allowed to like give shout outs to like your sponsors? Give uh, shout outs. Shout out to Alienware, Jersey Mike's, Honda, um, Huya, Twitch. Um, gosh, oh, I should have prepared better for this. Um, you can just throw the, just Team Liquid, Team Liquid and, Yeah, I'm sure they list all their the, all the sponsors <laughs> there because a very partnered organization. I very would say partnered. you guys have a lot of partners and oh, a, lot, yeah. a lot of support, which is great, great to see. Great partners. Um, but speaking of speaking of uh, that support, you guys can give Face It some support as well. We got. All the Twitter handles, all the social info at the bottom of your screen there. Face it Apex on Twitter. Of course, hashtag Face it Apex. And that's going to do it for us for week seven. Nathanius, Good times, man. Final thoughts? I'm, I'm only sad that next week is the end. Okay. But uh, it's been it's been a hell of a ride, and we had some really awesome matches. And just again, to Nick, thank you guys so much for coming out here. It's always awesome to see and talk to guys from Team Liquid as well. Yeah, good Thanks, to meet guys. you, Nick. And, and the Liquid guys are great. Uh, and honestly, I think a, a pretty successful week from you guys, honestly. Yeah. Just crazy numbers. And I think at the end of the day, it's like, okay, how did we play? How do we do? And I got to think you guys come out of this week pretty happy with, oh, yeah. with, with how you guys are doing. So yeah. best of luck next week. We're continuing next week. So make sure you tune in as we wrap up the Face It Pro Series here for Apex Legends. Again, $50,000 on the line. That's going to do it for us here from Santa Monica. We'll see you next week. I couldn't kill him, dude. Like the door.
Bye.